What is this witchcraft, says Tamago. Well, I couldn't... Oh, the timer's counted down, so I can get on with it then. So it's back to Avorion. I didn't think I'd be playing this until tomorrow. I mean, I had all that time for my automated industry to keep running and the miners and the captains to keep on operating. Whilst the game idled in the background, I could enjoy my days off, but it just became a niggling feeling, and then before you know it, I was compelled to just fire up Avorion and get back to it. Helps that I have a bunch of new to-do things today, which I'm actually looking forward to do, and would actually be quite good to get out of the way before tomorrow. So let's look at our to-do list and consider what we're going to do today. We can also look at the list of overall goals for the run. I meant to get all the milestones. I've got over half of them. So by some accounts, we're more than halfway through this. That's not bad. Legendary versions of all unique systems, 14 out of 55. It's quite possible that my auto salvagers were able to get more of them. So I've got the eight storyline uh, legendaries. You might notice I've also grabbed a few more off the bosses here and there. So that makes eight. There's the ninth. Unlimited adventuring companion. And then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, sweet. 18. Which four were added since last time then? I don't think I had this teleporter so uh, transporter software. I don't think I had the Hardening Shield Ionizer. And this looks suspiciously new as well. Now the legendary uh, modules, I just want to get them as a matter of completion. Not all of them are particularly useful, and those that are tend to be useful only in certain times. And unfortunately the ones that are very useful are the ones you want lots of, and it's very hard to get lots of legendary modules. It can be done, but it's lots of work. The ones you'd want a lot of would be shield boosters, the best in slot items that you get out of the Rift Research Center, and those we could potentially get lots of. And of course, turret control systems. Look at that legendary one giving plus nine turrets for a single slot. That's only one fewer than the unique artifact. It's more than you get out of arbitrary. It's pretty damn good. So I'll be seeking that out. Are you gonna go for the legendary hyperspace overloader? Yes, I am. I did not know it was a thing. But apparently, you can combine the Hyperspace Overloader to make it legendary, and it is a subsystem, so that's going to be on the list as well. I think I already incremented this from 54 to 55 to account for that, and who knows, there might be more that we come across. Uh, the building knowledge, we have three, and we have four more to get. These are just a case of flying around and eventually finding them. They're going to be stuck in boxes I need to hack or... Uh, hidden items, and I know where I can go to find those. It's just a case of finding the time to go and grab them. Not a priority, just something that needs to be checked off, much like many things. So where are we at on the millions of resources? Well, I suppose we could say that we have billions of credits and tens of millions of resources. Uh, I'm not going to write that down. It'll be done when it's done. It'll be done when it's comfortably more than what it's done, because I need that to buy my, uh, my stations and build my fleet as well. I still don't have a monolithic statue of Chefron to work with. I should have gone and sourced one, but, uh, you know, had all this Avorion to think about playing. Besides, there'll be time for it. I haven't even reached the center, although we'll do that today almost for certain. I only produced seven out of the 130 goods in the game. However, what I did spend some time doing was putting together this list. And by putting together, I mean I, I grabbed it from uh, online and then color-coded it. This is a list of every single good that there is in the game. Oh, hold that thought. What's happening in the sector? Pirates are attacking. Well, not on my watch. Uh, actually, I don't think those pirates are long for the world. Maybe I can, I can boost in, just get a cheeky little shot in. Nope, far from it. And their, uh, their drops are certainly not going to be worthwhile at this point. I mean, they, they could be. I'm just going to go, not going to go out of my way for it, and I want to be near this equipment dock for what I'm doing. Oh, I'll get to the Alliance Vault. Well, speaking of, do you have any goodies for me? Mm, you know, where I am now, I should probably just empty and clean these, because it's still goods that I can uh, melt down. And who knows, I might want some of them. Now, where else were we? Ah yes, my list of goods. So this is a list of goods, it's a pretty long list. Apparently there's about 135 of the goods, but not all of them can be uh, produced. 
They're color-coded. Yellow is garbage, of which toxic waste is the only one, and I need to figure out how to deal with that. The goods production line is going to be something else entirely. If it's green here, it's a base good, meaning it needs nothing to be produced, and if it's purple, it's an end good. It isn't used in anything. Actually, warheads are not an end good, they're used for rockets, so I shouldn't have colored you accordingly. Glad I noticed that. Some things can't be done. You cannot produce slaves, for example. You cannot produce Morn drugs, or gems, or diamonds, or other kinds of drugs. So these aren't goods that we will be behest to for making every good. I'll be referring to this whenever I work on the industry, and that I don't think will be right now. Uh, why is it showing me controller settings? My controller isn't even plugged in. Maybe I hit the button there. Also, that uh, screen about goods, get out of my face. Um, I've changed the wording here to produce all goods. I think previously it said something along the lines of have full production chains for all goods. But in this game, you can import your goods off of traders. And that's actually a very reliable way to produce a lot of goods. So for some of them I will be doing that. But I very specifically want to build the full accelerator factory production line. It is eye-wateringly huge. It took me a long time to get 30 mines set up. This one needs, I think, 80 mines and maybe 250 additional factories. It's a huge undertaking and it's probably going to drive me to madness, but I do specifically want the accelerator factory production line set up. Zero cost accelerators is just an exciting prospect. Uh, charting the universe, apparently we've done 12 tiles, is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Today I would quite like to up that to 14, but after we've done that, there is absolutely no incentive for us to chart any more of the galaxy until we reach the very end of the run, because I'm quite convinced that it's going to lag the game enormously to have all of the universe charted, so that'll be done once we've cleared just about every other goal. And only after we've charted it can we uh, ally or eliminate all the factions around. Gonna be Alliance, it's just much faster than Elimination, also more useful. A smoking pile of rubble isn't much good to me. Right, what are we doing today? Today I've put together this list. It looks quite long, but don't worry, a lot of it can be done rather swiftly. Uh, I want to finally try a Zotan Hunter Expedition, so I guess I'll... Hmm, can I even do that in the center? I guess I'll go to a shipyard here. Maybe one I don't care about, so not this amazingly placed one. Maybe you there. And then equip out a ship and see if they can go on an expedition. They might complain about the... Um, well, I don't know. I've never tried it before, so I want to give it a go. I want to do it specifically with a Zotan Hunter, because apparently they can grab the rare rift loot. We'll see about that. If you're in need of a smoking pile of rubble, just look at your schedule. Ah, once upon a time, this channel had no schedule. Procure lots of Rift research data. This has got to be one of the first ones I do. I put a few explanation marks there. That's one of the first things I want to do, because it's going to take time and money. Um, a lot of time. Four hours, in fact, to get the initial bunch of research data that I want. Maybe I'll do it in smaller batches, maybe 5,000 at a time. And I'll also want to grab some merchant captains to do that. I don't think I have many or any of them going spare. I want to upgrade from a flagship to a squadron. Uh, I am specifically taking ships made from the community, so I like to use Malcontent. That's something that I grabbed off of the, uh, the Steam Workshop. It's my favorite ship. But I've got Baron Von Ohn's Tactical Assault Pyramid, the Dai Sen Khan, and the Sobek. And their creators have told me what they want on them. Various weapons on the Tactical Assault Pyramid. Uh, cannons for the main guns. Bolters as secondary for Dyson Cam with pers uh, personal defense as needed. Sobek wants railguns only. And uh, I've been trying to think what kind of subsystems I'll have them focus on. I don't think I'll have the Tactical Assault Pyramid doing the jumping though. Don't want to keep switching ships as I go around. I basically just want them to follow. So I guess jumping will be on the main ship. But I could use you for the eco uh, economic system. Subsystem slots. You know, that's kind of the reason you want multiple ships in the first place. Otherwise, you just mass everything on one ship. Taking the Amaterasu. I wondered if you'd prefer the Amagi. Nothing stopping both. Uh, the Daisenkan was just larger and more ready to go. 
and we will be building these up once we've done a few of the other things. Produce accelerator is probably the very first thing I'm going to do. I need to build a factory, fully upgrade it, including defenses, and privateer the initial goods. Which means, I guess, it'll be our final use of the giant underbelly of, um, of storage? Yeah, probably. I want my ore and water mines, which are currently not 100% productive, to, uh, to have other factories to use up their goods. I don't know what yet. I'll have to figure it out. Finish charting the ore in space, I just mentioned that. I want to start creating ultra end game weapons. So I need to get a Tech 52 turret thing. I already have a Tech 51, so I can just pack it up and move it to the center. And then I'm going to want to roll cannons, rail guns. I want ionized projectiles, or specifically I want shield penetration projectiles. And I want some very good point defense. Uh, cannons for the Amaga. I've already got the bolters. I don't see any reason to get an even better bolter unless I happen to stumble across one. I need to defeat the big bad. I'll do that when I get the flagship upgraded into a squadron. That's also going to unlock some more endgame stuff we can do, like defeating the optional bosses. I want to kill the persecutor. It's not a milestone, but I want to do it regardless. And I need to have a big clear out of all of my trash. In fact, I could do that right now and just get it checked off. So whilst the game was running in the background, my miners have mined out a vast amount of material. Much of the Trinium and of Orion is going to be used on the squadron. And the money situation, I mean, it looks all right until you look in the Alliance vault and you realize it looks very good. I did not think we'd be at two and a half billion credits all right, uh, already, but we are. And how could this be? How are our factories doing? And who has been pulling in the big money? Uh, it's unfair to look at overall profit, because the ones that have been around the longest are going to have the most profit. So it's best to check who's actually getting the most profit per hour. And right at the top we've got zinc, copper, and aluminium. I'm a little surprised that gold platinum is as far down as it is. I always considered gold platinum to be one of the best. But as it stands, just the zinc. Zinc is king. I can see why it has the highest startup cost. Copper is doing respectably, but basically anything that's bringing in the multi-millions per hour is fine enough. The problem is when you get all the way down here, coal, raw oil, ice. For some reason I've got a copper mine that's not making any money, but I think that's just because it hasn't shifted anything since I loaded up the game. I think the game needs to run a bit before it generates this. So let's not poo-poo these two mines. I know they're doing alright, but uh, yeah, raw oil, ice, coal... I knew they were bad ideas, but I wanted to be sure of it. Any desire for a ship designed by a lurker? I've been working on a carrier. I'd be very interested in people sending in designs for the fleet. I don't want the fleet to get too large, but we're currently going up to four. I could see us going up to five. Besides, it's more space for more guns, and when I'm taking on the behemoths, I'm going to need all the guns I can get. So, what's happening first and foremost? Well. I want my accelerator factory set up on the double. So what I'm going to do is make sure I've got plenty of jumping power. I've got a lot, but we could always have more, couldn't we? So, 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 so. Can I tear you out? Yes, I can. Give me some jump. I want plus 12 jumping range, and I want the big cooldown. And I can easily sacrifice some shields in order to make room for the legendary trading subsystem. So I want to find a place where the local price for accelerators is sky high. So I think all accelerators end up having the same price. Neutron accelerator, electron accelerator, and I think the last one's a proton accelerator. Yeah, look at that, it's all the same. So we need to find somewhere that is going to be happy to take all of them. Ideally in a relatively safe area, I've got a lot of friends around here, and also ideally near a rift place. Now, a problem I have is that if I type in the letter R, a lot of places are going to highlight. I figured out a way around it. I'm going to go comma, and then type in rift, and then home delete, and that will not spam this map with everything. I kind of need to do that. In any case, Docair, I want you to... You can do this in a single jump. Just get over here and tell me what the demands for accelerators. Because I would actually like to build it on a, a rift research area. They're going to have ships. They have four other docks. That's not enough to make them angry at me for just building one little place. 
And they already have shipyards, meaning I can just build them there and then. So again, tell me about the electron accelerators. It's lukewarm here. I'd really rather find a place where accelerators are just the bee's bloody knees. So let's keep jumping around. And with the uh, subsystems I have, it is a mere 10 second cooldown. Gonna have to figure out the cooldown stuff when I make a proper fleet though. Is it too late to throw you my flagship design? I'm pretty good for now. Don't sweat it, Andarius. Of course, I could still take them. Who knows? Might still find a use for them. Right, there's a lot of rift research centers over there. There's some over here, but they all hate my guts. I think I will try my luck over here and just see what the general prices are. Boom, be over there in under one minute. In the meantime, I've got all my explorers just sitting around picking their thumbs with nothing to do. So why don't I get them up here and charting this land? Um, I want you kind of on the edge here, don't I? Yes, I do. Do, do, do. I think I'll have you here with one, two, and three. And then four, five, and six can go over here. Just get this charted out. And look at that, the care is already at the destination. So again, tell me about the electron accelerators. Again, very lukewarm. It could be that there's not really anywhere that has huge demand for accelerators. But if I do find somewhere that is sparkling hot for them, then that could well be worth my time. I really don't want it to be in the Buccaneers area, though. Um, Buccaneers name my best friends. What about over here? These guys seem nice enough. I'll be there in two minutes. Pew! It's also possible that it's hot over there or over here. I'll go and check them out. Then, um, more than anything, I really want good prices for accelerators because the money they're going to make me is enormous. However, it's a huge undertaking in terms of money. Multi-billion startup cost. But we're going to alleviate some of those needs the only way we know how. Can Yake beat this game in two months? Let's watch. I don't even need one month. Pretty confident I'll have this all done. Although there's going to be some fair grinds involved, but I think we've got ways to mitigate that grind. I've got the Feed Me Your Sector guy around here. Maybe I should just get you started. Mm, yes. Yes, I will. I would like to have more merchants, but I could just grab you. Pirates are attacking this sector? Really? Don't save any ammo. The salvage will pay for it. Uh, I can't even aim at this guy in time. He's already dead. And that wasn't my fault. You ran into me. Okay, well, let's not worry about that. Let's make sure that you are actually well equipped for what I want you to do. Wasn't I meant to sell a bunch of my garbage? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's get rid of the weapons that you have and... Good lord, you've got terrible subsystems. Um, is there even an equipment dock here? There is not. Where is an equipment dock? So again, I just need to make sure that there's never anything that's going to cause a lot of things to pop up being done up there. Um, Epic Melody Prime has an equipment dock. Sometimes I put in Q and I find like the eloquent sector and that makes it show up, but this is okay. Boom. Slay the Spire with the AFK grinding. Um, the game needs a little bit too much attention for true AFK grinding. Mm, there's a lot of manual input in Scouting the Galaxy, so I think it's more like have a VOD on and watch that. What Catch up on the European speedrun uh, VOD. Maybe we can watch it together and chat about it all whilst I grind out entire systems. Alright, so what am I doing while I'm here? Um... I'd really like to switch out your crummy pretty much everything. I like the impenetrable shields, I do like the cargo hold stuff, but you know what, why don't we just pull everything off of you and get you going from the start. Do you even need that? I like those, but I guess you could have but You can have that though. Well, maybe you can, I have a lot of them. Anyway, I'm just going to strip you down and see what, uh, see what can be done with you. 
I think I can do a better limited adventuring companion on you than that, but the question is, do I want to? And the answer is, yeah, probably. And you're going to need a non-smuggler captain, so you're going to get this merchant captain, otherwise there are problems with acquisition. Because the, uh, the smuggler guy just wants to steal Rift research data and I don't want him to. Uh, right, what do I need you to have? I need you to have some armed turret slots so you don't die out there. It's really no big deal to give you Botan's one, so... Uh, not Botan, wrong guy. But, uh, yeah, you can have that, and you need more than that, so take that as well. And you know what, take that as well. That should keep you good. I want you to be able to jump quite far and quite fast, so I don't mind you having botans. And I want you to have some shields. And I should actually have some actual flat shields now. Who would who would have thought? Take them, take them, and then take probably two shield multipliers. Then you look pretty good. Your energy looks pretty bad. So I can sort your energy generation as well. I got loads of these, so maybe four isn't loads, but loads enough. There you go. It's good enough to keep you going, and then the rest of stuff, I don't know, get the tons of cargo space on you. Relative cargo hold space, 30% and 30%. And I could give you another one. I don't have a problem with that. And the last thing I want you to do is to have a trading subsystem. Is this guy a market expert? He's not. If he is, he could have spared me this subsystem slot. But I'll give you a... I'll give you my legendary one, but I certainly won't miss that. And there you go. Now you seem pretty well sorted. And I just want you to have some good DPS per slot weapons. Not coaxials, though, because occasionally you might need to fight. So, stuff that can actually work as guns. Yeah, there's a lot of these Gatling guns, but I'd rather have something with a bit of range on them. Look at all these precise jewel bolters. Surely you'll be fine with these. God knows where I've gotten so many of them. In fact, they're so small they barely take up your space, so I guess I'll additionally give you more of these. It's really just to give him the Omicron. He's not going to be making that many appearances on the front line, and when he does, he's got 2 million shield in a relatively safe area, so I think he'll be just fine. There you go, and you do have the crew for all that. You don't have all the crew for that. Well, I guess that's why we're next to you. Give me your crew. And now what I want Feed Me Your Sector to do is to not tell me about electron accelerators, but I'm going to put you on a procure mission, doesn't matter where, and I need you to get Rift research data. Kind of a crazy discovery this, but um, you can scale up your Rift research data acquisition by having a merchant grab it. Unfortunately, it costs a hell of a lot of money, takes a hell of a long time, but, we can get a modest amount, right? Let's say I want to get 5,000. It'll only take about two hours. Can we knock that down a bit? Maybe like 2,500? Only take an hour, barely any risk. And maybe then 4,000? 4% 4 risk is no percent risk, so go and get me that. 10% chance of finding a discount. Oh, I like the sound of that. But yeah, 41 million for the Rift Research data, it's a lot, but 4,000 is quite a bit. I want a lot more than that, but the idea is to have many, many... Actually, what if I put the same thing in multiple times? Is that going to be a problem? What if I also tell you you get another 4,000 of them? No, just uh, linearly. Similar, sim yeah, seemingly linearly increases that. Yeah, it just feels a bit long, though. How low do we have to go to get it at 3% uh, chance? I'll go with that. And let's just 
not have anything there. There we go, off you go, take the money that you need, and go and grab me those goods. It'll be the start of our rift research economy. Eventually I'll have several of them getting me tens of thousands of rift research, because I need a lot of it in order to get legendaries of all of them, and they are best in slot items, it's just that you're kind of choked on how to acquire them. So we can say that procure lots of rift research data is now in progress without caps lock on back we go yeah to those that missed it when I was waiting for Factorio to make those 20 million chips uh, I had it just idling whilst I played Slay the Spire in the other, well, on the same stream. I'm really starting to think I am not going to find high demand for accelerators. I'm going to give it a chance here and there, and if that's not happening, I'll just go back down here where these uh, the prices were. Middling, acceptably middling. Don't like using this... Oh, hang on. I'm going to check here instead. I don't like using this trade thing because it messes up how the galaxy mode looks. It removes all the color showing Edge of Empires and doesn't substitute it with another way of showing where the empires properly are. So it's hard to tell if you're going over to friend or foe. At least I find it pretty difficult. Oh, the care's there already. It would be nice if there was just a way to keep track of supply and demand around the area. All right, this is nothing too great, so if it's not good over here, then I'll just find a lukewarm area back down south and build it there. It's all right, though. Lukewarm is still fine. Accelerators are worth ungodly amounts of money anyway. The downside is that I've got to pay the initial hump for them, and that's quite a bit. While I'm up here, I could also send out my, uh, my Zotan guy to see if he wants to do an exploration mission around here. Should be fine for him. So very uncharted. Jeez, I'm already 15 hours behind the space hands out. There's no way mortal men could keep up with this. But there's also no need. What are you reasonably going to miss out on? The days of the big epic space battles, I believe, are long over. Yeah, this all looks very lukewarm. Oh, well, you know, there's still some rifty stuff up there, isn't there? Let's have a wee look-see over here. How do I even know about that? Oh, right, I was further south than I thought. I AFK uh, patrolling people's lands, so you might notice that there are better relations with some places than there were before. Don't know if I checked around here for price, but I probably did. Will you be building the community ships today? Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, I'll probably be doing that within about an hour or two because it's pretty early on on the list of things I want to do. So I'm going to make the accelerators first. Well, I'm working on the accelerators right now. I guess I need the weapons for them, don't I? So I guess I'll do the weapons before I do that. The weapons... Oh, I wonder about that. It's going to be very expensive. Am I really going to have the money for it? Do I? No, I don't need to do the weapons first, do I? I've got plenty of weapons. I'll make the ships after we set up the uh, accelerator then. But yeah, I'm not seeing huge demand, which is surprising. Did I already check up there? I don't think I did. Let's give it a quick check. Okay, and like I said, if it's not there, I'm just going back down to the relative safety of down here. And then we will produce our accelerators. Besides, I can always move them. Do you think this is a game? Oh no, get me away. I'm just a little drone. I'm only a gnome. Get to your destination, do care. Hey, excellent, right. Yeah, as expected. I don't think anywhere has very high demand for accelerators. So we'll find a neutral zone down here and pop them in. 
Actually, I don't think neutral zones matter at all. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time idling in a neutral zone. It still got attacked by pirates. So I don't think they're safe at all. So instead of caring about that, where are we going to put the neutron accelerator? Should be somewhere that has a rift research center. Hmm. Was it cold around here? I think it was, wasn't it? And that's all very deadly. Just in case, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little check over there in deadly zone, because it would be worth it to send them money to make them not hate me, so that I could set up my new uh, my accelerator factory there and make more money. Uh, so if this doesn't work, I guess I'll set it up over here, because I think the the demand was fine or the prices were fine over here. And anywhere that has a Rift Research Center already is pretty good. Because Rift Research Centers consume accelerators. So that's a way to initially get someone to buy them up. <laughs> what I need to do with this is... Acquire more merchant captains. Assemble fleet of... How uh, many do we think? Five of them? That's a lot of acquisition of Rift Research data. I doubt I need five of them going. Let's say a fleet of three. If it's three, then I don't need that many more, but that should be fine. All right, to care. Last chance for finding a place that has good prices for accelerators. Nah, nothing fancy about it. And just in case, yeah, it's exactly the same for all of them. Okay, well, that being how it is, do care. Let's get you... Where was it? Over here. I get a little scary putting it on a border with buccaneers. This place might be a lot friendlier to put it down in. Yes, I think it is actually. Besides, I've got so many Rift Research Centers around here to choose from, and it's a good distance away from... These aren't even Buccaneers. I could easily make friendly with these guys. The only reason I'm mad at them, or they're mad at me, is because I went around here and tore down all of their, well, Rift Research Centers. And uh, I wanted to see if they would respawn. And you know what? We're going to go and check one last time to see if they will. They've had Aeons to respawn. If, they still not, if they're still not there, then I will be convinced that AIs actually don't respawn. Unless... Unless I don't know their capital. The Thaiku followers. So it's possible that it works like they need their capital. I've read that before. What are they called? The Tha... Well, uh, Alticon, Thayaku. I don't know their capital, I think. That's not their capital. Their capital would be Thayaku Prime, and it would have headquarters in it. So maybe the reason it's not rebuilding is because I don't know their capital, or their capital isn't generated. Not unthinkable. Guess I could try and find it at some point. Right, to care. Come on, I want my accelerator factory. The money is going to be unreal. Hopefully. Hey, there we go. As expected, it's so-so uh, in terms of uh, demand here, but that's okay. Fewer asteroids are better asteroids, but... Let's go here. Hmm, why is my jump cooldown so long? I don't know. So, first things first, I need the shipyard to... That's a repair dock. I need the shipyard to build me a ship. 
any small crappy ship will do just fine. And your name is... Do I have a factory naming convention yet? I think this is my first proper factory. And you will be an alliance factory on top of that. The alliance fleet just says mines. Alright, then it's factory accelerators 01. Factory accelerators 01. Not that there's going to be more than one. Because these things are hugely expensive. Well, I mean, there could be. I just don't think I need to have more than one. Your station founder. Everything else looks fine. Get out there. Because it's a nice small ship, it's produced very quickly. And we can look over at the Rift Research Center and look at the fact that they consume... Electron accelerators. Neutron accelerators. Proton accelerators. Not a lot of them though, only 200. Could have sworn they could have higher demands than that. Hmm. Might be worth checking if any of these have significantly larger demands for accelerators. It'll get the ball rolling faster. Also the price. What's the price on these? Accelerators are 132 grand. Let's check these guys as well. Rift Research Theta, or Center. Accelerators. Oh, they buy far fewer of them, although for more money. And you? Again, only around... Oh, 100? I might have, might have landed at best with the first one. If any of them were to buy thousands of accelerators, well, that would be nice, but... Accelerators, only 100. Better price again, but volume, volume, volume. And then finally... Yeah, okay, I think I did best to the first one that I found. Now, this factory is very, very important and a huge investment. So it's actually going to be protected accordingly. And it's going to get a vastly expensive setup for what we build for it. So right out here, between the rest of these things, it will hopefully be guarded by other ships sufficiently. And we go... Found station, high-tech, accelerator. Note the ridiculous cost to do so. Begin the transformation. Bonk. And then we are very vulnerable, just as this little thing that costs hundreds of millions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a design that I have for advanced factories. This has a lot going for it. It costs a lot of Avorion and a lot of money. Uh, this is my normal factory thing. It's still big and rocky. But this one is special because it has lots of assembly bits on it. It better have assembly bits on it, actually. I'll need to check, huh? I think these big lumpy bits at the top. Wait, that's just cargo bay. Where are the... Um... Huh. This thing's meant to have a lot of production speed up. Yeah, it does. It's got production capacity 26k, which it's meant to. Why can I not see the production blocks? Avorion, tell me. Ah, 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 I hid it inside. Very clever. Very clever indeed. So this giant assembly block ensures that it produces these items, which are normally very slow, at the same speed as anything else. So that should be okay. But I also want it to have a whole lot of shielding, because I don't want this thing to break apart. It's, like I said, very important to me. So you can put subsystems even on stations like this, and it will enjoy having... Well, it's going to need shields where it's going, isn't it? Um, I'll give it impenetrable shields. Doesn't need to have too impressive penetrable shields, so I'll give you that. And then... What am I going to do with you? i got plenty of these kind of low, crummy-ish shield converters. So I might give you two of those and a couple of flat ones. Really don't have a lot of flat ones, though. Now, you know what? Why give them flat ones? It's a giant 
hunk of junk here. I can just go over to my now night shield generator and just slam that on. Well, I could try. What in the world do you even think you're overlapping with? Probably this, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're just looking for some big old place to slam you on and get some. Why is that now night hull? Now night shield generator, please. Maybe on both sides. No, maybe just on this side. That's fine. It's not exactly good looking, but it should give me the hull that it. Uh, not the hull, the shields that it needs. Certainly won't give it the energy that it needs, though. But that's okay, because I can give you. How about another shield multiplier? And then I'll give you some energy. Now oh, they all do energy generation, don't they? Or at least they all affect energy. Uh, here you go, just plain energy generated. Chonk. And it still is an order of magnitude out. But that's fine, because I can just shove a regular. I'm using now night here, because now night doesn't get used very much for anything. Is that good enough for you? Almost. There you go. Big, expensive, unwieldy, but should fulfill my needs just nicely. I can also hire crew off of the own station and have them auto assigned and then realize that I am way behind on the amount of people that I need because they all want to man those shields. It's just very important for me that this thing doesn't die. So that's how we're going about this. I also need to grab to care and come over to the thing. Now it's not going to do anything right now. It doesn't have any ingredients that it needs. So I'm going to source them for it. Might have been clever to source the ingredients first, but I didn't do that, so too bad. You need to build a ship at the shipyard, but you can instantly transform it elsewhere. That's right. It needs to be a station founding ship, and only a shipyard can do that. Why? I don't know. Just how it works. So let's... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Definitely not transport mode. I wanted to transfer over as much crew as I can and that's still not enough for you so I'll go and hire any extra crew that's going around give me all of your crew and give me those guys as well so I'm going to pick up the crew that's around here as well and bring them back and then with the accelerator factory set up it might, have seemed, it might not have seemed like it cost that much money to begin with but it actually needs some upgrades and those upgrades cost Mm, more than one and a half billion credits. That's billion with a B for Bravo. A lot of money. Oh man, I wish you could do those modifications a bit more elegant, with a bit more panache. Yeah, sorry, I'm building for function here, not form. Give me your crew. I'll pass on the Daredevil. I'll also check what equipment you have while I'm here. Yeah, I'm always interested in turret controls, energy, more turret controls, definitely shields, definitely hyperspace boosting. And curiously, what does the Rift Research Center have for me? I got 500 Rift Research data, and you have the Combat Enhancing, and oh, the Hyperspace Cooldown is there. You have an Energizing Hyperspace Jumper, which is kind of cool, and that's rather nice. I want that, uh... of all that, there's one thing that I want, and I'll also take your crew. And then we're actually going to have to take some notes and strap on a big old cargo bay. For one more time we go off to, to do some slaughtering. There are seven separate places that we're looking to destroy. Although we might not need all of them, depends on what we find out there. There are plenty of people that hate our guts, so that's plenty of people that we can go and beat up for goods. 21 million shields should be fine, but I need a lot more space on my ship. Give me all your crew and give me that. I particularly want the rest of these. Eventually I'm going to want pretty much every uh, all of these things all the time but for now I'm a bit brassic when it comes to that. What's all this? Who's got yields for me? Oh, the explorers have made their jump. I should be giving them their orders because they're sitting ducks where they are. 
please go and scout around the very centre of the galaxy. I have them scout in groups of three because it's so dangerous here. As for me, let's go and dump this crew over at our accelerator factory. Note that it's got the S for small, and it is small. That big chunk of shield generation is ugly, isn't it? But I just want this thing to just absolutely not take damage. So, 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 so. Transfer over... how many do you even need? I don't know, I'll give you all that I have. And then I will... Why are you not auto-assigning? I swear auto-assign just does not often work the way I want it to. That's still not enough? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, give me more of your crew, please. Oh, those are level 3 crew. Don't, don't give me... Don't give me your high-level crew. Give me your low-level grunty crew. Until I've got all my needs seen to. Alright, that's fine. However, I don't have enough space for all this crew. So we go back to... and this stuff I'll just build out of titanium, because it's what I've got the most of. Titanium crew quarters. That's way more than I need, I think. 451... Donk. Yeah, there we go. Truly hideous. But we have uh, impenetrable shields, so it's unlikely anything's going to hurt us. Now the shipyard works just fine. However, uh, it can't produce anything because ingredients are missing, and would you look at that, the uh, the goods that I want to sell have plus 11% uh, value here, which is good, and the goods that I want to uh, take to produce it are generally very cheap, which is very nice. So we're going to buy goods from others, we're going to sell to others, we're going to actively sell others, actively request goods, and we're going to make sure that the Rift Research Center gets the goods that we sell. However, ingredients are still missing. So I'm at the mercy of traders to come and bring me these goods, which is fine. They will bring them, but I'll be spending a lot of money on that. I'm not really in the mood for spending lots of money. Actually, you know what? You know what? Don't actively buy goods from others. Not yet, at least. So let's see. Yeah, you didn't buy anything there. What we're going to do is we're going to do the initial stock up. So I need to find... All right, let's, let's get pen and paper here. I need to find turbines. Turbines, plasma cells, uh, fusion generators, energy tubes, Uh, conductors, conductors, uh, oh, I missed high pressure tubes. Eventually, I'm going to have to set up the, um, the factory chain to make all these, and it's a huge factory chain. Uh, Gauss rails. I had to get a website that did mind mapping so that I could map out what I needed to do all this. And then I found a website that already had it all specifically done for a Vorion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven goods. Seven's what it says on my list. Let's go and put on our big boy pants. How do I not? How am I overpopulated? I don't recall picking up that many crew. Oh wow, I put you at 200% for whatever reason. I'm sure I had a reason to do that, but for the life of me I can't think of what it could be. Anyway, get ourselves back some of that sweet crew quarter. Is that going to be enough? Evidently not. Boy, even that's not enough. That'll do you fine. Oh, no, it still won't. Jeez. Let's not worry about it. We'll be changing out our ship quite soon. For now, though, I think this is Ducare's final flight. Because I'm going to transform him once we're done with this, after I spent all the money that I need on this accelerator factory. Let's grab our favorite, the big, fat cargo bay belly. There we go.
Are we going to need all this space? I don't know. How much space is it? 129k. Mm, I'd be happier with a bit more. Let's see if 145k will do us. Um, I did manage to find a Commodore Daredevil when idling. So he's going to be hanging around, but for what I'm about to do, I will want a smuggler. So I'm going to have a smuggler of Commodore instead. There we go. Proto Zamac, the smuggling Commodore. That's a really good find. Between the smuggler Commodore and the Commodore Daredevil, I have exactly the two captains I want for my flagship. Who wants to be the, uh, the, the Commodore Daredevil, though? Commodore Daredevil will be there for all the fighting. Protozomac will be there for all of the smuggling. Yeah, all this stuff. So all the stuff we're about to find is just going to fall off the back of a lorry. Baron von Owen. Well, no, Baron, you're going to be piloting the tactical assault pyramid. Wouldn't make any sense for you to be in charge of this, would it? Right, Akarad might be a fine enough name, but I think you should be. I would put in Ali, but the, the name you have is just so uh, unwieldy. So let's have the and Darius. And I'll drop the the. No need for formalities here. And Darius, you are the Daka. However, Protozomac is the one that we need right now. So, let's go through it. First off, I want turbines. Looking for turbine factories that we can raid. There's one up here. Looks rather convenient. There's one over there. All right, all right. We have options then. After I do turbine, what about plasma? Okay, plasma is available over there and not over here. So I think we're going to go over to the turbine facility here first. I have to type it here in such a way that it doesn't um, doesn't put in something like a T or an S and highlight the whole map. Right. So. Let us travel, let us go and get our turbine factory. Oh, interestingly enough, there wouldn't happen to be an accelerator factory, because that might have everything that I need. Oh, would you look at that? You know, why don't we stop off at the accelerator factory first? Both of them. The existence of accelerator factories might be what drives up the demand, or drives down the demand, rather. Yes, yes, I think we'll be having our way with the accelerator factories first. Pew. You'll be there in two minutes, which gives me an opportunity to admire my Alliance Vault of 2.7 billion. The correct thing to do is obviously... Mm -hmm. Well, I need to recoup the costs for having built that factory, so give me about 600 million. I think I was off by two digits there. 600, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, million. Thank you kindly. You could just raid your own, I'd rather not. I'd also rather not see this, pirates coming and ravaging this sector. However, between the two frigates and three fighters, they're almost certainly going to take care of those. This is why I like to build in, oh, that poor loader. Poor loader ain't gonna make it. Oh, all those goods that I could be having. I wonder if loaders that uh, meet up with certain factories actually hold the goods that those factories use. But yeah, that frigate's gonna have no problem dispatching these crummy pirates. Cool little pirate design on that thing, though. But away it goes. Very good. So, turbines, plasmas, fusion, energy tubes, conductors. I'm going to grab them all, then I'm going to... I'll have to pay to de... Um, debrand them, but that's okay. Come on to care. Ship names are nouns. They don't have the definitive article anyway. Sure. Oh, well, would you look at that? The fusion generator factory is here already. So I can check off fusion generators. The final flight of the Decare. Then the Decare can finally be uh, 
retire put into retirement and replaced with the malcontent. Oh, there's a war robot factory. That's also very lucrative, so I don't mind grabbing myself some war robots. There's nothing any of these ships could reasonably do to me. The best thing they could possibly do is all ram me. That would probably penetrate my impenetrable shields. So how's that infusion generators? Oh, I tell you, it's not anything unless I set myself to pick them up. Please pick up cargo, but not scrap or ore. We're not wasting our time with those anymore. Uh, okay, it's a little hard to keep track of all the goods that I just picked up. So we got ourselves fusion generators. Not a lot. I got some of them. Um, I'm just going to tick it off. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to tick that off. Fusion generators done. Uh, plasma cells. Holy moly, we got all the plasma cells we could ever need. Good job, us. Now, where are those turbines at? Don't have them yet. Let's go and find them. Some of those war robots were apparently legit. No point leaving any survivors in this sector. Let's just tear the whole thing down. Blow up their pathetic little factory even by nudging into it. So the accelerator factory should have some... I'd imagine some accelerators for me, but I'm mostly looking for the ingredients for accelerators. Funny though that may be. The point is to get my own production line up and going. So I could have just set up the accelerator factory and had it operational immediately, but the reason I wanted to source the ingredients first is because when you set it to buy its ingredients, it can spend huge amounts of money importing what it needs. I want to actually have it start generating some money first before it starts spending all of my precious money. My bolters are having trouble targeting this thing, they're too close. These bolters that I have, by the way, are just ridiculously good. It's the very first thing I rolled on my brand new turret factory in Tech 50 land, and it's just so good. I would have been a fool to roll away from it. Effective DPS per slot of 6,000 on hull. The only real downside is I'm not great at shredding shields with them, but that's okay, because today I plan on making weapons set for all sorts. Well, maybe it'll be done today. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, that got us quite a few goods there. Not a lot of turbines, though, so I'll definitely want to hit up a specific turbine factory. But while we're here, you know, just, just make a little on the side. Yeah, I'm like a French trading fleet, right? So yeah, we're, we're here to trade some, some grain or cattle or whatever. But while we're here, why not just do a bit of privateering? Make a bit of extra dosh on the side. Probably not exclusive to the French, but the French came to mind. What gun type has the best Alpha Strike capability? Mmm, railguns. Railguns are instant and have enormous range. Main downsides of railguns is that they tend to overheat very easily. But you could custom build one that doesn't have that as such a problem. They're also very slow to fire, but that's okay. Good to have a weapon that you only need to fire once anyway. They can also be pretty bad at tracking a moving target. Lasers would be better at that. But lasers aren't alpha strike, are they? There's also rockets. They don't have the missing problem of railguns, and they do have the same, or perhaps even better, range, depending on the type of uh, missile launcher. But it takes a while for the rockets to, or the missiles to arrive on target. In the end, all the guns are viable. They're just different in the ways that they act which is why I was keen to hear what kind of weapons people wanted on their custom ships because I'm happy to provide all. Alright, what's left to destroy? I'll, whilst we take out the resource depot, I can do a quick check on what we are enjoying right now. So, I should have taken down the, oh, the number of these goods that the accelerator factory needed, but uh, go figure I didn't. Did I get enough plasma cells? Oh, hell yeah, if I got 4,000, that's plenty. Uh, did I grab any or enough turbines? 58 is not sufficient. We need a specific turbine place. Um, fusion generators I grabbed. Did I grab enough? Fusion generators. 69 is not enough. I would like more fusion generators. See if we can source a fusion generator place. Uh, energy tubes. No energy tubes. 
high pressure tubes. We've got 170. Kind of okay. Yeah, it's no big deal. I'll take that off. We're going to take out another accelerator factory anyway. How about conductors? Plenty of conductors. Good, good. And Gauss rails. 91. Again, could do with more Gauss rails, more fusion generators. We need turbines. And for some reason... Oh, I've got 228 energy tubes. So we got that. So high pressure tubes was what again? 170. I think we'll be fine with that. So I just need to find a turbines, turbines, gauss rails, and that should be good. Turbines and gauss rails. Do we uh, blow up the the resource depot yet? Oh, it's just sitting back there. AI captains have very strange ideas on how to position we uh, your ships. I've, ha I've ordered my AI captain to destroy everything and what he does is positions his ship so that only the point defense cannons can shoot what he's targeting. I think that's all the more reason that when you make a ship and give it to an AI you've got to have him able to shoot on as many areas as possible. Rockets with seeking are stupid good. I do like them a lot. I wouldn't dream of having rockets that aren't seeking. All right, another accelerator factory for us to enjoy. Very generous of them to give me all these accelerators for free. They are, I don't think they're the single most expensive good, but the reason the accelerator factory is so good is that it makes all three types of accelerators. Compare them to something similar like body armor. Body armor is a comparable price point, but you only produce one. One body armor, huh? Uh, right, oh hey look, there's a fusion generator. And the accelerator. Well, two for the price of one. Let's get gunning. How are we on our... Oh, we've got loads of space. Not a problem. We'll have it down. Can feel the greed in my bones. The greed is good. It feels good. And if it feels good, why stop? Yeah, the main greed is going out of my way to do this when the accelerator factory is perfectly functional. But I want to make sure that all my costs are accounted for. Because if we get into a situation where the accelerator factory spends an inordinate amount of money on a specific kind of good and actually leaves me with no money and isn't able to source the other goods they need for the accelerators, then I am in a fiscal burden and it would lead me to have to do this anyway. So I'm basically doing this because I don't trust the managers of my new factory. Hello, 75 additional stolen fusion generators. Can anybody check how many fusion generators an accelerator needs? Where's that uh, accelerator factory? There it is. Nice and close. Still looking for a turbine factory. And was there an energy tube? 228. I'm sure if that's enough. Unguided rockets tend to be faster, so they're very spammable. Yeah, but I don't trust them to hit their target. That's the problem. But that's okay. We'll be able to find all sorts of weapons. It's going to be very expensive, but that's why we're setting this up, isn't it? Depending on the money situation, we'll either do the weapon sourcing today or tomorrow. Because I am going to want mm, hundreds of millions at least. I also need a lot of goods to produce the weapons, but we'll be privateering for that, and hopefully I'll have a carrier, a carrier of uh, cargo space to help deal with that. Okay, nice and simple. What was it that I'm still looking for? Right, I wanted a turbine factory, and there was one here, I believe. There it is. All right, to care. Let's do what we know best. I got 115 turbines, which isn't terrible. 500, 600 energy tubes. I think I also wanted more gauche rails. Can I whisper a carrier design? Send it to me however you see best. There's a turbine factory that I'm after. Let's not waste our time with the petty parts. Where is it? Ah, down here. What a big sector.
didn't uh, really max out my shields for this attack, so they are getting chipped away, but that's no big deal. They are impenetrable, down to, I think, 30%. And we're sitting pretty right now at 84. I haven't checked to see what the other ships have in terms of cargo capacity, but I just want one ship that focuses on cargo capacity. It might even be the flagship, because it's a lot easier to put it into a position where I can pick up the goods. Flagship being the one that I'll be flying. And the other ones can focus more on guns, even though I like to have guns myself. I'll figure something out, and we'll see what I can do with malcontent. Goodbye turbine factory, hopefully you have turbines and not just the makings for turbines. Yum, 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 yum. And that's 178 additional turbines. I guess I can be satisfied with that. A quick check on the list from the top again. Stolen turbines. Yes. Stolen plasma cells. Yes. Stolen fusion generators. It's not a ton, but it'll do. Stolen energy tubes. That's great. Stolen conductors. Those I think I need a lot of, and I've got a ton of them. Stolen high-pressure tubes. Good. And finally, gauche rails. Gauche rail situation is a bit... Yeah, but it'll do. Like I said, this is just seed money, essentially, starting us up. By the way, while I'm here, you wouldn't happen to have any rift research centers, would you? Comma. And then I type in rift, and I delete the comma, and I go, Well... You know, while I'm here, it would be nice to get a little bit more rift research. Yeah, go on, go on. We got the money to uh, to turn all this around. Can you buy mines or factories from your allies? Kind of. Not in exchange for money, but in exchange of threat. You can shoot down a uh, you can shoot down a factory or a mine, but not finish it off. And then you can send in borders, and the borders will take it over. And likely, I will do that rather than have to source all of the um, all of the mines I'm going to need for my tran um, accelerator factories. Hold on, that's the repair dock. I don't want to kill the repair dock. But I've started, so I'll finish. Get on out of here. What I'm really looking for is you. Give me my research data. Be a part of the future. Help find new undiscovered materials. Oh, I think I will. Will you monopolize all goods in the galaxy? No. Because unlike patrician, there's no actual economy to speak of. Whether a faction has access to every goods or no goods makes no impact whatsoever. They don't even have a budget. It's not like uh, Patrician where people will starve if they don't get access to grain. You can't do meals for the poor without beer or cheese and whatnot. And there's prosperity if people get clothes and cloth and whatnot. No, there's none of that. So that's why, uh, that's, why that's not really a thing here. So it won't be something we're going for. But for the sake of completion, I do want to produce every good, and I've got a list of all of that. Alright, there we go, an additional 300 odd drift research set, uh, data. I'd like more, but uh, I currently have someone procuring it. How long is it going to take to get me a few thousand? Oh, right, I need to make sure that my uh, explorers are continuing to do what they do. Feed me your sector will be done in half an hour. Alright, half an hour should be fine on the time. If these guys want to keep getting killed, then more power to them, but I need to find myself a smuggler place. Preferably a smuggler place that's right next to my... Oh, Ooh, what? There's no smugglers here? No, it's because I put this comma in. Smugglers, all right. Get me over here, please. Pew! <laughs> Even though I was currently shooting something, pew and away I go. And again, I put a comma afterwards and delete it out. That way I don't spam my own screen. What about you guys?
Gonna move you all over to that known empty sector. Same with you. And then I want you to go exploring Hobbs. Very dangerous, but the sooner I do the core, the happier I'll be. And I'm not willing to accept risk for these guys. Oh, look at these guys, they want their revenge. Maybe they can hide, right? They wouldn't shoot a, a poor little drone that's just nestled in the shell of their former... Oh, jeez. Think of the friendly fire. How much cold hard cash do we have? About 2 billion with a B. But almost all of that's going to be uh, invested into our accelerator factory. Which has already eaten a considerable sum of our dosh. Huh, we actually spawned over here. And the pirates are- oh god, the pirates are here and actually trashing the sector. Come on, frigates, do your bloody job! There we go, that's much better. Complete chain of every industry. I will produce all the goods, but for the complete chains I'll only do accelerators. I was looking at the complete chain list and then my eyes kind of watered at just how many factories that would be. And I thought, it's not, it's, there's no real difference between setting up the chain and having imports filled with gaps. So I'll stick with that. Right, let's get this stuff unbranded. Anything we don't need for the factory can then be given over to our merchant to sell. Although maybe I won't do that. I don't need the money, kind of. And I need my, well, hmm, not sure, not entirely sure. Ah, what the heck, let's unbrand the whole lot of it. This is going to cost a lot of money. 20 million... That was apparently 48 million to unbrand a lot of those. Now let's go and dump them here. I see your, uh, I see your whisper in there, Marisa. I will check it out for next session. Not gonna do it for today's one though. Try not to uh, break flow whenever I can. Right, bring me back to my accelerator factory. So, so, so. First things first. Hmm, what is first things first in this case? I think I will ex uh, send over the factory for accelerators to the Alliance. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Could be that actually this uh, this nation hates my Alliance, which might, have be, might actually be worth checking. Actually, I've got good, uh, good relations with them. That's excellent. In that case, we now transfer over cargo you wanted oh, now I gotta remember what they want oh god what did they want conductors I know you need conductors you don't need these electron accelerators but I tell you what you could already sell them couldn't you oh, that's no big deal um, was energy tubes on the line yeah energy tubes were needed Fusion generators were needed. Gauss rails were needed. High pressure tubes were needed. That's one, two, three, four, five. Medical, metal plates, military Tesla coils, mining robots, neutron accelerators, oxygen. Plasma cells sounds about right. Yeah, take these plasma cells. And then there's one last thing they need. 
plasma cell, high pressure tubes. I swear it was another kind of tube. Oh, you've already got the energy tubes. Turbines then? Turbines, where are my turbines? There you go, and now it's going to start producing them, and it's going to produce them really quickly because I put all those uh, blocks on it, but that's insufficient. What we're also going to do is configure it, and I'm still going to undercut the competition by 5%. I'm going to, well, actually, you know what? We're actually going to overcut the competition by 10% because this factory is special. We're going to actively buy goods that we want. And we're going to upgrade and upgrade and then run out of money for more upgrading. So I need to jump into you to then upgrade and upgrade. And holy moly, that cost me a lot of money. Cost me about the tune of 2 billion. But now this thing produces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sets of these every 15 seconds. So every... we can run some numbers here, can't we? Every 15 seconds, we produce these goods, which have a value of... Uh, with the 10% boost, about 200,000 each. So that's 600,000 uh, ducats of goods produced every... Oh man, these actually have higher prices, don't they? Well, that's no big deal for us. 600,000 worth of goods. Delicious. And you're going to actively sell them, and all will be well. Hopefully, at least. I guess we'll soon find out if it makes money or loses money. Have you killed the final boss yet? No, I want to make the fleet first. And actually, with this done, I have more money left over than I thought I might have. Hey, they got their first customers coming in. Hello, loader. wonder if I could, like, blow them up after they go in there. So, 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 so. Didn't I transfer you over to the Alliance? It's still showing up as my factory. Well, it's over here now, and it's already made its first sale of uh, two million. So it's already looking pretty pretty on the list of profits per hour. Of course, eventually it's going to have to buy in imports to the rest of stuff, but it will still make good money. You can trust me on that. There's some interesting craft in the game. I had a small llama fly by when I was at a portal. Well, small llama. We had small uh, weird boxes that couldn't even move in the multiplayer. That was very strange to find. It made me think they were actually glitched out. Working as intended. And we can tell that it's got goods that it needs. Wow, it chewed through those gauche rails in no time. You must, uh, you must use up gauche rails more than I thought, huh? Oh yeah, you, you apparently chew up nine at a time. Of course, with all the parallel runs, of course it does. But it's going to buy in the goods that it needs, and it will continue to chew them out and make me buckets of ducats, or so I hope. While they're doing that, I picked up some accelerators that I'm just going to sell for the hell of it. So, over here, I shall sell. Uh, unless you had something really worth my time. No. Alpha and his bleeding centaurs. Wears his life on his sleeve, so he does. Uh, I want those. And those. Get me over here. So it has to pay on the imports, but eventually I'll have a production line for the accelerators so that they don't have to pay for any imports. Truth be told, it's not worth the effort, but I just want to have it. Sometimes that's what it's all about. Gib, 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 gib. And give me some of the rest of this as well. So let's look at our to-do list. Produce accelerators, built a factory, supplied it, it has defenses. Well, it has shielding, which is good enough. Privateer initial goods. All done. Done, 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 done. Now, I also want to do the big trash clear out. For that, I'm going to need a research center, a regular research center, so not a rift one. Hey, there's a research center right there. Is there one that's in a bit more populated region? Let's 
It's all rift research. I just want regular research. Are they always alone? That doesn't sound right. I'm sure I've seen them in very populated areas before. Hmm. Well, I guess a solo one isn't uh, isn't a problem, really. Uh, right. Before I do this, did the rift research shop have anything for me? Hmm. That's strange. It has a hyperspace jump range, but not the hyperspace cooldown. Truth be told, I want both. And that one has the wrong kind of cooldown. It's going to be hard to farm exactly the one of those that I want, but nobody said this would be easy. Okay, so the big clear out of my goods, and I need to be a little bit careful how I do this. I'll take care of selling his goods shortly. Um, trash man, help me out. Also, for the love of God, I don't need my money subsystem anymore. Get out of here. Give me back my additional shield, pretty please. There we go. Now I feel a lot less invincible. So, I am going to trash a lot of my items. My inventory is currently 2,500. That's huge. Far too huge. It's mostly full of trash. This is not trash. Um, but the game does have a surprisingly good way of working with bulk deletion or bulk getting rid of goods. Uh, although it's even better when you use this modded version of Trash Man. So all of my turrets, and I'm just going to sell them wholesale. I will get rid of maybe not any of my Avorion stuff. Yeah, maybe petty Avorion stuff. Organite if it's common. Xaneon if it's not uncommon, but all the other stuff, I don't see a good reason not to just get rid of anything if it's not legendary. And titanium, there's no way even legendary titanium stuff is going to be worth my time. That said, I can always manually check the uh, the legendaries. So yeah, if it's if it's not at least rare Xaneon, or uncommon Organite, or common of Orion, it's about to be a trashed turret. Not systems yet, I'll get around to that. So I mark these, and it's going to mark... It's going to lag out, is what it's going to do. 2,543 items. Oh, that's rather a lot. Let's, uh, let's look for trash here. That's a lot of trash. It's a hell of a lot of trash. You might even say it's too much trash, but I'll be the judge of that. I'm going to make a couple of sanity checks first. I want to make sure that none of my ultra DPS stuff is getting trashed. For example, see that reliable double coaxial? That's not trash. Um, because that's going to be very good for some of my away missions. Otherwise... Otherwise, in terms of just raw DPS... I don't really mind losing much of this stuff, that's okay. I also want to check for any... Break alloy stuff that's a very good material value. Because the organite ones are still useful to me. Same could be said for any Avorion ones, but there are no Avorion ones, so I think that's fine. I don't like breaking down my guns, I just sell them straight up. Uh, right, not just break alloy, but also break stone. Avorion, I'll keep it. Avorion, I'll keep it. Organite, I'll keep it. Organite, I'll keep it. Xaneon are worse. Just say good night. All right, and then I say to you, equipment doc, I will sell you all my trash. I'm gonna absolutely make sure that I haven't accidentally trashed any of my subsystems though, because once you sell trash, there's practically no coming back from it. So, my own inventory, trash, do I have any trash subsystems? I have no trash subsystems, perfect, in that case. Farewell, my trash. It all sold for 149 million credits. And it really was trash. And on top of that, it shaved off about 2,000 slots in my inventory. Very good. It'll still build up, and I will occasionally need to do that just to stop my inventory getting too full of garbage. 
but that certainly slimmed down the amount of weapons that I had, something fierce, the subsystems. I will deal with also now, but over at this research station. And it's time for this game's version of Bing Bing Wahoo. Even Jake, have fun with the hands of tonight. Why, thank you. I intend to. So I'm playing it after all. To have fun. Wait, wasn't there something I wanted to buy uh, back in that other... Yeah, screw it. Uh, good job at all your exploring, my explorers. Now go and explore some more. You guys jump over there. Surely these guys are just about done with their job, so whilst they're sussing that out, I fly over to this research place. And now it's time to do another trash job. And this time I'm going to trash all... Hmm, do I do rare or uncommon subsystems for trashing? The way I see it, I don't think I want or need any rare subsystems anymore. If it's not exceptional, it's probably not good enough. I mean, how many of these am I ever going to want to use? None of them. So yeah, I'm going to trash all of them with some rare exceptions. And the nice thing is I can go and uh, deal with my exceptions accordingly. And I knew it, Explorer 01 is already there and already getting to work. Do that corner, take a friend, take, take all three of you. I don't want to leave one hanging and I doubt one could do one of these alone. Surprised the other one's taking so long over here. I'm sure they have their reason. Uh, did I do my trashing? If it's a subsystem and it's rare, mark it as trash. 3,213 items marked as trash. And then I'm going to do a quick sanity check for these subsystems. Subsystem, tell me if it's trash as well. Huh, they're not really showing up at all, are they? Probably because they're trashed, huh? In that case, let's do this the other way around. Let's... Uh, Unmark it all as trash. Show me my subsystems, and I'm going to make sure everything that I don't think is trash is marked as marked with a star. At least these things. Uh, something ain't right here. Where did all my subsystems go? They're here, but they're not showing up as subsystems. Hmm. Something very strange. All right, I'm gonna have unmark all on that. Huh, very strange indeed. What's going on? See this thing here? Why does it not show up when I search subsystems? Is it going to search it? No, it shows up fine here. Subsystem... Hmm. How very bizarre. Well, I'm sure it's got some good reason for that. Point is, if I want to keep any of them, I'm going to mark them as stuff that I want to keep. Are those in your alliance inventory? No, no they're not. My alliance inventory is very, very miserly. I'm just throwing my bounty chips in there. Occasional very rare weapons that I'm just gonna keep for the hell of them and items that I don't want to accidentally use for my for my inventory I'd move the building knowledge in if I could but I can't it's bound to uh, Simply to me Okay, please move over to this corner with the three of you Very strange what just happened with my inventory there and I don't have an explanation Anyway, uh, are there any of these that I want to keep? I'm actually quite interested in these best in slot items, including these ones, even the energy giving ones. All that is trash. It's not even worth holding on to those for selling at this point. All of this is just trash, 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 trash. Is that maybe the multi headed hydras? It's only two. Do I have enough of them at this level? That's also only two. Ew. How many of them do I have at this level? There's three there, huh? Hmm. 
I could well be convinced to keep the multi-headed hydras because those I can give over to my mining fleet and I may actually need more of them than I think. Otherwise I'm just seeing a huge amount of trash on the rare stuff as well. I certainly want the bulwarks. Did I miss any bulwarks here? I don't see any. I don't see any at all. Even the jump range stuff, it's got to go. I'll manually deal with you. You're a special case, same with you. And anything below uncommon isn't even worth thinking about. So, let's get back to it. Trash man, rare and below. Mark it all. It does not mark your favorited stuff. So if we search subsystem, the favorite stuff is still here. Well, this is here, although I've marked it as trash. What a strange... Well, as long as the good stuff isn't marked as trash, it's all okay. Yeah, I don't know why these are trash and showing up, but let's not worry about it. Let's instead go to research and let's take a chance here. There's a 60% chance that this becomes legendary and I don't need to source any more of them. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to get one of these back and I'm going to need to source more of them. Which is a pain, but hey, let's try it. And it failed, so I'm going to need to get this off of enemy of my enemy once more. Didn't even think about making it, but there it is. Now, auto research trash items, same subsystems. Go. This is going to take a bit. And it's going to remind me that I don't have my water, so I'm going to grab it. I'll be right back. It would have been an excellent point to come back and uh, notice that it's actually grinding down all the high-level items that I wanted to keep, but no, it looks to be fine. So what's going on right now, to those that don't know how this system works, is that I've got a lot of low-level loot, but what you can do is you can take three bits of loot, or more if you want, combine them together, and you get a 60% chance, or 80 or 100 if you use four or five of them, of getting a higher-level version of one of them. So I might put in three of these turret slots and have a 6% chance of getting the same kind of turret slot but one level of higher rarity. So this is a way of grinding down all of the petty, common, uncommon and rare loot I have into exceptionals. And then the exceptionals I can uh, grind down into exotics and exotics into legendaries. I see I tuned into the most exciting part of the stream, damn right Plo. Uh, how many items did I mark? I think it was about 2,000, right? And it's doing three at a time. And how many beeps is it doing in a second? Yeah, about five a second. So that's only... oh god, that's quite a while, isn't it? Oh well, it'll be done eventually. If I type in subsystem here, it's... oh, it's going, it's going crazy! <laughs> it doesn't know what to do with the inventory. Alright, I'll leave you be then. Eventually it's going to work on my Zotan technology fragments. 
I'm gonna need one legendary version of those, but you don't need more than one. One of the troubling things is that these things will always keep spawning, and you, you really have no use for these once you get one legendary one. Which actually, I would quite like to unmark you as junk then. How did that suddenly happen? Oh, I think it got shoved into one of the mixes. That's kind of cool. Hmm. There's so many turret slots being combined. It's okay though, look at that. The, um, the exceptional stuff is coming out and that's what I want. Okay, it's working on those, and I don't want it to work on these. I want uh, three exactly of you. Eh, maybe not three. Maybe not three. Let's do this precisely so I don't need to leave it to RNG. Let's get five of them. Ah, but I need more than five of them, obviously, don't I? Um, maybe I should just auto-research them then. Same subsystems, bit of bing. Oh, it's still, it's still going. Well, more power to you, game. Two hours of beat. Could you imagine if it didn't have this system and you had to do this manually? Click, 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 hit, click, 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 hit, click, 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 hit. I'm glad for this macro thing. It would be nice if it did it instantly instead of me sitting through this, but maybe they think this is meant to give me the dopamine rush. Maybe it is. Weird ordering those. It, it did a it did a few of these and then went back to not doing them. Oh yeah, it is basically gacha for this. At least it's a gacha system and not all gacha game. Well, maybe I can tell myself that. All right, it's kind of almost done. I might need a cleanup run of that, but first off. Let's grind all of these things down. I want to make sure that I absolutely get the legendary version. Bada bing! It's even a mission accomplished, and it's one more of the legendary subsystems that we need for perfection. Let's not accidentally waste it. It's still not worth much money either. Um, pirates. Yeah, they'll be taken care of. So, now my inventory is grinded down from, what, like, quarter, uh, 2,500 down to 600, which is much better. And my subsystems are here, and they're not being weirdly segregated anymore. Looks like it. Excellent. Although I've still got junk here, don't I? Uh, that's not favorite you. I guess I'm just going to... Well, you know what? There's an easy... If there are so few of them, this is fine to do manually sort all my subsystems by rarity, and now we're going to pick and choose a few things. Just shove this junk in, I don't even want to see it. Although you I quite like, but even so, blip. Blip. Something there will come out to be not terrible. Blip. Blip. Is it not letting me choose those at all because they're favorited? Ooh, that's weird. Sometimes I do want to grind down my favorite ones. Well, that's fine. Um, 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 um. Certainly spat out a lot of systems here, didn't it? I actually wanted to grind down my energy shield converters and get better ones. That said, might not get enough of them. How many of those do I have? <laughs> See all these uh, shadow injectors, they've got to go. I hate them. They don't stack and they're not uh, they're not something you can mod. The Lua for these systems very specifically are not shown so you can't deal with them. Otherwise, otherwise... Some of these I don't like. Like you. 
I think I'll grind out all five of... Oh god, it changes the orders here, doesn't it? Uh, five, and then have a four one, the three one, the two one... There we go. These things just give recharge energy and jump range, which isn't very good, and with five of them I'm guaranteed to get a much better version of it. Excellent. You have hyperspace cooldown, which is desirable. So I won't grind you down just yet. Hmm. I just achieved a goal I was expecting to complete by October. I feel really good. Well, congratulations, Celestia. Goals are great. Completing them feels good. Right. Fortunately, I do have five of these, and now I can make the legendary Blackout Injector. Now I can hack any secure container in the game, and that's yet another legendary subsystem chalked off the list. I could also make sure that I have the legendary unarmed turrets as well. So I will do exactly that. What about legendary arbitrary turrets? That I don't have. I'll try my luck with three of them. And I failed. I'll try my luck with three of them. I didn't fail. Okay. <laughs> that was the same as putting in five then. No big deal. Uh, I could also get the legendary Super Speedy Gonzales. Could get myself the legendary Speedy Gonzales. There we go. Again, it succeeded in two. Six-headed Hydra. I've already got you, so I'm not in a hurry. I already have the uh, legendary loot-grabbing thing as well, don't I? But you know what? I can do a little thing with that. I'm not going to risk these. I don't care about the polarizers much. But that's another one checked off. Oh yeah, I absolutely don't care about deep scan thingers, so I'll turn them into legendaries if I can. I care about you. I don't care about these though. I'm just trying to get some legendary junk. Are you legendary junk? Are you... Do I want that velocity thing? Hmm. Yes and no. Give me the object detector. No, you don't want to. Give me any of these legendary, please. Velocity Bypasser, good. You're rare enough that I'm going to hold on to you for now. And I love my armed turrets now. I don't need... I'm looking for duplicates. You, you, and you. Bang! Now I've got myself a spare uh, number two, which is good because it was one, I think it was the only one here that I didn't have backed up in my inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the Zotan things, good. They're the eight artifacts plus the power diverter. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with Bing Bing Wahoo, except I'd quite like to mulch down the energy to shield converters, but, and that's a big but, I'm not entirely sure. Let me have a look at my favorites here. I think I can even check for favorite subsystems. Yes, I can. See these energy to shield converters. I'm going to mulch you and you down for higher level ones. Is there anything else I'm going to mulch down? Mm -hmm. See that jump range 9? I would quite like you to be higher than that. Might even get a legendary one of those if I'm lucky. And that recharge energy is disastrous on you, so you're a waste of time. Don't want to mulch these down, though. I haven't decided. Hmm. There should be a shield recharger, but I think I'll already... Yeah, I already mulched those down. Okay, then. Don't worry, this is probably the last bit of this that we're going to be doing. Not that you are worrying, I'm sure. Where do those shieldy ones go? I don't care about this item, I'll just upgrade it as much as possible. Yeah, the idea is so that I could throw it into the grinder and also just clear off some of the items. Some of them I care about so much that I don't want to grind them down to better versions, because I'd rather have three slightly worse versions. Uh, oh, right, the Sphinx. I don't think I have the Sphinx. Maybe, maybe, 
All right, let's take a 60% shot and make it. All right, sweet, that's another legendary clocked off the list. Uh, I never use these, so I might as well see if I can get the legendary uh, super shieldy thing. I could not. And what did I want to mulch down? I think it was these energy shield converters. I wonder if there's a hotkey for this button. It doesn't mention there being one. Maybe if I hit return or space. No, okay. Not getting the greatest of luck with these things, but we grind them up to rare. And then the rare ones, I would really like as many exceptionals as I can. And then I'll make a judgment call if I want to push the exceptionals into exotic, but I don't think I do. The shield multipliers now, they're the real meta in this game. It's quite a lot of them though, 19. Hmm. But that said, only, only about 20% of them would go up, so I'd maybe end up with four of the better versions and that's not good enough. I'll keep 19 of those though, that's definitely fine. And then I think we're done with you. I want to get back to my shields being my beloved favourites though, where are they at? Uh, I guess it's you, but... Yep, that looks good. Alright, so with that we have done on our to-do list the big trash clear out. So that is... Done. Let's have it in caps. Done and done. And all done. You know, it's not very clear, is it? I'm going to strike it through. That way I know that I'm absolutely done done with you. Now what? Hopefully my other ship finished with its job. Yeah, feed me your cargo is done. So we're going to go over and feed it some more cargo. In exchange for the juicy goods that it picked up. There's a letter on the icons. Maybe that's the hot key. A letter on the icons. You mean this letter? Like E and X? No, it's X for exotic, E for exceptional, R for rare, U for uncommon, C for common, and it'll be P for petty. L for legendary. How are we doing on the legendaries anyway? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there's one on my other ship, so 26. Not bad. Ducaire has arrived. Is there a shipyard here? There absolutely is, because it's a capital. Which mod are you using to standardize module stats to make them stackable? I made it myself. It is a mod called... Fixed Stat Systems. Doesn't work for all of them, but it works for most of them, because I can't access the DLC subsystems. And that's not on the workshop, but it is on my Google Drive. And surely everybody by now knows that I keep a Google Drive full of information and uh, mods and whatever else related files of the games that I stream, provided it's relevant. There's even a copy of Gal Panics over there. Oh, you're right over there. Feed me your sector. Then let's make a trade. I desire your Rift Research data in exchange for all of my everything else. There we go. And now I set Feed Me Your Sector to simply sell its goods. I'm sure it'll find the best price for everything. And at this point I really don't care about this targeting card. It's not going for all their money. 92 million in an hour. At this point, that's not relevant money, but let's just get rid of this. I did pay to unbrand it. It's more important that I spend that time making uh, Rift Research data, because I'm going to need a butt-ton of it. Which also means that I need some merchant captains. They don't need to be particularly good, but I do need them. Uh, however, I did say that was Decare's final flight, didn't I? So how about, while we're here, next to this conveniently located equipment dock, 
And we have enough money. 31 million will surely be enough. Is there anything I could take out of the Alliance Vault? There's 1.2 billion in there. Was there 1.2 billion before? Because that's rather nice. How's the factory doing, by the way? It's very important to check on that. The Accelerator Factory has spent 60 million credits in expenses buying up the goods that it needs. But it is turning millions of profit, and it is already my top profit per hour station. So that's nice. Okay, let's make our fleet, shall we? It's been a long time coming. I think Baron wanted to see this, probably Sun Chaser as well. Sudazima, perhaps even. So, first things first, this is the decare, and the decare is finally, at long last, being put to rest. It has, uh, it has evolved quite a bit, but it's been the same set of ship designs for quite some time. You are going to become the Malcontent. I have a cheaper design of the Malcontent. And it's just pretty standard, but I also have an expensive version of it, which transforms most things that can be of Orion into of Orion. and since we have been... Uh, mining of Orion with the game idling doing so for about two days we certainly have the resources to do so so let us apply this design uh, let me suddenly remember that I don't actually have the crew to staff this do I? I got 1600 crew, surely that'll be enough and if it's not we'll soon find out yeah I don't know what ship this is in the workshop and I certainly took it off the workshop but it is my favourite design I've changed it out to have uh, a lot of um, of Orion turret base on the top, which I suppose it doesn't need. Actually, at this point, I could probably change it back to being uh, Trinium Armor. It'd certainly lighter as well. So if I grab the Trinium Armor, and then I look for only of Orion blocks, uh, only of Orion turret base blocks, I think I'll change all these back, because the, the look of a Vorion turret base is actually quite clashing, I think. That doesn't uh, clash back, does it? No, it looks to be quite alright. I had this added because I was playing around with another mod called uh, Not Enough Turrets, which gives so many turrets that I need the extra space for this, but I'm not running with that. It's very balance breaking, so I, would, uh, I wouldn't use it again. Alright, looking clean, clear, and under control. So what does this thing have going for it? A whole lot, doesn't it? Big, chunky engines, so it can actually move. It's got decent acceleration, actually, at 126 meters per second, courtesy of those. And the engines are made out of trinium, which is probably the best thing for an engine. I think of Orion as more powerful, but also heavier. You know what, why don't we test that? If I made these out of a Vorion instead, a Vorion engines... It actually reduces the acceleration and the mass um, max velocity. So probably not a great idea. Yeah, like I said, towards end game, it's Trinium, Avorion, and Organite all the way. Cargo bay. It does have a cargo bay. Has a cargo hold of 6,000. That's not amazing, but I will still need a cargo hold, if nothing else, for Rift Research. But I'll probably turn off grabbing materials altogether. Uh, and if I ever need to privateer materials, I can always just strap a hanger underneath, as I often do. Or maybe even uh, run around with one of those USB sticks and have them grab all the goodies. Hmm, that's not unthinkable. I've done some research. Higher tier engines use less energy. Ah, the required energy did go down, but only slightly. Crew quarters, plenty of crew quarters for much more crew than I currently have, and hopefully this will be enough. Yeah, it looks like I'm, if anything, overstocked on crew, as it should be. Uh, I can also switch out Proto for Andarius, because he's better at this job. And yeah, let's just turn off picking up goods for now, altogether. I don't, I don't need goods where I'm going now, except for my final bit of privateering for making... 
uh, weapons. That is the one thing that I can think of me wanting to uh, to have a cargo bay for again. Thrusters all over the place to maintain an essence of maneuverability. Yeah, those thrusters are quite centrally located, so this thing doesn't have the best yaw pitch and roll imaginable. But it's certainly better than what I've been working with so far. It's covered in trinium armor. It would could potentially be better done in organite armor, but I don't plan on armor being something that I need. So I'd rather have it made out of a lighter material. It's actually a big temptation for me not to even use armor, but instead replace all this armor with trinium framework. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Let's at least run some numbers. If we had all of this and then replaced it with simply framework, I'd squeeze out a little bit of acceleration, but I think it, would, it wouldn't even be worth the downgrade on how the ship looks, so uh, no thank you. It's got some hangers, mostly for show, although I suppose I could have, um, could have carriers if I wanted to, but I don't tend to use uh, carrier uh, fighters, so no thank you. It's got docks along the edge so that I can dock with certain items, and I may or may not want to. Quite a lot of docks, actually. Good, because I can grab stolen goods at my leisure. Directional thrusters are just there for show. Inertia dampeners can only be made out of iron or avorion, and it's very decadent to make it out of avorion. So we've made ours out of avorion. Is there a flight recorder? Must be somewhere. Oh, there it is. So that way, if this thing gets blown up, we'll know exactly where. Uh, assemblies are just there for show. It's got a big torpedo storage. I don't really want that, actually. And I'm tempted to replace it with either shield, generator, or uh, cargo bay. You know what? If I made you into a cargo bay, my cargo bay hold goes up quite nicely. Mm, what if I made you into a generator? Generated energy goes up a ton, but I don't think I need that much. I think I will actually have it as a cargo hold, so at least I have the ability to grab cargo. Uh, turret bases all over the place, and I'll be putting those to use. Edge turret bases as well. It's not unthinkable that I put in coaxial seeking rockets on the side. I'm considering it. Torpedo launches are all in the front. Don't like using them, so that's a no-go. Massive shield generator with additional shield generator, because shields are everything. Impenetrable shields, at least. Energy container. You never need that big a one, but we got it. Massive amounts of, of Orion generators, which I'm sure are the best. Just two massive integrity uh, things to save us from physical damage. There are computer cores, which aren't really needed. Those could be replaced with something else, because we already are at uh, processing power 15. Uh, hyperspace cores made out of Avorion. I could add regular old hyperspace cores to improve my jump range, but I'll figure out how we're going to arrange our ships shortly after. Uh, a single tiny bit of transponder so that we can, um, well, transport items. <laughs> there are academies, I can train up my crew, but there's also cloning pods. Not a huge amount, but it is there if I want to clone my crew. Actually, what's our cloning capacity on this thing? 88. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I might keep a rolling 88 capacity for cloning, just so I always have crew. Or... Or, or, or... You see that cargo bay I had? I think I'm gonna turn you into a cloning area. Yeah. Yeah. Send in the clones. I'm not sure if it's better or worse at that. It certainly reduced my acceleration a bit to have so much cloning capacity. Oh god, that is too much cloning capacity. Okay, uh, never mind that then. How about we do that to our computer cores instead? Those that we don't need. Computer core, you and you, and you, 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 and you. 
you all become cloning pods. And how's that on our clone capacity? 500? Even that's a bit much. Even that is a bit much. How about we just do you two? Clone capacity 176. I'd like a bit more than that. Do the other under bits here. Clone capacity 265. That's fine. And you see these um, these bits here? Wait, those are the cloning. Uh, no, those are computer cores. I'm going to take these computer cores and I'm going to turn them into Trinium Framework. Because that's going to make them a lot lighter and it's going to be a very easy way to go, oh, I can replace these easy peasy. And I'm still over 15 processing power, which is what I need to be to get the 15 slots. What else is there to care about on this ship? Cloning pods, the different kinds of armor, the hull, the edge, the flat corners, the glows, yet yeah, none of that matters. So, there we go. This is. Malcontent. And I'm going to have a name convention, and the name convention is period before name. Hopefully that means it shows up first in the list here. It does? Good. That way my ships that I'm going to be ordering around as a fleet are always together like that. There might be a better way to order it. It might be if you set class. Never tried that. But I won't. I'm just going to put that dot in because I know that works. Now, the question is, how do we specialize these ships? I haven't got this yet, though. Did you fight the mothership yet? No, that's what we're going to do after I make the squadron. This is the one I'll be controlling. Question is, who's going to be on what? Uh, what subsystems can I sh uh, fit in, and how many shields do I want? Mm, with a bunch of us, 100 to 200 million shields each is plenty. So... I think I want my main one to be the jumper, even though I would love to have more gun capacity. So that means I want my hyperspace cooldown down to 10, or close to 10, and I want my jump range to be pretty good. The jump range currently is only 19, so what can we do about that? If I put in both of you, Hyperspace cooldown is acceptably low, and the hyperspace jump range is probably acceptably high, 25.9. Hard to think of a time where I'd want to jump further than that. How are you for fast travel? Pretty fast, if you can cover the galaxy in two minutes. That was further and faster. I'm convinced they use wormholes if they can. All right, so that I'm pretty happy with, and I could still probably tear out a shield. Yeah, 142 million of impenetrable shields is probably fine. So I'll aim for about 150 million on each of our ships. And I will, of course, want more turrets. Always want more turrets. I'm going to save the legendaries. It would be better to use them, but I won't. And there we go. That gives me 60. Six zero turrets. Nice. What's the current order of business? You missed it by 30 seconds, pretty much. Okay, so I will be setting the ship up with better weapons once I make them. But for now, we still have to make do with the weapons that we have. So uh, I need to think what I want this ship to do. I would like to have guided rockets, uh, penetrating uh, shield-penetrating weapons, and plenty of point defense. And I would also like rail guns. Really, I want I want everything, don't I? Uh, the first thing I should do is, since I don't have all the amazing weapons, is throw on my beloved bolters. These bolters were an amazing find, and they were a find. Um, this is the front of the ship, after all. Um, throw the bolters on here, even though they don't need all that size for them. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I've got even more turrets than I had before, or turret capacity, so this is A-OK. -okay. I want to have turrets top and bottom. I want to be able to shoot in any direction. It's kind of the 
bring me to them so I can hit them with my sword solution. All the, the range on these bolters is already really good. I don't have an unlimited number of them though, that I should keep in mind. That's eight for the bottom. Uh, I guess. I kind of want to share these bolters a bit though. Maybe I threw on too many. Oh well. Bolter, bolter. Bolter, bolter. And then on top of that, I would really quite like to have some rail guns. I'm not made of rail guns, but I do have this, the Omni rail gun. It's pretty damn powerful. I'll have that right at the back, so it's got really nice range, doesn't it? Eh, 19 kilometers. A passable range. Long range annihilator. Let me shove you on the bottom. And I've still got 26 turret slots. This isn't even modded and it's going alright. Um, boy, do I already want better weapons. I'm just looking at these things, uh, thinking how much better they could be. Ignoring the rail part and just looking for gunner guns that I have. I'm not going to be using coaxials. I only bother throwing those onto my... Air. Oh, hang on, are these seekers? No. I only bother throwing coaxials onto my escorts so I don't need to bother with them. It just takes the DPS and goes, wow, powerful ship. Hmm. Yeah, here's the problem of having the ships but not the weapons. I'd be a lot happier with loads of weapons, but loads of weapons cost loads of monies. Alright, you know what, in that case, just grab the railguns. Even if their DPS is not amazing, all the bolters are still there doing their magic. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Now, I guess I could have some kind of cannon on the front. We'll have these guys on the bottom. How many slots are they taking up each? Three, huh? Okay. I've got eight slots left. Let's see if I can't get myself a nice cannon on front. Not a coaxial cannon, no thank you. How about fierce quadra cannon? 30 kilometer range. Yes, I wouldn't mind you. And I've got five slots left. Dual pulse guns. They have 80% shield penetration, even if they don't do that much damage. I'll still have them. And then got space for one more on the bottom. <laughs> there you go. You're paltry, but you can be there. And then I want my point defense. These I don't care so much about. I'll just put down whatever I have the uh, whatever I have best in slot. So almost all of these guns I will change out once I have the production for them. But for now, let's just make do with what we have, right? 61,000 Omicron. It's not really enough, but it'll do. Boy, I've got the itchiest nose imaginable doing this. Just my nose tingling from the very thought of the hell that we're about to unleash, no doubt. So many slots around here. There we go! So it's got the weapons, the weapons which I am now going to have to assign one by one. And I'm going to have to do this again when we have our different weapons. This UX for assigning your weapon hotkeys is deplorably bad because there's no way to select lots of them or if there is it has escaped me how we do that. But I just have all the number ones here to enable or disable. I always like to set my defense guns on four. And there's one thing I'm missing and that is one tiny little frontal laser. So I want uh, any unarmed turret. Hmm, unarmed, then check for minor. <laughs> Not the multi-harvester, just any slot one uh, weapon will be fine here. Any slot one, any at all, even that purifying minor. I'll use that one because it's an organized one. And that's just so I have a weapon that I can fire to trigger the... Uh, the aliens, right? Because all my other guns are on auto. But this one I can just go and it'll makes, uh, make the aliens very unhappy. There we go, man. It even handles pretty good for something this large. Decent speed too. I like it. But the problem is it's only one. The guns are disappointingly tiny. Well, that's the point. It's lots of little guns. You could actually have guns that are huge. And uh, we might just do that. Okay, this is one of us. 
but one is only one. We clearly need more. So we're going to pop out in a little drill. Oh, right, crumbs. What about the crew? Um, I could have the shipyard build one, couldn't I? Shipyard. I want you to build me a ship. I want you to build me... Where's the thing that lets me sh uh, choose the ship kind? I swear I had a mod for that. Stats, name, seed, carrier... Huh. I was all but certain I had the mod on. Seems to have disappeared. There's a mod for uh, producing ships in the factory, uh, ones that you uh, are in your design. But it's not there. Hmm. Crew, clone them. Now there's an idea. If we need crew, we simply make it. All right, with that in mind, I'm going to remove 586 of my crew here. Gonna remove another 147 of them, they're not necessary. This will dismiss the crew. I don't want them dismissed. Huh, they did get dismissed. I wonder why, I thought they would just go over here. Uh, anyway, guess I just lost some crew there. I would like basically all of the, all of the crew clones that I can, please. Every 15 minutes, it's going to clone me 200 and something to something of them. So get to work. Yeah, you guys, I can also reduce you by 435. There we go. I don't know why it suddenly changes to warning you'll dismiss them. Hmm. Will wonders ever cease? Is it incest if it's your clone? Yeah, this isn't going to be enough crew for what I want to do, but let's not worry about that. Let's just start building the ships that we need. Pop out into the wee drone. And just in the old-fashioned way, let us build our ship whilst Malcontent automatically fires on those astro uh, on those pirates. Using probably the long-range um, railgun there, which is having a disastrously bad time hitting its target. But it did get it. Right. I think it's time for the Tactical Assault Pyramid. And it gets a period at the start. Crunch. And, and, and. Saved. Saved design. This was Baron's original Tactical Assault Pyramid. Well, the, the latest form that he had of it in the game. I essentially just took the same thing, scaled it up, and upgraded the block types, but otherwise it's the same thing. And this, I think, is it. Yes, Tactical Assault Pyramid Jiggered.xml. This thing is actually quite terrifying to see enter a fight. It's a very intimidating ship. Um, there we go. It's not cheap either, especially not with the materials I put on it. With a staggering acceleration of 41 meters per second and uh, practically no yaw, Really makes an impact. God, it's got a severe lack of crew. I don't have the 717 that you need there. Um, yep. Yeah. Look at her go. Look at her not do anything because she's got no crew. Could we? Could you? You hand me over like 650 of your crew, please. I'll put them to work as best I can just to stop the ship from falling apart. Oh, it didn't need all of that. I think I was just looking at its crew capacity. Okay, I'll, ship, I'll put in what I can and then um, give back what's left. It's got all 15 slots, so the most reasonable thing to do with Baron, since this is Baron Von Ohm's ship, is to give it my best trading subsystem. There you go. That way I'll, be, I'll always be able to rely on you to find any kind of deals that we need. I'm not going to permanently put it in, just in case I need to pull it out for someone else, but we'll have that in case we're in a situation where we need to scan economy for whatever reason. Otherwise, you've got 2 million shields, and I want to make sure that everybody is up at about 150,000 shields. So let's see how you do with four of these. One, two, three, four. Install permanently. 
I'm putting them all in the bottom so they're easier to keep track of. 114 million, I think that'll do. Although I could pull... Oh, you're not close enough to the thing to pull them out. I'm wondering if I have any better ones that I could switch it out with. I only have one of the more powerful shield durability ones. If I were to put that in, it would bring you up a bit higher, but I think the better thing to do is actually just slap on a bit more shielding for you if I can. Mm, actually, we'll just see how we do with that. So, there are a few things that all of my ships are going to need, or want. Uh, I want everybody to have Botan's jumping thing, and I want everybody to have the extra energy generation, because otherwise, yeah, you don't get energy because of the shield things. There we go, it's looking a lot better already. I'm going to give you Swox's plus 10 gun turret things, wherever it is. Where is it? Oh, there it is, I was looking right at it. Is there anything else you need or want for this? Because I could actually give you another shield generator if I thought you wanted or needed it. What I do need to do is make sure that you have enough armed turret slots. And I also need to make sure that your hyperspace cooldown is uh, along with the rest of ours. Hyperspace. What do I want to do with that? I really lack the hyperspace modules that I want, don't I? Yeah, yeah I do. That could become a larger problem for us. I think I'll slam in one of the minus percentage ones. I've got a fair few of them. And now you're down to 25, which should be fine. I would like a little lower, but I think that'll do, unless I have another cheap thing. But i got to remember, I've got a lot of ships to, to tune up with this. Otherwise, it's armed turret slots for days. So, 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 so. Armed, 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 armed. Armed. Do I want to give you something else? What were we looking at with you, Baron? This is the tactical assault pyramid, and we can say that the malcontent is done. Various weapons and economy system. I'm giving you the economy system. You get away. Yeah, I'd feel a lot more healthy if they all had a bit better in the way of shielding. So I will give you an extra shield durability booster. There we go, 287 million. That's bound to be plenty. And on top of that... Oh, I forgot something very important. The impenetrable shielder. I've got to make sure I give that one out. So that's taking up the last, uh, the last slot. On top of that, I'm going to redo the top of this. Because the question is, where on this design do you put guns that they are actually going to be useful? So I'm going to tear off that turret base there, and then I'm just going to reveal that there was a gyro array up there to allow it to turn around. Okay, I'm not even going to ask. Um, right, righty tighty. I don't think he likes what he sees. Well, that's not important, is it? Let's put on... A bit more framework on top of you. Okay. Is that a little too tall? It may have been. Perhaps I shouldn't put framework in such an important area. Forget that then. I'll put some titanium blank hull on it. I want it to be in line with the other stuff. And then what I want is a Vorion turret base edge. Hmm, can I not make it a bit more of a twisted edge than this? In that case, I guess I'll make blank hull. Okay. Can we not um, turn you around, in a manner of speaking? Okay, this is not quite what I'm looking for. Perhaps there's a certain shape that I'm unable to see them after. It's also pretty hard to visualize here.
Wish I could just pan myself up a bit. There must be a way. I'm trying to make a top that's all pointy-like. And that, I don't think, is it. Twisted corner. Other twisted corner. Ah, there we go, that centers my view here very nicely. Huh, how do I make a pointy pyramid -y bit? This looks like the right part. If I had that and then turned it around, I kind of want this but inverted. Oh, that looks very promising for what I want. Excellent, excellent. All right. I think I rotated it around the wrong way there, didn't I? second now what's going on Tell I don't do enough ship design of my own. That's kind of good. Just need to squish you down, drag you out. Actually, why don't I just apply it uh, cornered with you? How do I flip this thing? I mean, you can see what I want to do. This is corner three, right? So could I do one of corner two or corner one? There's a mirror shortcut, Jake. If only. Only I had the power to notice it. Let's get back this back to where I wanted it. Where's the mirror? Templates, show size, show block, transform, mirror. I suppose there is this mirror, isn't there? Hit W, I think, to E long again uh, along the long axis. And W just scales the whole thing. I want to I want to invert this thing. Rotate, scale, match, block, match, shape. There is this, at least. That's pretty cool. Although the whole ship is off-center. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh well, don't worry about such things. Mirror axis can be changed, but you don't need it here. Yeah. Well, I need something. Alright, there we go. Perfection is clearly overrated for this ship. God's name do I... Oh, right, right. If I have you like this, then I can elongate you like so, can't I? Yeah. Definitely see why I take workshop designs here and now. And now if we just spin you right around like a record, baby. We have the perfect top. Although I kind of wish the whole thing was a lot higher up. So I'm going to do that again, but just make it a lot, uh, a lot spikier. Be spiky, like Vegeta. There we go. Sides 
someone somewhere is deeply unhappy with this. Maybe my old geometry teacher. There we go. A worthy top to the pyramid, except maybe this bit, it juts out too much. We've got to have standards here. Someone somewhere wondering what exactly about this is a perfect run again. It's all right, if you want things to be perfect, be sure that you're the one that defines what perfect is. There we go. That's going to have some proper places to stick some guns. Now, Baron specifically said he wanted a variety of guns. So, let's just give him a variety of guns. What do we have? Let's just go gunner, sort by DPS per slot. And what do we give him? We'll give him the elite Gatling gun. We'll give him this Tesla cannon. This other mini gun. Give him this jewel scorcher, this other scorcher. Uh, yet a huge mini gun. A long range mini gun. Uh, what else? What have we not used here? We haven't got enough uh, rail guns, do we? Oh, oh yeah, he can use the party popper. He'll love that. I won't. Another. Uh, oh, someone else wanted more rail guns. Huge gun here. Is there even space for you? What are you? A massive lightning cannon. There kind of isn't the space whatsoever for you. Or is there? What if this giant cannon was just put somewhere else? Like here. There you go. Sheffron wouldn't be caught dead in such a B tier boat. <laughs> Sheffron won't be in this thing though. Alright, I'd love to give you a nice cannon as well, but I've mostly got coaxial cannons here. So let's look for non coaxial cannons. Quadra cannon. Reporting for duty. Still got space for more guns, which is rather nice. Holy smoke, some of these cannons are huge. I think we're going to have to uh, scope you down in the size of weapons. Since this thing is most terrifying when it rushes on in, let's give it weapons that demand getting into close combat situations. It's going to be tragic if any of these get shot off. They shouldn't, but they could. All right, two more slots. A lot of three slaughters of these, huh? Come on, something here's got to be two slot. Ah, two one slots then. Blip and blip. And what about point defense? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a turret base there. And there's a bottom bit here made of a Vorion, just raw open shield generator. So the obvious thing to do is to shove some of these on the bottom so it can shoot anything on the underside. Although knowing this game that means the captain's going to point with those so let's not actually do that. The AI captains don't think about what they're, what weapons they're pointing. Uh, why don't we just have all of the guns stuck on the top? Yeah, as long as they cover all of these. We've got space for eight of them. We've got eight surfaces, kind of. You'll be good to go. I think this is exactly what Baron had in mind when he signed over the Tactical Assault Pyramid to me. Alright, there we go. Make sure that everybody's on auto-assign. Hey, Alright, and let's, uh, let's make sure that we transfer over a good captain. Baron, what kind of captain would you like to be, actually? If you are here. If not, I will pick what I think is best for you. I also want to give back all of these crew members. Pyramid scheme, all of the guns make their way up to the top. 
All right, Baron is not making himself heard. So what do, what do I even have as options? Commodore would be pretty great. Clearly a merchant. Actually, I'm short on merchants big time. You know what? A scavenger makes a lot of sense for Baron. Baron spent a lot of his time playing the game scavenging uh, materials. He loved tearing apart wrecks. So there we go. Baron Von Pohn. Captain of the Tactical Assault Pyramid. Alright, looking good, looking good. The, uh, the alien mothership won't know what hit it. <laughs> Alright, we've got two more ships to make. Do we still have the money and everything coming in for it? How's the Alliance Vault looking? How's that factory of ours looking? It has now made a loss, the Accelerator Factory. Don't worry about it, that's just it acquiring the goods that it needs to create. We can also check and see if it's hitting on any uh, goods in its storage. Fleet, factory, accelerators. There we go, it's got a bunch of proton and neutron accelerators that it's going to sell for big bad bucks, or at least it better. Right, said I was going to pick up more crew, didn't I? Do you have more crew for me? Please give me every bit of crew that you can. Baron, your order is to always escort me. It will probably never not be escort me. I think I want to stay here and just make the uh, the other ships. Baron's too busy weeping over the beating his child has received. I did almost nothing to his ship. I just put a little top on it. So, you know, it could shoot. Right, I'm gonna put in Sun Chasers now. It is the coolest ship I saw in the multiplayer. Well, they were all really cool, and you made a bunch of different ones, but they're all uh, they're all the same vein of cool. Uh, the name is I forget the name. Actually, maybe I don't. It's called the Daisen Khan. Uh, it also has a other part of the name that I managed to forget, but that's okay. Clunk and. Here we go. I actually jiggered the design a little bit. What was it before? Dyson Can Amaterasu. It was using... Uh, I could have used better, I think. It's up to Xanium and Trinium, but let's see. Oh, I think I scaled it up as well. Yeah, I did. All right, let's just make you and see what happens. Oh, hell yes. Now here's a ship. A ship with the capacity for 1,700 crew. How many does it need? Mm, 600 or so. Amaterasu. Daisen Khan is the class Great Battleship. Alright, let's make sure you got the proper name then. Amaterasu. Uh, and also let's make sure there's a period at the top. I'll probably double period malcontents. So it's always the quickest and easiest to grab off the list as well. Okay, now what do we have on the notes here? Cannons for main guns, bolters secondary, province defense as needed. That's what PD is to me after all those years of DOM. Right, so, uh, like I said, we will make better weapons. But for now, I just have to make do with what I, ha uh, what I have. And what I have is not a lot and not very impressive. I can't use coaxials because this is not set up for coaxials. And the AI is terrible at using coaxials. So, what cannons do we have? I got this Quadra Bolter. Uh, not enough slots. Oh yeah, of course, I haven't slotted you up, have I? Let's see, your base shield is 2.8 million. I want it to be in Penetrable Shield, obviously. And then we're going to put on our shield multipliers. One, two, three, four. You're at 12 million shield, 21 million shield, 38 million shield. 66 million shield, 116 million shield. I think we can work with that. I might give you one extra bit of shielding though. And then we need the legendaries. I'm going to give you the energy generation. I'll give you the jump range. I'll give you the armed turret slots plus 10. 
And I want to give you another jump cooldowner, or really any jump cooldowner. That one will do you fine. Now you're down at 25 seconds, which is fine for the escorts. It's the main ship that needs to be uh, faster than the others so they get the, uh, the travel speed bonuses. Right, Any th how are you doing on energy generation, by the way? Oh, you're doing just fine. So now we go with the guns. How many turrets are we slamming on you? That's going on, 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 on. We're at 36. Do I want to give more of that, or was there anything else I wanted to add to you? What's on the list here? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm missing something important, but... As long as you have shields, and they're impenetrable, and you've got your jump range, how could you possibly need more? Have even more guns. ship like this deserves guns. Right, so where were we? I believe we were talking about cannons. That is so cool, those cannon turret slots. Uh, these don't all look like cannons to me, though. It just says cannon, but it seems to be sharing the name with some other things that have cannon. God knows why, but that's okay. I can go by the um, I can go by the icon of sin. Another cannon. I think you said you had five main hard points. Does that seem about right? Quadra artillery cannon. In you go, in you go. Range of 41 kilometers. That might be the longest range weapon that we have. So you'll probably be the first one shooting. And then you said you wanted bolters as the extras. I can give you two of these awesome bolters. I want to keep at least one on the side. I think a jackhammer is a unique one. I should probably store that into my vault. Bolter. Bolter. Are there any more gun slots? Because... Well, as a way to check, I can go view and only view turret bases. Ah, there are smaller ones up here that I missed. Six of them. Very convenient. In that case, there's no bolter like more bolter. Oh wow, I've already used up all your uh, all your turret slots in that case. Let's remove you. Shove you over here. And, and, and... Let's see, I actually still have enough slots for a little bit more. I could put another... Could put another one... Here. And I've still got two slots left. We've got a two-slotter. We do have a two-slotter. Lunk. And then I want... Defense. We're going to do all this all over again, by the way, once we have uh, proper weapons, but we do not currently have proper weapons. There's your defense. There's your defense. And you're probably going to hate me for this, but I still have room for eight defensive turrets, and we don't have them. So, 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 so. Why is this so off-center? Fierce Quadra Artillery Cannon. Your squadron artillery cannon. Get centered, son. Alright, I need space for the point defense. These two bits are then going to become. I think it's just normal hull. No, it's armor. What would you say if it became normal hull? Ugh, looks ugly, doesn't it? Real ugly. Hmm, what would Brian Boitano do in this situation? Aha, he'd take note of spaces that I can already shove them onto. The entire outer hull is armor, in fact. There's a ton of armor. Explains the 45 meters per second acceleration. 
maybe I could grab these crew quarters. Yes. And turn them into Avorion crew quarters. Aside from the red marks on it, that doesn't look too disgusting. And then I can put the defense on there. I didn't want to put the defense on the underbelly because then the ship would probably show its underside just to shoot with them because the AI pilots are very stupid like that at times. But you know, if ever you wanted point defense somewhere, it would probably be to protect your crew. I don't want to be going overboard here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Could probably put another couple up here. And I got space for two more. And they're pretty much always one slot, so one here, one here, and there we go. It is equipped and ready for war. Except it doesn't have crew, does it? No, it is short. Three, six, six hundred and fifty crew. Well, I don't have that, as you might be able to tell. Sun Chaser, do you have any particular kind of captain you would like to be? Actually, you know what? You don't get a choice. You're going to be a Commodore. Because that gives you three more slots to work with. Sun Chaser. And three more armed slots I can put to use. Where were the PD again? I can just get rid of that PD and put you down with a new bolter. Uh, tier th uh, size three one. There we go. That puts that to use. Protosim, I can take it. I'm still on vacation. I think I put you in charge of the giant, um, the giant cargo bay, right? In which case you're out there selling some peddled wares. Or were you an explorer? Truth be told, I can't remember. Too many other things in my head right now. All right, there we go. Let's get you a skeleton crew, which is absolutely not enough. We're gonna have to go and grab some more crew. What I can do is I could tell you to go on maintenance and get yourself required crew, It'd take 18 minutes. Maximum crew would take an hour, but I think the better thing would be to just go and grab crew from the nearby places. It wouldn't take that long. It certainly wouldn't take 18 minutes. Um, Malcontent is getting the double period just so it's at the top of the list for me to check. Looks ugly, I know, but at least it's always going to be there. And there is another ship to be made. I just got booted from the Malcontent, keeping the heat warm for Hundarius. Ah, yes. All right, what's our last one called? Sobek. Wasn't that a unit in Cetus in Dominions? All right, what do we have here? I don't think I'm jiggered with this one. Sobek's probably the name of the class, and it's got some other name convention to go with. Looks pretty huge. Certainly eating my budget and my troll. Golly gosh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, looks like you're equipped for carriers. Was that the intention? I don't know. Wow. Right. Your acceleration is surprisingly good. How can this be? Lots and lots of engines around there. That's how it can be. The hangar won't work because they're blocked. It didn't warn me before. I see. Was your... Yeah, yeah, look at that. Looks awfully... Wait, that's the dock. Yeah, that's completely blocked. Fine by me. I don't like fighting with, uh, with fighters anyway. All that chonk is just muscle. It's not fat. <laughs> yeah, this guy lifts. And he does go fast, though. Okay, what do we have about the Sobek? Railguns only. 
Where are the railguns going to go? Do we have a specific turret location? Let's look for turret, turret, turrets. Turret base. Aha, base is there, there, on the sides as well. This thing's just going to be clartered in railguns then. Alright, that can be obliged. Your shielding is actually very low. Do you have any framework that I can work with? There's quite a bit of framework in here, and I'll probably transform a reasonable chunk of it, chunk of it into shield generators. Just so this thing catches up. I think I wanted to have, what, 2 million base shield if I can? So I'm just going to grab bits of it and then throw down a Vorion shield generation. 1.2 million. Framework is good for this because it's usually invisible blocks on the inside. That's 1.59 million. Cue us finding that this framework is an integral part of the ship design. 2.2, well, let's be a little bit greedy and grab a little bit more. We've got the space for it, and it's not hurting the acceleration all that badly. 2.5, oh, you are a big target. Don't want you tanking all the shots and dying now. Let's bring you up to 3 million. It's not like we're, we're hurting for a Vorion right now. Okay, let's get you slotted up. You need to have the... Jump range, the energy generation, the armed turrets, and one, two, three, four. At least the yeah, these things I don't need to jiggle around with much at all. Oh, I didn't check. Do you have a cargo bay on you? Do any of them have particularly large cargo bays? Your cargo hold is 44,000. That's pretty chunky. It's a whole lot chunkier than malcontents. I might want you around for grabbing stolen goods. I wonder if I have a uh, a smuggler for you. It's all lots of little cargo bays, which is unfortunate because cargo bays have internal walls, meaning lots of little ones are far less uh, efficient than one big one, but can still be worked with. It's still a hefty amount at 44k. I'll keep that in mind. How's the project going? Did the rest of the galaxy yield to your rule? We only know 12% of the galaxy, and they're certainly yielding. Right, I need those impenetrable shields on you. You're so big, I'm tempted to give you the really good impenetrable shielder. Yeah, go on then. And then... Yeah, your energy stuff looks good. If you've got shields and legendaries, then it's time for loads of turrets united. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting here? Well, what do the other ones have? No, just oh, the the jumping, of course. Also, that shielding could stand to be a bit better. So, so, so. Let's get you the jump booster. Because otherwise it's a 45 second hyperspace cooldown. Can't be having that. I'd love to have better versions of these, but this one at least helps out a bit by bringing it down to 25 seconds. And then the other thing, I just said what it was and I already managed to forget, it was a bit more shielding. There we go. Holy moly, that's a lot of shield on you, but you are a big target. Now, what we do is we cover you in railguns, but we also find a captain for you, so we get a good number of how many we're going to be dealing with first. Where is Malcontent? There's Malcontent. Transfer over, let's see... Smuggler Commodore? That could be good if I want to use you for this stuff, but wasn't I looking for... Oh, I've already got another smugg Smuggler Commodore. In that case, that's very good for you to have. Let's get you on board. And let's say that you will be picking up stolen, dangerous, illegal goods, but not the scrap, not the ores. I don't want any of you wasting your time with scrap or ores. Oh, there's no uh, cargo bay on the Amaterasu. 
And the tactical assault pyramid has a very large cargo bay, actually, but even so, don't pick up anything. Actually, that's a good reason to grab the tactical assault pyramid and just get rid of its cargo bay. I uh, don't know what I'd put in its place. Let's look for cargo bay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Select all the cargo bay and replace it for now with framework. I can always update it with something else. And there we go. Look at the extra speed that barely gave it. Gas has so much more energy. Than it. It's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Back over to Sobac. Now with this, I know I've got 45 turret slots on you. So we're going to grab all of the rail guns that we have. I got loads of these precise dual rail guns, 15 kilometer range. I wish I had better. Truthfully, they're not that good. It's pretty hard to know where to put weapons on this thing, actually. So I guess the correct answer is probably everywhere. All rail guns all the time. Here's an annihilator up on the top. A couple on the bottom as well. Rail guns tend to be very large and using up lots of slots. So that's all the more reason I'm happy that you've got five, uh, 45 slots here. Enduring rail gun, up you go go. The O89 Omni Railgun, 20 kilometer range. I got space for you up here. I got space for kind of a line. Of, oh, golly gosh. <laughs> That's an overshadow right there. The Reliable Triple Annihilator. Very nice. Okay, in that case, you're kind of overshadowing that thing a bit. And my precise railguns. Is there anywhere that I didn't add railguns to? Rail guns, rail guns. Oh, we've got side bits here for rail guns. Rail gun, rail gun. Rail gun, rail gun. Oh, oh, we're out of slots now. However, I have defensive slots now. I'm very much looking forward to making uniform weapons for these. It's going to be expensive, and I'm going to have to kill a lot of people to grab the goods that I need for them. But I'm going to do all of those things. Just give it time. So anywhere I'm missing with my point defense here. Yeah, like I said, all this is gonna get torn out and much better arranged. Can I wait? I think you've got. I think you've got. Put one on top then. There you go. Okay, so the problem is I don't have anywhere near enough crew for all of this. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take control of Malcontent. I'm going to tell Tactical Assault Pyramid to not follow me. And Malcontent is going to jump way out here. Because the, the numbers of crew available out in the outer reaches is much higher. I'm going to go to somewhere like you. I'll be there in three minutes. Three minutes, huh? Maybe I can get somewhere decent in uh, two minutes. I mean, who can... Ah, uh, no, three minutes isn't so bad. Get over there in three minutes. I'm going to pick up loads of crew out there and then bring them back to stock up these. And I think I missed giving the name to Sobek. And forgive me, I can't remember the name. But that's okay, that's why I keep lists. Sudazima. Sudazima. There we go. So, are we all Commodores then? Because Commodore is good, Commodore gives those three extra armed slots. And where's Tactical Assault Pyramid? It's a shame it's so foggy here. You now have a level 5 commander. I got a bunch of high level commanders now because they've been doing all these missions non-stop. Oh god, I forgot about my explorers. Look at that. Level 6, the highest level. Level 6, tier 3. 
Tears don't go up, but those levels certainly do. Right, yes, I've been ignoring these explorers for very long, and I should count myself very lucky that they didn't get ambushed while they were waiting around doing nothing. It's actually safer for them to be on mission than sitting in one sector. If they sit in one sector, they get jumped. Same can be said for these Avorion miners. Get in here, get mining. Uh, I could have you get me a lot more if I don't put you in safe mode, but I like not having to worry about you. So safe mode, as long as you can. Connected, stealthy, intimidating, cunning. Someday I'm going to give these guys even even more, but for now, the amount that they give me is plenty. All right, all right. Hey, how's the profiteering coming along? I don't want to see more losses. Uh, probably not about to see money on it, though. Uh, oh, there we go. So it's made, it's made 90 million, but it's spent 88 million. Barely any profit made on that, but it just needs a bit of time to stabilize, and it will stabilize. At least that's what I'll tell myself. Um, especially since I sunk 2 billion on it. Okay, malcontent. Did I put you in the right place here? Your three ships are capable of having an appreciable effect on some system unemployment numbers. More than just some, uh, some effect, we absolutely drink up the crew. Okay, this is good. These each have hundreds. That's why I came out to the outer reaches. For balance reasons, they have far more crew. Go, malcontent, go. Got the acceleration on this thing. It even stops pretty well because it's got a load of Avorion dampeners inside it. Okay, okay. I need to grab all of your crew. Uh, just give me the plain old crew, actually. These crew costs aren't free, but uh, with all the mines that I set up, I don't need to worry too much. Good thing I did set up all those mines. It was a bit of a thankless job, but the dosh was so worthwhile. Wait, that's a gate. No people to employ on a gate, sadly. With their capacity versus needs, you'll want specialists for the Amaterasu or more quarters. Um, are you sure? We'll check on it once we get back and uh, fill everybody up with crew. For now, I just need that crew to begin with. Okay, okay, I still got more to hoover up here, no doubt. You got more crew for me? You do. Narrow nature of the ship makes it even easier to manipulate my way through the asteroid fields. Gosh, just the improvement in movement is so nice. There's no way I could have afforded this ship beforehand, though. It's very expensive and made of some damn good materials. All right, with that taken out, there are more to be had here. Ah, oh, it's gonna be nice to have company in the fights, that's for sure. You want triple the requirement for operational bonuses that puts her needing 2,000. I think she has space for 1,400. I don't tend to go for the plus or the 200% hiring thing. I don't think the bonus is significant. Speed for a, a ship that launches cannons from many kilometers away? Nah. And repair speeds? None of us should be taking hull damage to begin with. Not with the shields I've pumped onto all of you. Besides, I'm sure the Navy has to make budget cuts. Okay, and with this, my cloning bay should ensure that we always have loads of crew on hand. How are we looking then? I got 2,300. No, I'll still pick up a few more. Who else has crew for me? 
You over there, heavy miner? Uh, no, you're a ship. Noble metal mine? Noble metal mine. Can we stick? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna check all this, all the ships. I'm just hurrying on this because when they have no crew, they can take damage. I'd hate for one of these ships to just uh, pop when I'm not looking. After all this effort, all this cost. Not to mention the, the shame. Oh, I've already grabbed your crew. What a weird ship. Look at that there. Very boxy. I thought it might have been another glitched out ish ship like we saw in the multiplayer. But I don't think it's that bad. Give me the crew. And what about you? I'll take your crew as well. Oh, hang on. Maybe having too many crew prevents me from going on a travel mission, right? Yeah, there, there are issues with the crew, they say. To which I say... What if there weren't? I'm actually quite happy for the ships to be rather slow. Because the AI has this wonderful tendency of just rushing into battle even if they have long range weapons. Plus it's more majestic to see. Although the tactical assault pyramid is truly terrifying when it builds up speed because you know it ain't gonna stop anytime soon. All right, thank you, Malcontent. Let's get back to the others. Back in three minutes. That actually gives me a good opportunity to go and uh, check them. It was so beautiful, then you added the block. Now we're gonna tear the block off. It's just temporary accommodation for our temporary workers. Look at that, ship's already lost 7%. It doesn't break, it just loses overall integrity. And I'm pretty sure it never dies from it. Is that taking into account the crew situation or not? I think it is the crew that's causing that to look as low as it is. Who has all the crew that they need? Tactical Assault Pyramid has all the crew that they need, thank goodness. And Tactical Assault Pyramid has a blistering acceleration of 43 meters per second. Actually, it does decelerate not that badly. Max velocity 744. Omicron value 20,000. I expect them to be quite low because they're just getting ragtags of weapons. Eventually I will make exceedingly good weapons for them. But my god, look at this pyramid. Honestly, I actually think Baron made a good design for his ship because he didn't know the game so well. He just picked it up to jump in. But it's very modular. Oh, I need more of something. Just add another layer of it. Add another layer of it. The ability to actually move and maneuver your ship really well is overrated. You just put on the guns and shoot your enemies anyway. I think the only issue I have with his ship normally is that where do you put the guns normally? If you put it here, there's a huge amount of area that it's not able to aim at. That's why I wanted the roof like this. So it can reasonably aim anywhere except for underneath itself. And then, you know, it can just use all those gyro things to twist and turn around. So yeah, I do grow to like the uh, the Tactical Assault Pyramid, and what a name as well. How about you, Sobek? I think, yeah, we're not getting the right numbers here because we lack the crew. But wasn't I thinking about making Sobek my... Um, my... Uh, blah, blah, blah. What's the word I'm looking for? Cargo hold. I'd rather be the cargo hold myself, but... I think I will have the cargo bay be malcontent. There are very few times that I'm going to want to pick up cargo and I can just slam on a cargo hold whenever I need it. So for now, I'm going to make sure none of the other ships can grab cargo. No cargo hold at all makes life a lot easier. Malcontent is here. Kind of think of it. Which comes first in the alphabet, comma or period? I could just make you one comma, and you end up at the top. Excellent. All right, let's get those ships staffed. A 
this is exactly the kind of sector I would not set up in. It's too damn foggy. I do not like foggy sectors. Pick up normal cargo, stolen goods, dangerous goods. Not... Not right now. I don't particularly want any cargo right now. I'll only toggle this on when I know I need stuff. But what was that thing that I thought about having as a cargo bay but didn't? Oh, I guess it did stay as a cargo bay. Do I have any framework to work with? I got little bits over there. Might consider changing this stuff out for hangar bay or just again slamming hangar bay on the bottom of the ship as and when I need it. You're right, Jake. I approve the gun uh, placement on the pyramid. Well, thank you, Baron. Obviously, high command is always correct, but it's still good to know that the subordinates agree with the decisions. All right, Dai Sen Khan, Amaterasu. It's hard to tell if you're properly docked with one of your other ships, but we, we both have teleporters. Right, how many crew did you need anyway? It was something like 650. For some reason, it does not like to auto-assign unless I take them over. Oh, hell, hello, here we go. Well, if you were that keen on having more people, I think, if anything, you're going to want to have better speed. I forget which... Yeah, that's the one for higher speed. Go and have another 160 assigned to your stuff there. All right, and Sobek is short... Three, four, five, six, let's say 700 crew. Where's Malcontent? There's Malcontent. Let's get ourselves over there. I'm confused. Are we moving that way or not? Ah, looked like, uh, looked like we were moving out of the front bit. What am I looking at that's causing that? Do you have engines on both sides or something? God, we're barely able to move. Right, give me... What did I say? Probably something like 750. Auto-assign them. Blip. Shove another 70 on this. Keep it auto-assigned. You have a transporter block where you're missing transporter software. Not my problem. Uh, that's right, I wanted to grab Sobek. And I'm sorry, you probably really wanted this cargo bay for something, but I see cargo bay and I say no cargo bay. So I'm just going to grab it all and change it out for Trinium Framework. Bloop! And just like that, you gain huge acceleration. Let me ride around with this thing a bit. What is causing that light coming out of the front? Boy, this thing is agile. Hmm, much more so than I thought. Nice zippy speed. Hmm. All right, I can get behind this. Okay, very good. So now the orders go. Oh, right. I need to make sure that we're all actually um, able to move in the same way. So if Malcontent wants to jump, this is the range. But I am going to order Amaterasu to escort me. Tactical Assault Pyramid, escort me. Sobek, escort me. And then let's look at the range here. So this is our jump range because of our escorts. This is our jump range. But the important thing is that we can travel all the way over here. It only takes a few minutes. And even if I add my escorts, we just go by uh, Andarius's speed, and that's an important concept for trimming down the amount of subsystems we each need. So, this is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. Can't wait to see them all immediately die and all that money and work put in amount to nothing. So, 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 so. I do want to hear more of this, but now that we've got our fleet, we should definitely, definitely put our fleet to work. 
So we are going to defeat the Wormhole Guardian, I think. Even with our ragtag of weapons, it should be fine. He says, he's not actually that sure, actually. Wormhole Guardian with these weapons? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I, we, we've got loads of shields. How could we be bad with these kinds of shields and these kinds of weapons? Also, one thing that I need to do, actually, is equip the wormhole thingamajigger. Hmm. I'm actually a little unsure about fighting the Guardian. Because our Omicron for that kind of fight is probably not going to be sufficient. Not without custom weapons. But what else would we do with all this power? Also, we could check the money a bit. I actually want to withdraw a decent sum of that money. Give me 500 million of it. I'll tell you what, there are some other fights that I do want to take. Where are they, though? Where are the optional bosses? I could have sworn I listed the optional boss. Here we go. Steam has absolutely broken this interface, and it's been broken for ages. Please fix. There are a few. There's Boss, Numbers, IHDX, and Big Brother, but I think those come after the uh, Wormhole Guardian. He's thinking, he's thinking. There's not much point. Tell you what, how about we warm up? We'll have a warm up fight. And we'll go straight to Avorion. Let's go and source some pirate scum. And we're going to travel over to not where our miners are working. That could trigger the miners get caught up in the fight. But let's jump over here. All of us. Pew! While that's going on, I can talk to these people. Will you assist me in destroying the Sotan Wormhole Guardian? You're our ally. You can count on our assistance. Excellent. There's this, um, there's this mission to appeal to everybody and have them join you in the big main fight. And if they're your allies, they will always join in. So I will consider... Oh god, look at all this. I will consider going to all my friends and having them help out for the big fight. If nothing else, it's some more battlefield targets. A coral axe. I have to go to all their capitals in order to ask them. Ooh, feed me your sector. Oh, it was paid. I thought it finished their job. Oh, but it did finish its job. Thanks for the free money. Thanks for the free items as well. According to this, everybody is busy working. That's funny. Where is Feed Me Your Cargo then? Ah, right. They're still working for another 26 minutes. Not a problem. So, next step forward, I reckon, is going here, where my turret factory is, making it into movement form, and then moving it over to where this shipyard is. And then we're going to roll some awesome turrets. I think that's what we're going to do with you. They're going to be incredibly expensive and require lots of materials to make, which is a bit of a problem, but only a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta fight the wormhole guardian. One of my problems is that I need to grab uh, the wormhole stopper thing. And there, it brings in a lot of ships, and they're pretty hefty ships. There were a lot of us fighting it in multiplayer only on expert mode, and it was still a slog. Yeah, well, I suppose if things go dire, I can just uh, get out of there. Turret factory is under attack. Is it really, though? Part of me really thinks that it is not. We'll go and investigate regardless. Good to see that the ships that are following are actually following. Oh, there we go. A bunch of the pirates came in. Actually, the pirates are going to be utterly destroyed by the Syndicate. Oh, we don't, we don't need to go there. If the Syndicate somehow cannot defeat them, I'll get another warning that my turret uh, thing is taking damage. But the turret uh, factory should be strong enough to handle this. Okay, now... 
Let's actually have a fight, shall we? Come, my escorting ships. Let's take them on. Actually, you know what? I want to watch this automatically done. And Darius, you're in charge. Kill all. And how about my escorts? In what capacity will they escort? Well, by deleting that ship, for one. Tactical Assault Pyramid is uh, moving, <laughs> somehow. Will I ever understand how that thing does what it does? Captain, the battleship appears to be listing badly to starboard. Nah, it's good. Now, these long-range weapons are actually quite a boon uh, for a situation like this. But I wonder how it's going to be against the Wormhole Guardian. Quick check on the shields, right? You got 293 million. You got 300 million. I've only got, I've got a lot less on the main ship. You got 300 million. But that's good because if I end up out of shields, then that's a great uh, indicator that we need to GTFO. How many shields did people have when we went to fight the Wormhole Guardian? Because I think I was the only one with enormous shields. Obviously, because I'm a coward. If you were expecting these guys to fly in some kind of really fancy uh, squadron layout, like we're the Star Fox team, then you were expecting wrong. <laughs> you certainly are listing! <laughs> What kind of advanced cannon strats is this? And there I said he had a hundred million. I don't recall the shields ever really being under pressure, but that was expert mode and this is not. There we go. It's good to see that the battering that these pirates are trying to give us is completely failing. It's also good to see the uh, point defense doing its work, taking out the incoming missiles. And now all of our ships round on this poor guy. Why did we just smash? Oh god, did that tear off a piece of the tactical assault pyramid? It did! <laughs> Something was here and is now gone. Oh lordy, what part of you just went goodbye? Didn't take anything off of, um, off of malcontent. I'm almost a little concerned at how quickly there are uh, even some crummy pirates here taking out the shields. Came like that from the factory, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's see about that. Alright, not too shabby. I usually coated each new layer with armor. Hmm. Wait, why is Sobek taking uh, damage to the hull? Oh, I think it's just from back when you had uh, not enough crew. It is repairing, though. Alright, all well and good, but you know what? I don't think I'll leave the captain in charge of the malcontent again, and Darius, you are to follow my every command, and not a single idea is allowed to pass through your head. You just ripped off poor, uh, poor Baron's underbelly. Now, what kind of reports do, do they do in the Admiralty for miss, uh, near misses like that, shall we say? A bit of paint scratching. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a spirit melting down. I think uh, us being a quadro bunch will work better in a target rich environment, which is certainly what the end boss is going to be. But holy moly, these guys are tanky. Guys? Okay, they are there. Ah, actually, you're you're actually doing some work there. Who is that? Is that Tactical Assault Pyramid? It is Tactical Assault Pyramid <laughs> showing how good it is. Tanking shots on the underside whilst its guns maybe target something. You're a real piece of work. Yeah, the Assault Pyramid doesn't seem to be assaulting. I reckon it doesn't do so well in Asteroids. Many AI movements don't. Especially at this size. Are you at least firing your cannons? They seem to be having severe difficulties actually aiming at ships. Hmm. I wonder about that. Yeah, now I'm really worried about the uh, the Zotan fight. So they really attack with main guns. Seems you're doing 95% of all the DPS. Yeah, those extra ships are struggling greatly at actually targeting anything, and I don't know why. Seems more like they uh, they get shots in by accident. Oh, there we go. Tactical Assault Pyramid just realized what it needs to do, which is tactically assault. Can we have a... can we look at this from your point of view? <laughs> the way it twitches. Come on. Follow target. I think part of the problem is that I've given it very low range weapons, so it struggles greatly at getting into range for it. Alright, so I'm getting battered here by long range rockets. Are we sure so Sobek is actually healing? I didn't give Sobek uh, invulnerable shields that, or it lost its. Uh... Ah, I think it actually lost its invulnerable shields because of the damage that it took. Lost that uh, slot. Right, I will fix that once these pirates are dealt with. There we go, look at that. Tactical Assault Pyramid is in the perfect situation to actually land its shots. Again, possibly by accident. And to make sure that Sobek gets its invulnerable shields back. I think you'll mass wipe if you go with this line up to the Guardian. Oh, things look really bad, I'll warp out, but yeah, I do think things look pretty bad. Look at the sheer amount of damage my shields have taken already. But we should at least give it a taste test, right? Can always run away if things look bad. Of course, what I can't do is get those other ships back because it's permadeath.
Yeah, and this is this is only fighting like four or five pirates at a time as well. When the Zotan come, there are far more than that. God, look at this guy. He's got millions of hull and shields. Just keeping a lazy eye on Sobek, making sure that Sobek doesn't die. Sobek's actually losing a fair bit of your ship right now. And you're getting murked by, um, by little fighters too. I do have some extra unbound reconstruction kits. I would probably be well advised to bind them. Interesting. It was so much firing going on that even my bolters are overheating, and I made these to specifically almost never overheat. They have to sustain their fire to do that. Oh, there's the pirate mothership. There goes the pirate mothership. There we go. It's nice to see everybody just target one uh, one ship properly. Although there are three of them, and then there were two. I really do think we're going to get roasted alive against the Wormhole Guardian, but we've got to try. Worst case scenario, we can just get out of there. This guy's been pelting us uh, with impunity using missile launchers. I think the AI ships not having weapon groups might hurt them. I wasn't aware that the AI used weapon groups at all. Whew, boy, that was a lot. Right, no problems at all in terms of damage for the Amaterasu. The tactical assault pyramid tactically assaulted us mid-fight, and that broke off a bit of it. I think I'll add some armor on the underneath of it just to prevent that from happening, since it is a very large area that could be hit in. Maybe if you make like five more from the last design, the awesome agile one. Oh heavens no. I don't wanna I don't wanna cramp the style here. Four of us are looking good here. I could consider a fifth. Alright, what what broke off on you anyway? That big chunk of trinium something. Oh, it was just its entire thruster. And it's all armor here, but all of this is left open. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Let's get you some Organite armor underneath this. There we go. That should that should spare you against some ill-fated occurrences. And so back. So what I think happened to you... I'll just get the uh, repaired blocks on you. Ah, I see what happens. When I deleted or uh, replaced all of your cargo bays, that dropped your processing power too much. Right, but that's an easy fix, as long as we have a shipyard, which we don't. So let's go somewhere that does. Hey, there's still a pirate there, apparently. Could you upgrade the systems to a Vorion, maybe? Asks Sudazima. I could certainly look into that. 
whilst that poor hardcore bandit tries his utmost. Get on out of here. My bolters are not very hot for shredding shields, but once the shields are gone, at least they do a decent job. Hey, don't let him get out of there. Yeah. Teach him some manners. Right, so the problem is so bad. Oh, you're coated in smart hull. An odd choice. Engines should be made of trinium anyway. The crew quarters, also made of trinium. Thrusters, probably all made of trinium, rightfully so. And there's plenty of framework, which I could work with, but what else is, what is there here worth upgrading? Docks, directional, gyro, turret base, shield generators. There's already a mix of Avorion and Trinium. I don't particularly want to upgrade that, those anymore. I want a fairly uniform amount of shields across our ships. Uh, do you actually have an Avorion hyperspace core on you? Just in case you don't, I'm going to change this one to Avorion. Because if you don't, you won't be able to jump through rifts. Yes, one block. Okay, well, now you got two. Otherwise, I don't see anything that would massively benefit from upgrading apart from the rest of your shields. And like I said, not too keen on upgrading your shields further. Should we just do a full repair? Yeah, we got the money and resources. Just get it done. I feel bad about that. I'm more interested in getting you your impenetrable shields back. So what we do is we look at framework... We grab a little bit of framework and we turn it into computer core. Dunk. And another one. Dunk. And another two, I guess. Dunk. And one more just to be safe. Dunk. And there we go. Now you're comfortably on 15 slots, which means you will get your impenetrable shields back. That was the problem in that fight. You kept getting shield penetrated. All right, odds of this fight going extremely poorly are extremely high, so I shall go to my inventory, grab my unbound reconstruction kits, and then I'm going to bind one to each of these crafts. So now we have one on the Sobek, one on the Malcontent, one on the uh, Tactical Assault Pyramid, Malcontent, Sobek, Tactical Assault Pyramid, and Amaterasu. Golly gosh, we are almost certainly going to die doing this. Well, at the very least, we can uh, we can make our make our getaway if the need arises, and the need may well arise. You are fixing yourself, right? Hull 872.6k, 875.77k. Ah, it's being fixed. Hmm. Ah. Is there a downside to impenetrable shields? Not the ones we have. We've got the best in slot impenetrable shields, which are the ones you get from the Rift Research Centers. Normally, if you want impenetrable shields, there is a big downside. You lose a lot of your shield durability, and the time until your shields recharges goes up massively. But if you just get this instead, you get the impenetrable shields above a certain percentage, which is usually fine, as well as some other bonuses. So you absolutely want either the uh, reviving bulwark, or there's another one that does it, and it's the Igus. But the impenetrable shields are only when you're over a very high amount with the Igus. Okay, let's go and play with fire. 
We're just jumping straight in. Oh, well, maybe not. We're not quite there yet. I'll make a jump here and then a jump there because we just have a tiny bit too little range. It does occasionally tell you that your escorts cannot keep up, but it's a bold lie. They absolutely can keep up. Alright guys, ready for the fights of our lives? Tell you what, I am not particularly ready. I think the shields and malcontent are going to get shredded. But if mine are getting shredded, at least I can jump out knowing that these guys are going to have more shields than me. Look at that, 2 point, 290 million, 290 million, 300 million. And I'm sitting here with 142 million. I'm just thinking what I could or should have uh, pulled out to make space for more shields. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, it won't be fine, but let's at least see what we have. Oh god, what if they have a jump inhibitor and we're stuck in there? Then we could absolutely all die. Hadn't considered that, and it's very likely, because the Zotan love to use jump inhibitors. Oh boy. Big risks with that, and think I'd lose everything. Boy, would I lose everything, and that's a lot to lose. Mmm. Oh well, no fun without the threat of loss. <laughs> this is one way trip, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's okay, that's all part of the fun. Alright, Wormhole Guardian. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Hold on, I just had a thought. Baron. Baron, you have this, uh, this slot that's pretty much free, don't you? You could actually equip this and then harness the wormhole power. I don't exactly know what that does, but I'm sure it does something. Two hundred and seventy thousand Omicron on that thing. How much on your buddies? A hundred thousand Omicron. All right. Well, for for one, let's make sure we've got a way out. And for two, let me focus targets. Although you know what, that wormhole guardian is taking a lot of damage. Maybe I can just rush down the uh, the guardian. How's everyone else doing? I think they're actually fighting. It's almost unthinkable. Look at all that fighting the tactical assault pyramid is doing. <laughs> oh man, well at least they're taking hits for me. Also by uh, interrupting its wormhole early, I think I stopped a lot of its reinforcements coming in. Oh, right, no, look at that actual fighting going on. Thank you, Amaterasu. I want to I wanna see that from your point of view. It doesn't have the, uh, the brain power to actually go broadside. Where is it aiming at? I think it's aiming at that thing. Or trying to. For God's sake, shoot! What a mystery. AI, AI captains, what are they good for? Tell you what I could actually do is I could just tell everybody to focus down the, uh, the big cheese. Attack, attack, attack. Oh good lord, it's got 20 million hull. 
Its guns were set up to not be auto fire. I don't think I don't think that matters because the captain doesn't care. The captain just shoots whatever. Because look, he's firing now. He's giving it the full broadside. Got to be ready for when he uh, tries to open up the wormholes again. When you're in it, no, you can see you can you can see the shots coming out. Never mind the point defense. It doesn't when it's on escort? Really? Oh, I guess I need to look more into that. Didn't like seeing that explosion. Was that you again, Tactical Assault Pyramid? I think you broke... Did you break something? Pretty sure something broke on you. <laughs> How does he keep doing it? Alright, once we're through those shields, a lot more damage is going to get done. The problem is it has a lot more hull than it had shields. Yeah, why does it feel like the boss's shields aren't going down whatsoever? Baron, do we need you to interrupt it again? What's going on here? We're doing... Uh, yeah, the, the, the shields keep coming back. Never seen that before. Is that because you have something that's helping you out? Maybe I need to maybe I need to destroy these. It's gonna spawn a lot more of their little buggers though, and that I'm that I'm not too happy about. Yeah, he keeps seeing yeah, being stuck at thirteen percent. Sometimes it's a bad idea to take down all the little ones because he will just spawn a whole lot more, but I gotta try something here. Because currently we are doing no poids damage to the wormhole guardian. Or is somebody secretly using a shield healing beam and not telling me? I doubt it's too many DPS. Honestly, our DPS could be a lot better. Okay, it's channeling energy, so we take over the tactical assault pyramid, and then we harness the power, and then thanks to all the power going towards the tactical assault pyramid, that should allow all these to, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, that's a lot of them. Do I still have my uh, way out of here? Just gonna make sure I've still got that as a get out of here option. Alright, Wormhole Guardian does not look very hot after that. Come on, bring it down, bring it home. It's 
It's got a lot of shields to take out though, and it's uh, still bringing in back up. How's everyone else feeling? Well, everyone else is feeling a lot better than Malcontent, and don't worry, this is going slideshow rate for me as well. But I was promised a one-way trip. I think we're gonna be okay. Even if my shields go, I have a reviving 30% on them. Screw it, we're even, even letting the rockets out. Hit that thing for what little you can do. Bless these bolters. These bolters and their massive hull damage. The wormhole guardian might have obscene levels of hull hit points, but I also deal plus 235% damage to hull, which is why I'm glad its shields are dead. That's how we know Baron is firing. We can we can see his little burp, burp attack coming in. There we go. Baron keeps popping the party balloon on the end boss. We'll be fine. Okay, it's 20 million hulls now being reduced to 9 point something. Malcontent, continue the assault. I want to see how Sobek is doing and how the Amaterasu is doing. There you go. No, all, all things considered, having nothing but railguns is actually a pretty good idea because those railguns are going to shoot off in all sorts of directions. Although maybe they should be on different attack groups because I think they're all trying to look in one... Oh no, I ordered them to attack this thing. That's why they're all going in that direction. That does make a bit of sense. Although I wish they'd kind of stand still instead of floating around too much. How about you, Amaterasu? Yeah, she's sustaining. The cannons need to cool down, but once the, that's a good sign. It's a sign that they're actually making their shots. God, the, the AI keeps jittering about where it wants to target. Didn't realize how terrible the AI was at this. Oh well. Continually amazed by the tactical assault pyramid just floating around, ramming into things and breaking apart. I hope that's not loot I'm collecting off of smashed bits of Baron. I will say one very important thing that the other guys are doing, though, is being a screen. Because if I had to take all the DPS myself, I would be down a fair bit. In fact, I'm already taking damage now. My shields are below the impenetrable threshold. Even so, we're holding. Once all's said and done, we can take care of the little crappy guys and enjoy obscene amounts of loot. Put it down to, down to your last million now, Wormhole Guardian. Get out of my game. Galaxy. Whew. All right, she's dead, very dead. There's a whole lot of loot for us to be had. You just auto fire on things, and the rest of you absolutely escort me. Escort me. Escort me. Wario. And now they'll actually focus on the little crappy guys that have been chipping away at us. Ah! Good grief. Slideshow slide show or no slideshow? I was quite worried about that fight. It was left of my poor shields there. And here I thought maybe with the big cheese dead it would stop being a slideshow, but it is a lot of blocks that the game is trying to, uh, trying to figure out here. Alright, just two little battleships left. Bring them down and bring it home. 
An interesting thing is that now the Zotan will always be hostile against me, or so I believe. So no more just don't fire your weapons and they won't hurt you routines. Ah. Absolutely wonderful. Any left? None left. Absolutely want to get out of this sector because it's uh, unpleasant. But first, let's make sure that our automated people are still doing automated work. I want you... Huh, you're not actually doing these squares the way you should, unless I've miscalculated. No, I think I just messed you up. Um, get you over here then. And how about you guys? You guys are not messed up. At least not to that capacity. You know, one of you could do this, and the other two could do this. There we go. Don't work hard, work smart. Feed Me Your Sector has finished their work, so I can tell them to go and procure me another load of Rift Research data. LMNOPQ Rift Research. Get me another, I don't know, like 5,000 of it, was it? 5% chance of being attacked. All right then, 4,000. Not a good area for buying goods. There will never be a good area for buying goods. Uh, Rift research data. Just go and get it. Whew. Right, what did we even get in terms of drops out of that? Perhaps I should go to a less laggy system and check it out. Let us go over to this resistance outpost and shipyard. Oh, I thank you, Alil. It was GG. We can actually farm that guy, but it's a bit of a big fight to farm. He'll be back, I think, every 30 minutes. Game keeps warning me that my escorts can't keep up, but they absolutely can. Hmm. Very good, very good. I took a little bit of damage on myself. Hardly anything worth worrying about for repairs. What broke up? What broke off of the tactical assault pyramid, though? Oh wow! Uh, no, he didn't break. It's just telling me that there's transponders and such. Sobek, Sobek took a bit of a ding. It must have been in a collision. Actually, you lost something on your underside. Huh, you've got exposed generator on the under... No, actually, I think it's meant to be armor that goes over it. Yeah, smart hull, perhaps. I'm surprised it's such an expensive fix, though. I suppose it's not that expensive, is it? Let's see it. There we go, yeah. Don't know why you coated it in smart hull instead of armor, or even just regular hull. Smart hull does boost processing power, though, so that... There is some logic to be had there. But you know what's absolutely to be had? Much better weapons. So, 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 so... Let's cross off Defeat Wormhole Guardian, because that is absolutely done. And then let's lament that this entire UX is broken. Steam, please, for the love of God, fix this. Give me strike through on that. Okay. <laughs> I like the look more. There we go. As long as there's a reason. Right, what do we do now? It's got to be the weapons. It can't not be the weapons. It's also figuring what in the world happened to the tactical assault pyramid. What broke off this time? Something was meant to be here and broke off. Something here. <laughs> Some exposed hyperspace core. Alright, well, it stands to reason that that would have broken off. Uh, well, 
I may as well just continue to add to this thing in the way that it is so uh, so familiar with. Here's some organite armor and organite armor. I don't think you'll get chipped here, but uh, let's keep you armored up. Baron saying, no, no, these exposed parts are part of the whole ship. You can't hide them. I'd just rather they didn't break off in the heat of battle when you come reeing into some enemy. I'm also wondering about armoring up this giant computer core here because that thing could pop very easily and I think it would bisect the ship. Oh, God, I am concerned about that. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe we could... Uh, maybe we could do something about that. Why did I ask for this? I thought it'd be fun, you know? I enjoyed seeing the tactical assault pyramid in the multiplayer. Why not just add it in here as well? What was I thinking? It's not even the same width on each side. There you go, hopefully that's slightly less that's uh, potentially going to be smashed off. Leave it exposed for the thrill of it, no! <laughs> Good god, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go away, mod list. Right, what did we get out of this? At least we didn't have to reconstruct anything. So we've got some legendary items. Purifying Prospector, Artillery Cannon, but surprisingly low DPS. Uh, legendary Combat Control Subsystems, rather nice. Same with the Civil One, I don't know how I regret making these. Um, this can be used to summon an optional end boss, but it's not optional for this run, we need to do it. Avorion Fierce Electrify. None of the weapons I got are going to be anywhere near as good as the weapons that I plan on making right about now. But it's good to have gotten that pickup to grab the uh, optional end boss. Hello, Coaxial. So I don't know what synchronized weapons means uh, when it shows up here. Not a Scooby. But if it doesn't say guided, it's not my missile launcher. Uh, right, let's get away from tactical here. Go back over to Malcontent. Holy smokes, look at all these... Uh, all these claimable asteroids. Very nice. I think I'll claim both of them while I'm here. At least then they'll be available for me. And I can even add a little note. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to claim the asteroids inside your own home turf. I could sell it to them for very good money, but uh, at this point, a million means very little to me. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Which is a shame you can't automate the, uh, the grabbing of the goods. Everything is all right there. Now, I need to find somewhere to put the... Um, Somewhere to put the turret factory, and I think it's actually going to go over here, where this syndicate is. I don't think they'll mind that much. You get over there. I'm going to switch to the craft. Why do fighters suck? Or do you just choose not to use them? I just find them a bit bulky and unpleasant to use from a UX standpoint. They're a very good way of boosting the fighting power of your fleet. But I don't like doing the replacements. I don't like waiting for them to dock when you leave the system. There's a bit of a slog on um, performance as well. Just There's very little reason for me to like them. Okay, turret factory. It's time for you to... Oh, golly gosh. Part of the problem is you've got loads of cargo, don't you? Huh. Okay. It's not impossible to work with. 
Not impossible to work with, huh? Well, first thing is you need to engage transport mode. And then I could probably actually just transform you into something else, couldn't I? I mean, I could transform you into Malcontent, the cheap version. Uh, well, no, that's going to be very hellish on the crew numbers, isn't it? How many crew do we have right now? We've got 160. Yeah. Yes, we do. Don't want you to get blown up, though, that's for sure. Can we just jam you into one of these? No, you absolutely need to have a cargo bay, don't you? How about budget endgame miner? The important thing was for you to keep your cargo, which you did. The crew is sufficient. And then you need to go... Why are you not here? Ah, because I don't have to show the uh, alliance things. Turret factory. Can you even jump? Could Malcontent bring you over? Oh, potentially. Why can this thing not move? Ah, maybe once it goes station you can never fly it anymore. That would make a lot of sense. In that case, I need you to become this, but I want you to be larger. Don't know if that's going to be enough space for your goods. Almost certainly not. Yeah, no, looks, look at some of it go flying away. All right then, malcontent, go and grab what there is. Grab the station itself and bring it over. And don't destroy the thing, please. 160, could turn it into the Amagi for a bit. Yeah, it doesn't move though. Clearly I haven't played enough with stations. Alright, I want to make sure I'm actually grabbing these goodies. Some of it's going to be dangerous, so I need to have... Where is he? There we go. Protozomac, you make sure this stuff is held on to. Denied for you for another minute. Unthinkable. Right, now what I need to do is carefully dock onto you. You are rather large. But I might just be able to... Oh, easy now. I don't want to destroy the thing. Just forcefully nudge into the thing. Hmm. You know what? I got a, I got a larger dock in the front. I'm going to use that. There we go. I've said it several times before, I'll say it several times again. The docking mechanic in this game is so cool. Just the very idea that you can dock a station or a ship or an asteroid or pretty much anything. We docked a chunk of Avorion that actually ended up being a Zotan breeding facility and dragged it to a relatively safe area just so we could harvest it for its Avorion. There we go, let's get those goodies. And then let's move you over to whatever smuggler hideout is the closest to the center. There wouldn't happen to be any more closer smugglers, would there? 
I'm not going to do either of these two. I'm going to hope that that's Tech 52 World, and it should be. Get over there, then over there, please. Yeah, I think that's close enough to be Tech 52. Can we even see what tech you're at? Here we go, expedition to the center. There is a milestone for at least meeting them, so I think I will meet them. close to one of the other stations, so I know you're going to be relatively protected. The shipyard, perhaps. Although, actually, maybe next to the smuggler place, because I'm going to be bringing goods back, unbranding them at the smuggler, and then using them for, um, for making goods. So yeah, the smuggler place makes more sense. Very good. Now let's just undock you. Cha chung Get back a bit so you don't blow me up or other way around when you become huge. Uh, take you over, transform you into a typical factory. Good chunk. And you have 3.7 million shields. Did I give you those shields? Darn tootin, I gave you those shields. And they're already impenetrable shields. Man, I was thinking ahead. I got a hand to myself for that one. Okay, now, I can't tell what tech you're at. So I'm just going to hope that you're tech 52 and engage station mode. And let's make sure that you get your goodies back as well. Transfer over, well, everything that isn't Rift Research. I need that for myself. And now, this is where we make loads of guns, or so we hope. There's a bit of a problem in doing that, and that's that we need a lot of goods. Stolen goods, of course. Hi, Jake. The perfect run reminded me that your perfect hands are run isn't so perfect. YouTube playlist has episode 43 and 44 swapped. It's bothering me every time I rewatch it. Oh man, I thought I'd sorted all of those, but... Filter for perfect. Perfect market, perfect space Hansa, perfect Hansa with Rostov. Where the heck is Patrician 4? Here we go. Patrician 4. Um, list of videos, edit, edit is a new screen for some reason, and let's see, 32, 33, 34, 35, no it's 43 and you're right, they're completely mismatched, there we go, years on, we can make sure that it stays perfect. So, what are we going to get out of you, well we've got to wait a few minutes for you to uh, be ready for me can't do anything with you until then. However, what I could do is get a head start on some of the materials that I need. Hmm. But I don't know which materials I need yet. I'm sure there are lists somewhere, but what I will probably do is I'll check it once you're ready, write them down, and then get to work with them. By the way, were there any Rift Research Centers around here? There are a few over here. With this fat stack of Rift Research stuff I've got, I wouldn't mind checking them out and grabbing some goods. You guys come with me. It'll only take a minute. Although I don't like hanging around in the sectors in the center because it's quite risky. If the Zotan jumped in, they'd brutalize everything and eventually destroy my turret factory. My turret factory, which, uh, strangely enough, isn't damaged. And here I thought it would be. There we 
go. Good. The ships actually remain in escort mode. There used to be an issue where they did not, and that was ever so bothersome. You'd have to order them to re-escort mode after every such jump. So, so, so. Rift Research Center. And they have a couple of the hardening bulwarks. I absolutely want them. Honestly, I'm probably going to want everything in all of them because I need that to get my uh, legendary subsystems. There we go. See, short burst of subspace signals. I think we should take care of the Zotan uh, outside of where my stuff is, just in case they come in and ruin my day. But it will be good to see whether or not they are instantly hostile. I am 90% sure that they are. Because, well, I beat up the big bad. Why wouldn't they be angry with me? Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Thank you, Portal Quotes. Yeah, some of these I really don't want, but I'm going to need them eventually. Well, I don't need a lot of these, but... Nah, give, give me the stuff that I actually want rather than stuff I don't want. I want the eye, I guess. I want the bulwarks. Don't think I want the re-energizing guardians, because it's flat shield and recharge, which sounds good, but I'd rather just have lots of shields and make them impenetrable. I'll take you regardless. Interceptor, no. Actually, I should take the red ones, just so I have fewer uh, that I have to combine to get legendaries. I knew these Rift Research drops would be a pain, but we'll try and make it as pain-free as we can. Also fairly certain I said I'd set up my Zotan Hunter to go on an expedition. <laughs> Just looking straight at the Assault Pyramid when I jump in. What a sight for sore eyes. Alright, where are we at? There you are, Rift Research Center. Hmm. Co and op reconstruction kit for other players. Can this be used on hardcore mode? Ooh, combat generator. I actually really want those. If you stack combat generators, you won't need Botan, so you'll be able to free up an extra slot for more uh, more attack subsystems. And they actually give a lot of uh, a lot of attack things as they are. Oh man, Ali, don't do that to yourself. Nobody needs to spend any time watching the Patrician Four run. It was an exercise in madness. All right, absolutely take that. And I like that. That's hyperspace cooldown. That's not so good, but I'll still take it. Might combine well together. And of course, I see Bulwark. I take Bulwark. It's nice having thousands of Rift Research data, but I'm going to want more than thousands. Oh, subspace signals are getting too strong for your scanners. Brace yourself. It's going to be a big one, huh? That's concerning. Then I probably shouldn't take the fight over here with the Rift Research stuff, because this stuff's useful to me. In that case, could we kindly make our way over to... Over here, they've got loads of stuff to fight. Get going, lads, quickly. Redesigning every city gets a bit old. Yeah, I know, I know. Thankfully, most of that was done in one large nine-hour episode. But yeah, it was painful. Titanium miners are done. Oh, here we go. Large fleet of... Oh, they're not immediately hostile with me. That's weird. I was so sure they instantly aggro you. I aggroed them then by shooting my laser, but I was very sure... But once you kill the wormhole guardian, they go aggro with you. And there's something concerning. That guy's got immunity to uh, to this kind of weapon. So dare I say there is a downside to my... Uh, you know what, actually, just, just shoot whatever. Auto-fire. 
Downside to my awesome bolters. People can have immunity to anti... Uh, what kind of weapons are they again? Antimatter. Antimatter absolutely brutalizes hull, but... Resistance against it? Scary. Which leads me to wonder one thing. Does uh, is it just the shields that are strong against antimatter? Because if I get shield penetrating antimatter, would that work? I wonder. Oh god, well something got taken out there. But it's not the amate uh, amaterasu. What a mouthful. Should have been something easy like Amagi. <laughs> it just keeps flying around. The ship has no idea how to perform a broadside, which is unfortunate. Unlike the tactical assault pyramid that knows exactly how to fly downward and. F oh god! Why is it always the pyramid? Well, at least something didn't break off this time. Not off the pyramid. You smashed something here, though. Amaterasu, are you okay? Yeah, you didn't. You didn't suffer any losses there. Freaking assault pyramid, man. Very intimidating seeing that thing coming as well. Sheffron's jealous of my superior sub goddess, I see. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hang on, there's still a savage quartet, uh, corvette to be had. Also, all for one and all for one is done, so we can just move away from you. Good to know the allies are using fighters there quite well. Whilst I'm here, couldn't hurt to stop by and see what they got at their Wii Mobile place here. Oh boy, might not be only the tactical assault pyramid that hits. No, there we go. Easy money. Oh yes, energy to shield. Four-headed Hydra, yes. None of the rest of this really speaks to me. I already cleared out my junk. Why add more? Also, that reminds me, Baron. You no longer need to have this installed. I'll just leave you with a wild card. That way I could use you to hack at a moment's notice or do economic things at a moment's notice. Right. Ah, hail to the Hun. Right, you guys have yet more exploring to do. There are Zotan here. Mm. If that's the case, let's try our luck here. Slightly risky. Could be pirates. Could be more Zotan. Could be a lot of horrible things. Uh, titanium miners. Get back to titanium mining, pretty please. Safe mode sucks, but it's all I can afford. And Avorion scrapping. Get back to scrapping Avorion. Again, in safe mode. And don't even do trinium. I want only the best. Like the milky bar kid. Only the best is good enough. Right. Thanks to that distraction, we should be more than ready to come back and see to our turret's needs. Pew! It's nice that all of us can move across so quickly. Like I say, you only need one ship that is really good at long-range travel. For short-range travel, it can be a bit awkward if one of them only has a jump radius of 4 and the other one has 20. So I, want, I gave them all Botan to at least give them the ability to jump a fair distance. And I gave them all a bit of cooldown, so they're, we're not waiting more than about 20 seconds per jump. Avorian sounds like it'd be the name of that one 3D Star Sector game where you ride a bird. Well, I suppose it is 3D Star Sector game. 
Does Star Sector have much in the way of making your custom ships? I don't remember that, but I didn't play a lot of it. Alright, explorers first and foremost. Apparently two of you can do that. Can one of you do this? Nope. No, absolutely not. Alright, change of plan then. See those two that I just sent out? Please don't do that. And instead, we'll have you all work together. The, uh, the ships themselves are fixed, but you get to make custom loadouts. No custom hull, but subsystems and weapons of player choice. Okay, it's a bit less interesting than what we get here in Avorion. But interesting isn't always the best, is it? Right. <laughs> my own turret shop is yelling no refunds. That's how I know it's my turret shop. I'm wondering what I can do to stop Baron's ship from ramming every other ship. I could put a massive dampener underneath it. It's not unthinkable because I think that's three fights now. It's just slammed into our own ships. FF Stike, unable to let go of nostalgia glasses. Freelancer is the best space game, for me at least. For you. Okay, it is... It says 50 plus. Are you making me tech 52 stuff or not? It just says 50. Why are we not seeing tech 52? Oh, it's the 50 stuff that I had before. I need to reinitialize it because it's still got my old... Uh, my old bolter. Alright, reinitialize, please give me 52. 51? Oh, that's unacceptable. I want 52 and not a little bit less. Which is a shame, because I didn't want to protect you. I might have to go here. I will go here. Okay. If that's how it's going to be. Get back down into your wee box. And engage transport mode, and we'll get you shifted over one more time. Easy does it now. Easy does it. Give it too much of a love tap. This is what I get for making my docking squares too small, but there we go. Yeah, I gotta wait a minute, uh, another minute on that, but more fool me, I should have. Uh, actually, I've got an idea ish. It's not a bad idea, could even say it's a good idea. I'm going to tell my Avorion and Titanium Miners to move up to the north side. Actually, you could even move over to this place. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, where are you at? Miner Avorion, cease. And Scrap Avorion, cease. Man, they got a lot of junk. Yeah, they didn't get much done there, but that's okay. Uh, Miner, Avorion. Oh, right, they're all in. They're all in range to just jump over. That's convenient. You guys get over there. I will get over here. Once I pick up my goods, at least. And now I want you guys to be mining around here. Should be plenty, right? 198, 210. 198. That's 201, not 210. That's 204 there. 204 there, right? That'll do. So you, with your fellow miners. You know, what if I gave you, like, all of us as escorts? <laughs> Even then, it's not, uh, not comfortable ambush probabilities. Right, take your miners. Go into safe mode. Don't bother with 
anything below trinium. Good. And then scrappers. 110. 158. Oh man, it's a lot better to go over there, probably because that's where all the wrecks are. That's going to get confusing. Right, scrap and scrap and safe and immediate and nothing worse than Xenion. Good enough. It's a shame I have to do it in safe mode, but hey, at least it's hands off. And then Malcontent, have you picked up the goods? Not enough room in my cargo bay. That's not how things work around here. Oh, I've still got this piece of garbage here. Um, away you go. I apparently need a cargo bay. Donk. Come to me. Much better. And I've still got my Commodore Smuggler in charge, which is good, because I've got dangerous cargo here. Let's get you set up. Docking permission granted. You are being docked. You don't get to give the permission. <laughs> Scottish farmer's market, no refunds. Never known a farmer's market to be the kind of place you get a refund to begin with, though. Alright, tell me I'm nice and close to the... Oh, there's only a shipyard here. Of course, the... Um... The smuggler bit got blown up in a previous attack. That's not too bad. I'm just glad that there are some friendlies around here. But I shall take shelter next to this existing shipyard. Go and be free. And also engage station mode. And become huge once again. Plunk. I'm sure you have it. Make sure that you are putting all your staff in the right place. Good. And let's transfer back all those goodies and of course keep our... Uh oh. Uh oh. I gave you too much stuff. I gave you the wrong stuff as well. Ah, crumbs. I can't remember what you're meant to have. I guess if it's not stolen, then it's what you want. So ammunition M, steel, explosive charges sounds about right, servos, aluminium? I don't think anything they use needs aluminium. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. High pressure tubes sounds like you'll need them. Aluminium? Well, maybe. Okay, I need to wait another wee while for you to reinitialize. And while you're doing that, I'm going to pop over to the smuggler's market. Don't mind me. And now my crew is unhappy because I've got too many of them. Hmm. But I have some framework to edit, don't I? Framework. You and you become the crew quarters. Dunk. And now they're still mad. Because I still want even more space. Well, that's why I keep framework. The bolters use aluminium. Okay, thanks. I need to make a note or grab a note or... Actually, it's all online. I could just grab that. But uh, first I want to see what the best weapon I end up finding is. What kind of DPS are we going to be looking for? Better than the bolters, obviously. If we're going Tech 52, it needs to be better than that. I'll unbrand some of my goods. and then... Actually, do I even want to unbrand these? Anti-grabs, mainframes, energy tubes, medical supplies, turbines... Maybe I should wait and see what... Hold on, why does that syndicate suddenly hate me? Oh, right. I uh, I took over that um, sector. That 
Doesn't sound like too much of my problem. They were already friendly with me, right? Yeah, they like me. No big deal. Explorers doing good exploring work. It's amazed me, but uh, they can actually find legendary subsystems due to their lucky trait. Hadn't seen that before, but it did happen earlier. Signals are growing stronger. Well, back come our Zotan buddies. Always back for more, but you know what? I don't want them draw. Uh, I don't want them destroying these places. So let me just get out of here a bit. Also, could I not have that sticking out of my top? It's just so ugly. At least if it's on the underside, people expect me to have my hideous um, cargo bay on the underbelly. There we go. Anything to just not have that. Yeah, the Zotan warping in in these sectors is always a concern because I could blow it up. So that means when I end up having a place that I can just hang around in for a long time, I want to make sure it's somewhere that I keep patrolled with a very well stacked up gun, uh, ship. So I might actually make, um, I'd say a two or maybe even three of these malcontent ships and just have them set on patrol duty wherever I set up my turret, for, uh, my tech 52 turret thing. Because I will want to go back there every now and then and make more guns. Anyway, how are things looking economically? Group of alien ships. Not a group of alien ships I'm concerned about. Let's blow them up, lads. I've been enjoying catching up on the YouTube channel. Man, there's a, there is a lot of this. I've been unable to stay away from this game. I don't know how people would manage. Gosh, I'm going to be spending a lot of money rolling gacha. See, look at that. Immune, 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 immune. Yeah, these Zotan have actually got a very good counterplay to my amazing bolters. It says resistant against antimatter. I had no idea they could be 100% immune to it. Well, we're going to need uh, Chef Ren's power to defeat this, but he's flying in the wrong direction. All your guns are on the other side. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, there we go. The AI captain struggle immensely. It's kind of ridiculous to see. Uh, turn around, where are you trying to aim? Okay, maybe against that and then you change your mind again. The thing is, it shouldn't be any worse than uh, the enemy AI. Maybe there are just certain kinds of ship designs they work better with. Oh yeah, I gave Baron some very short-ranged weapons, so that could be why the pyramid struggles as much as it does. See, so he's fine when he's in range, and staying with staying against his target. It has a party. Yeah, there's a party popper weapon, um, and I managed to find one, so I figured I'd give it to Baron. Pyramid is an abomination. It's funny when it crashes into the other fellas. <laughs> it is such a barren contraption. As in a Baron Von Owen contraption, not uh, unable to have life. Come on, as soon as those shields are gone, the ship is dead, but it's just such good anti bolter. And I don't know how they get it, resistance against antimatter, uh, because I do have resistance granting subsystems. Resistance. 
but even my legendary one only gives 33% reduction. Plasma, physical, electric, antimatter, yeah, how in the world does the AI get complete immunity? I do not know. Oh, hang on, there's still one around here, and uh, more fool him, he's got no shields. AI privilege. Well, it's also something I've never seen before, so I wonder if it's an insane mode privilege. These bolters are so good. Just unfairly good. But at least I got rid of the Zotan, so... Huzzah. Should be a nasty red thing on the map. A red skull indicating uh, an optional boss. But heaven help me, I can't see it. Maybe I have to use the item that I have. Um, I don't know about all of the different optional bosses and how to fight them. I just know they exist. Alright, back to our turret factory. It should be initialized and ready to go. Getting myself absurdly powerful weapons is not actually part of our perfect criteria. But it'll make life a lot easier if the ships that we do have have access to the best weapons one can make in the game. There is no... Pardon me. There is no definitive best weapon in the game. It's up to you to decide what's best for your situation. You'll consider range, cooldown, pure DPS, the size of it, the tracking speed of it, the type of damage it does. Uh, but for the ships we have, we're going to have a variety. I want some coaxial guiding missile launchers on Malcontent. Um, what do we have here? The Sobek demands nothing but railguns, so I'll coat it in as many railguns as I... Well, in the best railguns that I can. Baron just wants a variety of weapons for Sheffrin's incredibly intimidating pyramid. And the... oh gosh. The very cap-sized Amaterasu is a mix of bolters and cannon. Concerned about how those cannons find their targets, but nature finds a way. All annihilators, says Zutazima. Okay, well, we'll see if that breaks the budget. I'm not going to have the money to make all of the weapons right now, but the hope is that our glorious factory, which is busy making negative 152 million credits per uh, hour, will be able to help me make ends meet. And don't worry about that, it's something that balances out itself very nicely. It just has to import the goods, make them, and then sell them on. Uh, which maybe it's having trouble with if the prices aren't right. Let me check its... Let's see, Alliance, Fleet, Inventory of that thing. It's actually sitting on loads of accelerators, which I think it is struggling to sell. Conductors and fusion, fusion generators, da 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 Electron process. So it's got loads of them and they're not selling. 1,000 times 100,000. Yeah, it's sitting on many millions worth of goodies. But it's waiting for someone to come along and buy them. Thinking about it, I did tell them to automatically sell, right? Okay, so here's our turret factory. And now when I reinitialize it, it should be tech level 52. It is tech level 52. Fantastic. Now, here's the real gacha of the game. It's going to generate a whole bunch of weapons. Every time I pay one million, it'll generate a new batch of weapons. And the trick is looking at it and thinking, what are the absolute best weapons that I can get here? Truth be told, I just don't know. There's a lot of clicking through and finding the absolute best ones. For example, look at this precise quarter artillery cannon. But the general rule of thumb I'm looking for is I want at least 1,500 base DPS per slot. This, being, this one being a six slaughter, I'd be expecting over 9,000 raw DPS. And then I need other things to line up. So I'd want it to not overheat too much, have a decent range, or have any other, uh, any other things that I'm looking for. So generally... I'm only interested in the stuff that's at the top because if it's not, if it's not as good as this coaxial electrifier or this fierce bi thumper, then it man actually that bi thumper does look very good, doesn't it? It's a two slaughter though. 
the range is uh, onyx. Well, uh, that might not be too bad. But even with all of that, it's effective uh, average DPS per slot. It's only 4,000, uh, 4,199. Compare that to the existing bolters that we have. It's not really an improvement, is it? And these are only tech 50. I am expecting better than that. <laughs> We're making some crack shots from here. That's one of the bonuses of having some nice long-range weapons. We even got thanked for that sake. Half a million for our glorious intervention there. So there's going to be a lot of spending a million to reinitialize. But between the 700 million that I have and the 400 million in the Alliance Vault and the uh, scary idea that the accelerator factory isn't selling all those accelerators. I'm sure they will, but I might have to go and have a look at it. Maybe lower the extra price that it sells them at. Let's go and roll some gacha. That's not a bad dual electrifier. But poor range. What I'm looking for, actually, are a bunch of different things. I'm looking for a pulse gun. Uh, ionized projectiles is nice, but a pulse gun with um, antimatter. Because pulse gun ignores shields. Look at that, shield penetration 97%. So the ability to just not have to deal with an enemy's shields and still rip them apart is pretty great. But we'd also need to have the range and the boosts to a bunch of other things. I'm going to be very, very greedy at what I get out of this stuff. Also, coaxial rocket launchers sounds good, but I want them to uh, have seeking rockets. So there's going to be a lot of very greedy reinitialization. Well, we've got something pretty close here. Look at that. 2,000 effective DPS per slot. Amazing extra shooting, better fire range, better damage. My problem is that it's not antimatter, and I am so greedy that even this amazing looking weapon I'm still going to say no to because of no antimatter. Antimatter would give a huge extra bonus to hull damage. That is really good, though. Uh, what else do we have? <laughs> it's a shame this is coaxial, but uh, coaxial annihilator. You can add seeking to any turret with ingredients. I'm not sure that's true, because even if I gave all the ingredients here, they would not become seeking shots. Uh, rocket turrets, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. You use guidance cards, I think. You know, I've got a rocket launcher here. Coaxials, I, I'm only interested in the coaxial rocket la uh, missile launchers, because those could be made seeking. Where's a missile launcher when you need it? Here we go. Yeah, you're right. Add a bunch of targeting cards, and we've got guided missiles. But look at that pathetic DPS per slot. Anyway, give it another reroll. Scorchers, I'm not actually very interested in the laser scorch. Actually, I wouldn't mind having Sheffron's Pyramid having a lot of those. Very good range on them, actually. You know what? Overall, this is a rather nice looking weapon, isn't it? Oh, but it's coaxial. Never mind. I forgot if they're upright like that, then it's coaxial. Hmm, over Tesla. Master Double Blast. Oh boy, look at that bolter. Mm. Look at that bolter. Holy smokes. Now what if we what if we were to uh I like to add fewer servos so it can fire more often without overheating, but not to the point where I drop DPS. High pressure tubes to give it 12 and a half kilometer range. Up the everything else. Raw DPS of 10,000 in a three thing, but the actual work that it does. Hull DPS 12,000. What's, uh, what's our hull DPS per slot? It's double as good at hull as this, but again, the problem is that it doesn't... Uh, actually, that would be pretty good to give... Um, that, oh, it's not, oh, it is antimatter. That's a really good bolter to have for, oh, hang on, I think I need to stop my cloning bay. Can I just uh, remove you guys from the cloning queue? 
There we go, keep running out of space for people. Um, hold that thought. Can I say... Hand over some of my crew to you, just so you're not getting in my way. I think that bolter is going to be really good for the flying dreadnought. Cue me being told that it's not a dreadnought, but I don't know my nautical anythings. Uh, take another 50 or so, maybe even another 50. My crew are a lot happier now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really good one to have for our uh, for our ship there. Size 3, incredible power, incredible cost. Hmm. Going to enter the ship and have it play with itself, because then I should have access to the goods. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to drop servos until these ship uh, until these guns do not overheat. I could make it that they purely don't overheat. It only costs me a tiny amount of uh, DPS. That's pretty damn sweet. I don't actually think I mind uh, them overheating a little bit, because they only need two seconds of dissipation. Damage to hull, fire rate, accuracy. The only thing I would like it to have more of is range, but I can accept that kind of range. So I'm absolutely going to build that quadra shooter, and I'm going to immediately blueprint it so that I can build this whenever I want it later. There we go. Yeah, it costs a lot of money to do that, but that's okay. Now we have that blueprint and we can continue rolling for other things. What about this coaxial rocket phalanx? Because again, I can add targeting cards to it. Add extra fuel. Uh, oh, wow, well, it's got 40 kilometer range. Hmm, maybe I don't want coaxial rockets, but... We'll see, we've got rockets right here. Hmm. I know I want better range than that. Okay, so we got we got the bolters that we're after. So huzzah! I can feel pretty good about. Uh, I didn't even have it here. I probably thought my bolters were okay. Bolters looking good. So huzzah! Is it Control S for strike through? No, then I have no idea. Cannons, rail guns, shield penetration, and point defense. One thing I'm not actually looking on this list for are the point defense. I don't actually know what a good point defense is. It's got to be good range and good tracking speed, but I'm actually not familiar with the numbers very good to know what an ideal set is. So I'll probably just make any old set once I roll the other things. It's only a million a roll after all, right? What else do we have here? Uh, we're just up in Tesla Cannon. There's my Quasar with ionized, but not antimatter, and I do want ionized antimatter. Uh-huh. Coaxial, 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 coaxial. Oh, hello. This one comes pre-guided. Adding more targeting cards doesn't change anything. Adding few, uh, fewer gets rid of the uh, targeting. There's another bolter. <laughs> Now we've already got our bolter, don't be... Oh, but just think. That one takes a lot longer to dissipate. Doesn't have quite the stats the other one had. Okay, never mind that. Hmm, tempting, but no. Repairer. The Thor. It is instant. Damage to tech blocks, range damage, fire speed, energy consumption, electric damage. Nah. Nah. Sorry, we're just pouring our millions down here. No point in having them if we don't put them to good use. There's an antimatter pulsar. No extra damage to hull, but I don't think it's quite good enough. What else do we have? Fierce Coaxial Artillery Cannon. What a damn shame it's Coaxial, because look at that. 2,800 DPS per slot. 
You know, we're going to constantly get reminded about other bolters that we could have. Look at that thing damaged to whole accuracy. Shoot, no. Don't, don't, look at, don't look at more bolters. Be happy about the bolter that you have. Let's remind ourselves of the number so I don't, uh, I don't end up being too unhappy with the choice that I made regarding my bolter. Blueprint. Blueprint of that boulder. Yeah, how could you be unhappy with that amount of DPS coming out? Hull DPS per slot of 12,000. Always remember that. It's really good. What else we got going here then? Hmm, Rapid Ruiner. It's a five slot, so it's far from small. There's an Annihilator. Oh, you know what? That might not be too shabby. Its fire rate isn't that bad. It can also fire for a good long time, but it takes a long time to cool down. Can have it fire. Uh, can have it fire for over a minute without needing to cool down, but then it cools down for a fair while. High pressure tubes, fuel, max that out. No questions asked. Have it targeting. Hmm. Look at that though. Sixty-four kilometer range. Guided missiles. Two thousand DPS per slot. Extra damage on the thing as well. Mmm. Actually thinking if it wouldn't benefit from firing a bit faster, but if it's got to go that range, I'd probably rather they had to track another target for a bit. Yeah, any more you'll be able to shoot the next sector over. I'm just looking at that thinking it's great for those times when there's something you want to fire at. Uh, and it's not coaxial, so I can just have it on auto fire. I like you a lot. Alright, we're going to make this thing, but it needs ingredients. Uh, in fact, this is a great time to look up all the ingredients that we need for different weapons overall. So I'm going to back out of this, back out of this whole system, and... Oh, right, my explorers are needing to explore, but getting the crew out is the first order of priority. Let's get them over to this pe uh, these people that we bully a lot. Uh, I'll start by landing in somewhere relatively safe, preferably somewhere that has an equipment dock. There we go. Just get all of you guys over here. Five minutes. Surprisingly long time for you to take, but get on it. I'm actually going to need a proper, um, yeah, I'm going to need a proper cargo bay. No escaping it. Eesh. Okay, I can just strap it on the underside as I'm so in tune with doing. But yeah, I don't want to stay around here. Because of the Zotan warp in, it can cause nasty things to happen for us. I'm just going to switch over to this benign sector. Awesome for the battleship. The battleship specifically wants cannons and bolters. And I will I will abide by what people want. Also, those are some big rocket launchers. I'll put those on Malcontent. It's kind of tempting to give them to Baron, just so Baron doesn't do so much damage to himself. Mm, no, Bar Baron doing what Baron does in his weird pyramids, all part of the all part of his fun. Those are some damn good uh, rockets, though. It would be nice to have a ship that just purely has those rocket launchers. Right, well, whilst I'm sitting here all pretty, first of all, I need to give my explorers new tasks. Get them up to the safe areas here. All three of you there. And, well, you guys are already in the right direction. That's a two-man job, and that's a two-man job, so I'll get all three of you on that. One of the things we were meant to do is scout out the Avorion zone, and I'm happy to say that it's pretty much done. Finish charting Avorion space. Well, it does say finish, so I guess I will finish it. Uh, can um, Rockets weren't on this, was it? Where are they? Rockets. Rockets get... 
There's quite a lot of this stuff I don't think I'm going to get done this evening, because it's already quite late at night. But let's go and get the goods that we need to produce these awesome weapons. And that means I need to actually find it. I think we've got a wiki page for that. Come on, anti-fandom. Show me... Turret factory? Alright, here we go. I don't care about chain guns. We already know what we need for bolters. We already have what we need for bolters, actually. Um, did I want lasers for Baron? I didn't quite figure out what I wanted to give Baron, but lasers might be the... Uh, might be a good idea. Hmm... I'm not actually sure. Baron didn't make things easy by saying, ah, just whatever. I will need rail guns, however. Rail guns need... Gonna need a new page for this one. Some long-range weapons could be good. They certainly could, couldn't they? Problem is, your, your, your ship isn't the best for putting things on. I might flatten out the roof of your ship and then just put loads of um, rocket launchers on the top of it. That gives me a good reason to make lots and lots of rocket launchers. Right. Rail guns need servos, electro charges, electro magnets. How do they work? Oh, hey, it's a return of the uh, Gauss rails. Gonna need those back again, huh? High pressure tubes, steel, copper, and targeting systems. Targeting system. All right, what else are we making around here? Yeah, the rocket launchers. Rocket launcher. Needs the servos, rockets, who would have guessed? High pressure tube. Uh, explosive charge. It's a damn good looking rocket launcher, so I absolutely want that. Uh, steel and wire. Okay, what else am I looking to make? That, the railgun. Um, it was the pulse cannon. Pulse cannon only needs six things. Pulse cannon needs servo. Man, everything needs servos. I'm going to need a lot of those things. Servos, steel tube, ammo S. Just fetching this off the wiki. Steel, copper, and energy cell. There's no pen and papering and patrician. That was all hardcore spreadsheeting. Between that, what is still left on my to-get list, though? Cannons. And I suppose point defense. Let me check my list here for cannons. Servos, warheads, high-pressure tubes, explosives, charges, steel, and wire. So it's the same stuff that I already have, but just with the addition of warhead. So I'll just write warhead here. And if I wanted point defense, what was under? Is there one here for point defense? Force guns, Tesla, lightning, pulse cannon. Oh god, I didn't check what uh, point defense needed. And it's not really showing here now, is it? That's okay though, we have the power. Because we can just go and flick ourselves over to our turret factory and check. Line the bottom with guns, oh 
Gosh, yeah, it might not be the worst idea because it was showing its bottom an awful lot. All right, point defense requires laser heads. I'll just write PD here. Laser heads. I know it needs servos. Everything needs servos. Laser heads. Laser compressors. High capacity lenses. A lot of laser things here. Laser modulator. Steel and perhaps annoyingly, crystals. All right, need that for PD then. And is that everything at last? Looks like it. Just want to make sure that's the case for all of the point defense. No, not quite, because there's point defense laser and point defense cannon. The cannon one, I think all this stuff, oh, lead is needed for the cannon ones. I wonder what's better, a laser or a cannon? I have no idea. The cannons seem to have better range, but the lasers are instant. I can't see any difference between the prices, really varies between them. I think I'll go with the laser one, mostly because that's the first one I wrote down. Lasers are pinpoint, cannons are like miniguns. Yeah, maybe it's better to have something that is instant in taking it out then. As long as I get one that has good long range, it should be fine. Alright, that's a lot of stuff to acquire, and that's a lot of destruction we're going to have to rain down. However, where I used to do this with one ship, I now have four ships to terrorize the neighborhood with. So, all I need to make sure is that I have my disgustingly large cargo bay configured to uh, grab all the everything. That's not enough of a cargo hold. How about I have any guns underneath this thing? I don't think I put any guns in the center. Well, there's that gun. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked by a, uh, all this cargo bay. Goodbye, my maneuverability. I knew you once. Maybe I'll never know you again. It all comes back to this, doesn't it? Right. Rectangular selection of all cargo bay bits. I feel like I got some bits that weren't cargo bay. Let me just make absolutely sure that I am only looking at cargo bay here. Whoops, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, and then I hit that, huh? Right, only looking at cargo bay, only select cargo bay. Merge anything that can merge, and these all blocks should become one. There we go. Cargo bay of 200,000. That might actually not be enough. Scary a prospect though that may be. Can I put this in without blocking my other bolters? Kind of. There we go. If I still need more, then I can add more. But time to go and ravage the sector with my now significantly weighed down thing. Okay, first of all, where are you hiding all the servos? They're hiding them over there. All right, let's just take it one at a time. Servo factory, come to me. We're all heading over there. We'll all be there in two ticks. All right, once I've gotten the servo factory, where are you hiding the electro things? Both electro charges and electromagnets. Electro charges are over there. Electro magnets are over here. Okay, very good. In that case, I'll just start putting pins in places that we need to take out. Holy moly, I've got plenty of them here. All right, very good. Where am I? Oh, that's fine. 
All right, uh, electromagnets. Where do we find electro charges? Over here. Electromagnetic charge factory aplenty. Well then, are we having all of that, please? What else was I looking for? Gauss rails. Gauss rail factory might be a little harder to find, but would you look at that? I got a Gauss rail factory with my name on it. You know, I could actually just buy them. Nothing saying I have to go and murder for all of this stuff. And I might be able to get more out of them if I just buy them here. Look, they got a laser factory and everything over there. I think I will go and uh, make good to actually purchase some of that. High pressure tubes. High pressure tube factory, but that's energy tube factory. Which I think we also need. Alright, well let's go malcontent and crush our way to the goods first. I think I ended up giving Jake an in-progress build. Uh, oh, oh, come on. We're meant to be over on uh, malcontent. There we go. Well, there was a sector here once. It's kind of gone now already. Love how this ship just keeps flying upside down. Looking forward to have on all those extremely long range rail guns as well. Nice upside downy fly. Well, actually, are you flying upside down? I lost to explain what you're doing. Oh, they're the high pressure tubes that I'm after. Better make note of the things that I grab as I grab them. So I'm, I'm uh, really at this point looking to grab ooh, legendaries. Ah, legendary R salvaging laser in a level that I don't need it. Come to me, goodies. Get into my magnificent cargo bay. I'm looking to get enough to make a blueprint of each of the weapons that I want. And uh, at least then I'll secure the blueprints, and then I will make as many as I need whenever I need. But I want to make the blueprints so that I can keep re-randomizing. Uh, re because otherwise I will lose the awesome ones that I rolled. And maybe someday I roll better. And then I'm glad I only made one and blueprinted it rather than making 50 of one. Point is, I'm going to need a lot of goods where I'm going. Good thing, I've, good thing I'm not wasting all that money on the... Where is it now? Yeah, good thing I'm not wasting hundreds of millions on the accelerator factory. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Gosh, all of that, and I actually missed the servos factory, the whole reason that I'm here. Where is it hiding? Making me wish I actually had that 60 kilometer range rocket launcher right now. With guided rockets, I'm looking forward to it already. Didn't even notice that container field, didn't have to notice it. Go my bolters, remove that. <laughs> Not a target rich enough environment. 1724 servos, certainly a great start. So I'm gonna tick off some of these things. We absolutely have servos, so tick and slash. I wrote that down a few times, so tick and slash, tick and slash. Um, I needed copper for something, didn't I? Yeah, copper for the pulse guns. We stole a thousands of that, that's great. Energy cells, I doubt were needed for anything. Energy tubes, though, I'm sure those were needed. Oh, energy cells were needed. Ah, of course, of course. Uh, energy cells are used in energy weapons. All right, tick and strike. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. High pressure tubes, 1300 of them. That should be good for what we need. Those are needed on rocket launchers, tick through. High pressure tubes also needed for rail guns, strike through and tick. Um, servos we knew about. Steel, 3000 steel, great. Strike through, tick, strike through, tick. Got everything needs steel. Am I really playing Factorio here? All right, now we still got plenty of space. So next up was some kind of electro thingamajigger, right? Look at all those electromagnets. Give them to me, pretty please. That's a three jump job. I'm not waiting three jumps. Just magic your way over there. Pew. Sometimes you get there before you even leave if you manage to get the update tick just right. Explorer's doing God's work, and look at that. They made it in, in mere seconds. <laughs> the Persecutor wants me. I did say I wanted to kill the, pers uh, the Persecutor, but it already ran away in time. Okay. Oh, of course, turret factories are also going to have the goods that I want. Who in the world is the Syndicate of Shistik? Oh, oh god. I've actually just gone over to another group here, I think. I th yeah, okay. Well, these guys didn't like me either, so I'm still taking their stuff. And they have sent me a warm welcome. Here is to profitable business. You know, I couldn't agree more. Let's make my business profitable. It's a lot of red. Well, I made quite a few enemies, and I don't know why. I've been on my best behavior. Ah, man, a total disintegration of their empire. Conductors, steel, gauss rails there. Excellent, we know that we need gauss rails. I don't know how many. I wasn't paying attention to the number needed. Does my listing here mention gauss rails? Gauss rails are needed in potentially very high qual uh, quantity, like 20 odd or so. But I'm sure I picked up quite a few, and I'm only looking to make the uh, the base amount here. Cargo, stolen gauss rail, 255. That should be enough. I'm gonna stri uh, strike off gauss rail. Strike off gauss rail for railgun. Very good. Let's go and get those electrodes. Oh, oh well, no, I'm not going to pass by on a trading... Oh, not just a trading, a turret supply factory. That could well have some supplies needed to make turrets. I look away for an hour, the beer belly is back. It was necessary, we've got guns to make, I need these stolen goods. Besides, this ship is much better able to accommodate a beer belly, it's barely impacting on my maneuverability. Holy smokes, that was a lot of good stuff there. Okay, this is what I should really be targeting. Holy moly, that was some good turret stuff. Uh, let's run. We've got electromag uh, electromagnetic charges. Bang. And electromagnets. Big bang. Uh, I believe I got copper. Strike that one off. Targeting systems. I'm sure I saw those come in. Targeting card. Is that the same as targeting system? Were those different things? Targeting system is what it says here, and these are targeting cards. I should double check on that one. Um, did I steal any rockets? I did, I stole hundreds of rockets. Great, strike through. Did I get any explosive charges? Plenty of explosive charges, tick, strike through. How about wires? I grabbed some of those, tick, strike through. Steel tubes, I'm looking right at them. Tick and strike through. Ammo, small variety. Ammunition, no, I've got medium but not small. Unless it's called small ammo, but I doubt it. Okay, so I need to grab some S ammo. Uh, laser related items, we grabbed laser compressor, yes. 
laser heads. That's not what I need. High capacity lasers. Laser. Oh, laser heads is on the list. High capacity lasers. Uh, lenses. Yes. Laser modulators. Yes. Oh my gosh. Why would anyone do anything other than just steal what they need? It's all there to be taken. Do we get any crystals? Surprisingly, yes. The only thing I think I still need are targeting systems and small ammo. I know where I can get small ammo. I'm still going to ravage the rest of the sector, right? I mean, Jenks came all this way. Let's grab our goods. Patrician man needs a beer belly at this rate. <laughs> what would he be holding? Couldn't be a beer, surely. Although beer is a producible good in this game. And I was looking for a way to use up more of my water. I wonder how my other captains feel about this. They're kind of following along watching this horrific amount of war crimes going on. And it is a war crime because we're at war. Many times people accuse me of war crimes in the channel and I, my rebuke is, well, I'm not at war. But uh, we are quite literally at war right now. It's not even just us being renegade, we have our own faction. Plop, 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 plop. Get looted, get looted. There's still some loot floating around there. It can be hard to tell because I no longer collect scrap. So scrap can be left floating around and I'm left wondering, ooh, is that, are those goods I didn't hoover up? Targeting systems and ammo S. Ammo S I know where to get. Targeting systems I do not. I'm going to have to consult the map on that one. Maybe there's a targeting system creating factory that I've never heard of. Let's get within murder range of this thing and then check the map. Right. Target. Oh, what's this? Targeting system factory. Is that different from a targeting card manufactory? Targeting system. Targeting system. Targeting system. Turret, turret, Tesla, underground. Where's the target in this? I don't know why this is coming up. Oh, there's a targeting system factory, and I'm just not. Wait a second, targeting system? Targeting system, and it's called a targeting system. Hmm, you'd almost think that that's exactly what I need. Sounds too good to be true, though. All right, let's grab those goodies and go over to this targeting system extravaganza. And that's what I want also. There's a military outpost here. And that is downright decadent, because that's going to have ammunition. So we're going to grab this, and we're going to legitimize our goods, and then we're going to make all of these weapons. Who likes to roll gacha live on stream? This guy does, apparently. I'm a little concerned about my factory not selling those goods, though. I might have made the price a little high. Which is unfortunate, because the price that you set it at is also the price that they buy extras at. But it's hard to deny that it is sitting there with all these unsold accelerators. That said, I'm pretty sure the amount of accelerators went down quite a lot. And we have now stocked loads of other items, so it should stop having large expenses. Well, it still needs fusion generators, doesn't it? Give it time, it will definitely balance out. After all, it's got space in its um, inventory for about 50,000 of those things. Gosh, you know, I genuinely thought I'd be taking a lot longer to cross all these items off my list, but I think we've done it in three jumps. All right, my friends, no holds back. It's a target-rich environment.
Tactical Assault Pyramid showing its bottom side at the enemy. Oh, no, it's turned around just enough. They're trying to lock me in here, but I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Come on, give him a proper broadside. Shouldn't worry too much about them not making the uh, the greatest shots that they can, but it does tell me that I want more uh, I want more turret slots on Malcontent if it's the one that's doing most of the killing. Damn AIs can't be trusted. Okay, targeting system factory. You better actually have targeting systems. Those are what I need. My rail guns and my. Hmm. Why is targeting system not my rocket launcher list of needs? I thought they were. Also, that was targeting cards. Ah, there's targeting systems. I just saw about 130 odd of them being stolen. I think I at one point said that my career as a privateer was going to come to an end after I set up industry. Good to know that the truth is still as malleable as ever. I hope that explosion that I'm hearing isn't the uh, the tactical assault pyramid doing what it does best. Ah, there we go. So it is making the kills. We're just not always looking at it. And if we ever see cooldown on the cannons, that's a good sign that they have actually been firing. Yeah, see, there they go. There's a lot of, uh... Yeah, okay, okay. Are you gonna try your luck at shooting that? The military outpost from here? No, no, no. He's, he's eyeing up for shooting the, the bloody pyramid. Oh, man. This is why I wanted other people's ships involved in here. You know, I, I, have, I have great fun manning the ships that I've grabbed off the workshop. But there's no way I want a generic workshop slop as my entourage here. We're taking only the finest artisanal ships. This is so picturesque. How are you doing, Sobek? Real guns all over the place. Kind of dancing around, though. I do wonder why you don't make your shots very often, though. Probably is a bit of a range issue. Once I have a uniform mount of real guns on them, they should be far better at picking their targets. Don't worry, Sun Chaser. I'm sure it's only you that's noticing things like that. Most people just going, ooh, nice, nice big ship, big bangy guns. Boy, there's going to be a lot of goods to be selling off here. And I got to remember, I want to actually make a bunch more merchant ships. So I can offload my goods and get more uh, Rift research data. But that requires me not killing things for a little bit and actually working on economical related goals. Which does sound bizarre, doesn't it? An economy in my perfect Hansa.
Is that me shooting? Ah, resource depot. Well, sure. I'm not satisfied with only partial destruction. Uh, go into the turret design mode and scale the whole thing up. I'm quite certain I already scaled them up as much as they could go. I think they limit themselves to about 10 or so for size. I could be wrong though. Uh, why be wrong when I can be sure? I look at these and yeah, actually I think that can go bigger. Uh, but there we go, only to only to turret size 8 it seems, hmm. And I'm not... did that actually get much larger? I'm unsure. It's hard to tell because it defaults the view. Did they actually get bigger? Actually I do think that got bigger. What about this one? Why does it seem kind of out of place compared to the others? All right, all right. Not so sure I... Actually, those ones I already scaled up. I even remember doing that because otherwise the uh, the turrets wouldn't fit. Looks are important now, so I don't mind taking the time to do this. Oh boy, this is a big one. Still unsure if that's actually scaling. Let me look at this. It's kind of coming out to not quite the edge. And then ups the daisies. And then it's still kind of coming out not quite to the edge. What if I were to put the gun back down? So you're the elite quadra cannon. Gonna get rid of you and put back down the quadra cannon. Still the same size, isn't it though? Jake, chat poke, see above. Same button in turret design as the ship scales out of it. Same button in turret design as to scale the... Uh, edit turret body? No. Barrel? No. Same button in turret design as to scale ships. You've lost me. Well, whatever. I'm sure I can figure that out between streams. Ah, uh, nothing new there, Ali. Gotta say, I'm actually quite impressed with my vision. I thought there'd be more horrible downsides to getting laser eye surgery. Maybe maybe give it a few more years, then I'll be properly blind. It was there, but Paku says, giving me a pat on the back and saying, don't worry, Jake, I didn't see it either. It's all right, I don't worry. I'll make others worry. That way I still generate worry, I just don't have to suffer for it. Okay, I'm noticing a uh, slight difficulty in redirecting my velocity with my giant beer belly. But I'm also noticing a slight problem for my enemies, because my beer belly is being utterly filled with their stolen goods. Scaling the button, uh, scaling the model is the button on the left, the one that you use to scale up ships. That sounds sensible. So if I click here, I assume I click back on this thing, and then I... Oh, modified turret part? Is that... is that right? Am I imagining that that looks proper? I think that only modified the base. Scale whole turret, top left. Is 
Scale hole turret. Oh, oh god, that's a check box. Ah. And I've gone and buggered that up by doing the bottom and the top, but that's okay, because I can only scale the base, bring it down to 50%, apply it, and then, see, did not even notice that, because what is dark grey on dark grey? Uh, okay, what size are we looking at here? 160? That look a bit more sensible? Kind of clips into the other bit of it. I might uh, bring that down a touch. Oh, there we go. That looks a whole lot better. Like it's actually meant to be there. Alright, won't take two ticks. Modify, entire thing, 150%. Womp! There you go, and yeah, the barrels will clip in some directions. Not my problem. It'd be fine if it didn't keep resetting my view here. Scale, turret, Bart, 150%. I guess that means these little turrets I should also upgrade, huh? I'm not going to do that right now. I will try to remember to do it between streams. Give me something to do while the game is idling in the background. But the big guns, the big guns should be big boom big boom guns. Apparently I didn't like that. 140. There we go. All the while my foes are sitting there trembling in their little booties, wondering when I will stop doing this and put them out of their little misery. There we go. Do you feel less emasculated now? The bigger the gun, the better you feel. Let me get an idea for how these things should look while I'm at it, actually. Kind of looks like I could make them twice the size, but I doubt it's that simple. Oh, wait, did I just make it a lot smaller? Why is it inversely uh, scaling? Why is it only getting smaller? What have I done? <laughs> what happened to it? I have no idea what I did to that little baby gun, but I did it. Meanwhile, though, now you can feel better about... Oh, well, it's already deleted its target. Malcontent. Back to work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I scaled that up, and then I looked again, and it became tiny. This targeting system factories must not be spared. I don't know what a research station drops, though. Well, let's find out together. I am already salivating at the thought of having my glorious rocket launchers. They'd already have this thing destroyed by the time I get close to it. These bolters are insane. But I found better bolters, didn't I? Yeah, twice as good actually. These bolters were already immense, and I found ones that are twice as powerful. It's almost insane to think about. Can I have a look at that incredible bolter? How do I... Uh, how do I actually compare you? Do I drag you here? Use E. Ah, there we go. Holy macaroni. The big advantage that the smaller gunners have, aside from being smaller and able to have more of them, is that they track faster. So when they want to select a new target, they're actually going to do it considerably faster than the ones on the right. But when it comes to shooting, my gosh, 
Not only that, but the ones on the right dissipate a lot faster. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pretty much double the shield DPS, double the everything DPS. And that's per slot. Oh man. Even more accurate and faster. Slight loss on range, but I think we can accept that. I can accept that. Is this going to have issues like the train game where you get close to 100%? I don't know. It's possible. If anything's going to kill this game, it's the 100% map unveiling. The game already has intense problems when I... Uh, hold on, let me, let me give an example here. Let's say I want to find where an equipment dock is. I press E, and then it highlights every province in the map because everything has something beginning with E. Asteroid. Wait, is there an E in asteroid? Yeah, asteroids, wrecks, equipment docks, turret factories, and it's highlighting every single one of them, and it just makes the game crawl. So I have to work around that. And my workaround currently is put in a comma, and then put in equipment dock, or equipment for equipment dock, then delete the comma. Hoop. So yeah, it's possible that could kill the game and I, I'm no longer allowed to use that search button, which would amuse me greatly. Have you tried keeping the station names of notes in your choice and then Control c Control Ving it? This game even do Control c Control v Let me Control c water and then I go to the galaxy map. Can I paste water? No, oh, I can paste water. The problem is deleting water, because uh, if I delete it only partially and then we still stay with a W or an A, it's still gonna do horrible things and you can't go Control A select all and then delete. Such things are beyond this game, sadly. It's an easy fix. They should limit the characters till three have been entered, but what if I want to look for something that I just want a single letter for? Something I can conveniently do is I can just put in Q and that's going to show me all the equipment docks unless uh, you know there's a faction with Q in the name or a province with Q in the name but generally speaking that's a good way to find an equipment dock. Except for the galactic army of the coop days. Oh jeez. Can't win can I? This game is magnificent I'd say about 80% of all my problems with this game are UX related. This game needs a brilliant and dedicated UX designer. And programmer. Preferably they can do both. Needs that kind of factorial magic. There we go. Look at the difference between evaporating shields and evaporating the station. That's why I'm going to be replacing the bolters on this ship with pulse guns antimatter pulse guns on top of that. They probably won't have the same punch as the bolters do, but they will ignore shields. That said though, just the elimination like that feels so good. Mm. Hey, there's some stolen water with a W. Uh, I got those targeting systems, right? Stolen t -t 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 targeting systems. Looks like 614 targeting systems to me. Tick, strike through. And the last thing was ammo S. I'm pretty sure I destroyed that from the uh, military outpost. Up to the top for ammunition. Ammunition S, 5,000 of. Well, that is just fan dabby doozy dozy. So what I do is get rid of that. I need to unbrand it all at a smuggler den and go figure I blew up the smuggler den over here. So we t we need to find a smuggler den but I dare not type in S because this would happen. <gasps> oh, game is not happy. Type in M-U-G, wait for five seconds for it to update and now I can find a smuggler dock. I can also order my uh, busy working explorers to continue doing one of our tasks, which was finish charting out the Avorion region. We're almost done. Almost done. One, two, three. One, two, three, and done. Feed me your sector. 
I might have a lot more stuff for you to sell, but for now I want you to procure. Ugh, it would be so nice if it could remember the last order. Um, Rift research data, get me another 4,000 of it. I would like 40,000, but that would take too long. I'm just grabbing it 4,000 at a time. It minimizes ambush risk and it doesn't take eye-wateringly long. Um, mm, hmm, you know what, for now, just grab me 2,000, please. Have an idea. I might see how much I can jack him up with an escort to get uh, more out of that. Right, any smugglers here that don't hate my guts? How about you? Someone's after me? Do you think this is a game? I don't think I care. Goodbye. Now the game just needs an alarm sign to play when it slows down. <laughs> That's what Railway Empire did and it was infuriating. Just when everything was coming together, this mysterious alarm sound plays and the game just crashes. Ah, uh, disheartening. All right, let's do the vast unbranding. How much is this going to cost? I'm guessing a hundred million. It's cost me eighteen, nineteen, twenty-five, thirty-two, thirty-eight, forty million. Don't worry, in the end this will somewhat be profitable, maybe. 60 million. Don't kill anyone here. They won't like me for doing that. Because it's it's just a cargo hauler. Oh god, I almost killed it. Tools, transformers, turbines, vehicles, war robots, warheads, wire. Da, 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 da. And now that we have all of that, we are going home. Shipyard, turret factory, my home right here. Four minute jump. <laughs> Cranky, that poor cargo hauler. <laughs> it's only got 8% of its hull left. I just auto shot it with a railgun. Now that would have been a problem because uh, if I'd blown that up, the smugglers would have been very unhappy with me blowing up their customers. Generally speaking, Factions don't like you blowing up civilian crafts. It's not usually a problem. When you're in a war zone, it becomes a hazard zone, so civilian crafts don't appear. Pirates don't have civilian craft, but if you're, uh, if you're in a situation like this, where you're in a neutral party close to the enemy, turn off the auto guns. Does the game save? The game auto saves constantly. Kind of surprising how well it saves, given that it's about a two gigabyte file that it's writing so frequently. Maybe it doesn't write everything. Maybe it's clever and it updates uh, sector information, ship information, player information, without deciding that it needs to update every single file in the game. Which would be an impressive bit of optimization. In a way, I don't expect that to be the case, but you got to remember, this is a game that they trimmed down to be about 600 megabytes in size. So, surely somebody working on this game cares about optimization. Can't you share the spoils with them? Um, maybe. They buy acid, ammunition, copper, cells, materials. I, mean, I could sell them goods, but uh, I will set up a merchant to sell all these stolen goods for me. There we go, get Smuggler off the list. Alright, it's looking good. I feel satisfied enough in... ...claiming that I've done this. I'd feel even more satisfied if I could actually use the controls on this busted UX. That would mean file editing in real time, which is quite nice. Well, I don't know how it works. It's just that given that my save file is over two gigabytes large, the multiplayer save game is eight gigabytes in size, and it's not like we're sitting and just waiting for it to write constantly. I do think there is an, uh, a level of that going on. That or 
Well, I'm not exactly doing this on a hard drive. What are those latest versions of um, storage called? After SSD, we got these little chip things that we just slide right into the motherboards. I can't remember what they're called. S2s, I think? I got one of those in my uh, recent PC upgrade. And I've got to say, I haven't noticed any difference in performance, but it makes no noise. I was getting really tired of my hard drive spinning up constantly, and I couldn't find a way to stop Windows from caching everything. So I took out all of my hard drives, and they, they just sit in a drawer now. I grab them when I need to do manual backups or whatnot. And my PC is quiet as a mouse, even the graphics cards, the, the fans, everything on it. Silent as can be, and hopefully you notice that it's nice and silent as well. Because I've turned off my noise suppression, because I was getting tired of that cutting me out a lot. The S sounds, the P sounds, the guttural noises that flow freely from a Scotsman's throat. Too much oppression. I've been impressed far too long to also have my microphone do the same. Right, all that babbling has gotten me over here. Now it's time to offload the goods into here. I hope it has a big enough cargo bay. For 148,000? We'll see about that. M2? That's two years old Apple tech. There's M3 now. Oh, damn. Time for another upgrade. Time for streams to be wobbly for another month or so. You get away from me. I will not... I will not be called the one that uh, damaged you. You are huge. I don't know anything. Okay, well. At least you know you know nothing. Transfer in this horrible interface. Uh, which of these things did I need again? You need... It's not even alphabetically ordered. Right. Steel, yes. Electromagnets, yes. Conductors, no. I don't think so. He checks his own list that he didn't write in alphabetical order. Adhesive, no. Aluminium, yes. Ammunition, no. Ammunition, S, yes. Anti-grab generators, no. Body armors, carbon, chemicals, computer mainframes, corn. Yeah, corn-fired gun. This isn't Monster Hunter. Crystals, yes. Drills, drones, electrocharges, yes. Electro-accelerators, hmm? oh, cool, accelerators. Energy cells, yes. Energy containers, I don't think so. Energy tubes, I don't recall any energy tubes, just other kinds of tubes. Explosive charges, yes. Food bars, no. Force generators, no. Fruits, fuel, fuel, yes, actually. Fuel was needed for, uh, I swear I needed fuel for something. Guess not. I was certain I needed fuel for, uh, for the rocket things, but maybe not. Gauss rails, yes. Glass, no. Gold, no. Guns, no. High capacity lenses, yes. High pressure tubes, yes. Industrial Tesla coils, no. Laser compressors, yes. Laser heads, yes. Laser modulators, yes. Medical supplies, no. Metal plates, microchips. Military tentacles, neutron accelerators, nitrogen, oxygen, plasma cells. I swear I wrote plasma here. Um, no, but you're getting it anyway, because I feel like plasma cells were needed for something at some point. Take it anyway. Plastic, no. Power units? I don't think so. Not seeing power units here. Uh, processors, rockets, yes. That might have been what I thought about instead of fuel. Satellites, semis, servos, silver, solar cells, solar panels, steel tubes. Steel tubes, yes. Targeting cards, no. Targeting systems, yes. This game has far too many goods. Oh, man. Turbines, I don't think so. Vehicles, war robots, war heads. Were war heads needed? Uh, no, warheads are part of rockets, and rockets were needed. Uh, water, wires, wires, yes. Zinc and fuel. Alright, so we should have everything we need. Now we can get to work. Build me those turrets. What in God's name was I trying to build again? I have forgotten. Was it this rapid ruiner rocket launcher? Somebody who has a brain, please remember for me, because my brain, no worky work. 
Was it this rapid ruiner? The bursting quadra shooter TPX. Really? I thought we. I, I already made the blueprint for that of that, I'm quite certain. Look at that, Burst and Quadra Suture TPX. In that case, why is it still showing here? I thought I made that blueprint and then re randomized for something else. Possibly the Rapid Ruiner. Yeah, I was looking at a really impressive rocket launcher, but I don't think this was it. The one I was looking at had a range of 60. Oh, would you look at that? Maybe it was you. Yeah, I think it was this. Uh, look at that. My main problem is that it's size 5, which I'm not the world's biggest fan of. Also, I do need fuel, and I do need targeting cards. Why did I have targeting systems written down? Thank goodness. I got both of those. Give me your fuel. Give me your targeting cards. Huh. Guess you can't read everything. Uh, you can't believe everything you read online. Targeting, yes. Maximize everything else. Except for servos, which I actually want to lower to this, so it can fire continuously. Yeah, 153 shots at 1.6 shots per second. I might upgrade that. Mm, it's actually quite a, sh a slow projectile, so firing for longer might be better. The dissipation time is very high as well. You know what, I will, I will build you. I will absolutely build you, despite the manufacturing cost being abusively high. And then we're going to turn you into a blueprint so we can make you whenever. And then we're going to get back to re-rolling. So rockets, yes. Bolters, yes. Are we sure we didn't already make that rocket launcher? Now I'm, now I'm second-guessing myself. Now we've got the two blueprints here. How's the Alliance vault looking? And how's that factory of ours looking? <laughs> It'll stop losing money eventually. Ingredients are missing, they say. Nah, it's constantly running. It's uh, It'll make the money. Don't worry about it. I'm not worrying about it. I was uh, prepared for it to cost a lot of money uh, in order to get that factory operational, even after building it. Look at that, it's actually spent an additional 1.2 billion on ingredients. Scary. Very scary. But it'll make many billions in its wake. Of that I am certain. Which is good, because 100 billion is the target, isn't it? Right, never mind that. Let's get back to Gacha. I need a cannon, railgun, uh, pulse gun, and point defense. And I don't care about the point defense, so let's get rolling. DPS per slot. Go. You press the button, but you only had one mil left after the insane upgrades. Huh? Okay, sure. You press the button, but you only... Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about, Ali. Are you saying that the blueprint that I made was wrong? Oh, it's not showing here now, but you've made me all paranoid-like. That looks pretty good to me. It's got the range. It's got the fire. It's got everything that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm sure I'm fine. Let's get back to re-rolling then. Get our gacha hit. Oh, would you look at that? A coaxial rocket launcher. <laughs> With scary DPS. And uh, even better range if I boosted it up, I would dare to say. Actually, no, not better. That's funny. The range looks incredible. Scary stuff. Right, stinger, gun, dual scorcher, another amazing bolter. Plenty of amazing bolters to be had. Hmm. 
Coaxial artillery cannon. Say no to coaxials. Gatling gun with electrical damage. An enduring double rocket launcher. Ooh, it's only size 2. But it's not quite as good as what we had. So, actually, what was... What was the one that we ended up having? I wanted to double check its DPS. DPS per slot, about 2,000. That's fine. I would like more DPS per slot, but you make up for that with range. Honestly, just a couple of those is going to make a great job on leveling things inside a sector. Err, 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 err. Back to this. Electric minigun, enduring rocket launcher, yeah, nah. If you ain't up at the top here, I'm not going to be interested in you. Yet another ridiculously fat. Holy moly. It's a one slaughter. It's got damage to hull, damage, accuracy, fire rate. The only thing it doesn't really have is range. Yeah, I'm not really sure I want a nine kilometer range on that, but sweet. Mother of mercy. 3k DPS on that thing. How does that compare to... Whole DPS per slot of 11,000? No, I think the one that I made is slightly better than that. I'm just constantly blown away by how good these bolters can be. I want one of these, but with... Um, but with antimatter damage. There's a rail gun. Doesn't quite have the damage that I'm looking for though. Coaxial means no. It's alright, we can keep rolling. It's only a million dollars pissed away every time we do. Stop looking at the bolters, but they're so good. <laughs> Especially size one bolters. A lot of, a lot of those you can strap onto your ship. A long-range double rail gun. L nice as it looks, its uh, effective DPS is actually surprisingly low. I'd want considerably better than that. But how much better does it get with boosts? You can boost up the range, boost up the damage. Looks like the damage goes up by 50% when you add in the goodies to it. So that's worth keeping in mind. Another amazing bolter. Hello, cannon. Unfortunately, very slow and surprisingly low DPS. Can shoot a lot before overheating and has amazing range, good velocity. But that kind of DPS isn't good enough. I'm really looking for something that can do about 2k DPS. So uh, about 1500 DPS base. But this already has 52% damage. How much more could you reasonably get out of a cannon? Are there any type things that, that cannons can have? It's anti-fighter cannon. Physical, physical, physical. That's what I'm looking for with the antimatter ionized, but don't have that in a good enough DPS currently. Maybe this is better than I think it is. It's hard to tell. Adding more servos, its dissipation time is far too long though. Uh, I could reduce its fire rate considerably, but it's still a size 6 weapon that's going to be very slow. I don't know, we'll keep this as a baseline. So we found a decent legendary one that's about 1k base DPS. Per slot that is, that's how I count them. Who knows, maybe we'll just never see anything that good again. That one's already a lot lower. That's ionized, but it's physical. Can't tempt me with that. Coaxial, lightning, triple cannon. Yeah, I'm actually having a hard time finding cannons that reach the 1k DPS. That one's no good either. Triple pulsar, ionized, but not hull, uh, not the other thing. Um, antimatter. Again, that's physical. Boy, that would be good if that were antimatter. 
but it's not. Gosh, rolling gacha on stream, how the uh, turns have tabled for me. Good thing we've got the industry to uh, manage this for us. That's ionized antimatter with enormous uh, DPS per slot, size 3. Boosted range, boosted damage, 207 damage to hull. This, although it's the fourth on the list, this could be what we're looking for. It has 99.7% shield penetration. It doesn't do quite as much damage as bolters, but it doesn't get slowed down by shield, and that is already really good. The dissipation time is unfortunate, but it does a ton of shots. Five. I'm actually going to lower the fire rate so that it doesn't overheat. I'm going to lower it to this, so it can fire 100 seconds. Realistically, it's going to fire for 35 seconds until it overheats because of my Commodore. But that is okay. And then if we add some steel tubes to boost its range to 20 kilometers and then give it extra ammunition, we are looking at an effective hull DPS of 3,500. No shields to speak of. Tracking speed is acceptable. Uh, why do I need copper? I don't think I don't think I handed over my copper. Whoopsie doodle. That's silver. That's platinum. That's gold. That's copper. Sorted. This is like Diablo but in space, and you're going out X characters instead of just one. I've never played this game. Uh, to to draw this. With the uh, oh Christ, is cannon still here? Get that off the list. Thinking about it, it's pretty far down the list. I bet I could get an even better version of this. But you know what? I'm pretty damn happy with it as it is. So again, let's just drop the fire rate to four per second. Boost these other things as high as they go and absolutely make ourselves this thing. Mm. Gosh, that is nice. Dissipation, so it needs to chill out for six seconds, and it is a three slaughter, but the damage that that thing's gonna be pumping out and ignoring almost all shields, I gotta say, heck yes. And then immediately turn it into a blueprint so we can make it whenever. So with that, I'm pretty satisfied with the Shield penetration projectiles that we have. Now I'm looking for cannons and railguns. Cannons and railguns. Although if I find an even better version of this, then all the better. So if I can find a... More than... 2500 DPS per slot. Effective DPS per slot pulse cannon, I'd consider that over what we just grabbed. Mmm, mm, god, look at that range. Why is the range so much worse when I see it here, though? Look at that, it says 27 kilometers, and over here it says 54 kilometers. Something ain't right. Well, those targeting cards won't make it target anymore. Uh, cooldown time. Decent fire rate. Very decent DPS, honestly. Coaxial, huh? Hmm. Very tempting. Now, this is the broad side of the battleship. Yeah, the AI captains wouldn't be able to use it very well. I'm not a big fan of coaxials that can't be because uh, it can't be automated and firing particularly well. Another ridiculously powerful bolter. But we already have a ridiculously powerful bolter. I'm looking for a cannon or a railgun that are actually going to wow me up here. That's a hell of an annihilator. Look at that 2k DPS per slot on this thing, but coaxial is a deal breaker. I need to be able to aim the thing. 
Our Demolisher, Legendary, our Salvager. Yeah, man, some of these... Wait, 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 what? My eye is deceiving me. Look at that, 9,000. Okay, that's pretty much as good as what we had before. I gotta stop being wowed by every bolter I see. But bolters are pretty wow level. It's okay, we have enough people around that will take care of these pirates. Surely. Finding it really hard to find a 1k or above DPS um, on either a cannon or a railgun. And here I am gatching all my money away. Good lord. Is that even better than what I just had? Look at the DPS on this thing. Not to mention it can really fire for a long, long time before overheating at a reasonable fire rate two and a half times. What am I looking at here? We're looking at uh, 3,700 effective DPS, 60 kilometer range, guided. 3,700 DPS per slot. What do we currently have? That is so much better than the Rapid Ruiner that I just made. 1,900 effective DPS per slot versus 37. Is there any downside that I'm missing out on here? Good range, loads of shooting, fire rate, damage boost. I got scammed making a blueprint of the other one, I think. Let's lower it so it can shoot constantly for a minute. What's the downside of this thing? It looks so good. I right, definitely, definitely making that. I don't care that it costs a hundred million. Or even more to make a blueprint out of. Alright, let's keep the gacha going because I'm still on the hunt for railguns and cannons. I know, I know, it's very exciting. Well, the thought of putting them to use, that's exciting me. Rapid Annihilator. I mean, you've almost got the thousand, but part of me wants to be really greedy and try and get a, an exceptionally good railgun, but it seems very hard to find them. They, they never reach the top of the DPS list. Same with the cannons. Railguns and cannons both letting me down here. But I was told railguns for one of them, nothing but railguns in fact, and cannons for the battleship. So here we go again, 33 kilometer range. What does 33 go up to with an appropriate amount of boosting? 42, 52, that seems about right. But I would just love to find one that just has crazy DPS. The thing is they don't seem to have plus damage on them, do they? Range, fire rate, accuracy, shooting until overheated. Where's the plus damage modifier? Surely you get one. See, this one gets plus damage. This one gets plus damage. They're tiny, but the dream is that I high roll one of these that gives something crazy like plus 50% damage. Coaxials, coaxials. Say no to coaxials. The over Teslas, huh? Raw DPS. Hello. This is actually quite interesting. The dual anti-rail gun with uh, 1,300 effective DPS. 
Two, oh my god, it's an antimatter railgun. Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Because it's size two, we can have a lot of them. And I think its tracking speed is better than a lot of other railguns you'll see. Not only that, but there's there's even a very nice cannon here. But hang on, hang on. Railgun first. Anti-railgun, our beloved. You don't need any more or any fewer servos. I can have you fire every second. There'll be a lot of them firing every second. Might actually up it because your your dissipation isn't that bad. Pew 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 pew. I don't like the cooldown, but it might be better just have you do lots of your shots while the going is good. It is instant after all. It's almost completely accurate too. How much can we boost that range? Twenty-four kilometers. 30 kilometers is okay. I'd be happier with longer. But that is a nice weapon. Too nice to pass up. I'll continue looking for other ones, but the fact that it's size 2 makes it amazing. And the, ma the fact that it is also antimatter is quite amazing. If the enemy has no shields, the effective DPS goes up by a lot. Hmm. Absolutely building that. We we are just piddling our money away. How about this thing though? It uh, is definitely something that I want to fire relatively slowly so it can get lots of shots in. But if I cram it full of warheads, give it the high pressure tubes and explosive charges. We're looking at another antimatter weapon that does very nice damage to hull, good range, accuracy. It just needs a base damage increase, and this is a go to. Why do I have no warheads? I thought I grabbed warheads. Alright, transfer over me all those warheads, please. I'm sure I picked some up. I'm sure I picked some up. There we go. Uh, how high did I want this again? This is the right thing, isn't it? Yeah, it looks about right. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. 0 0.75 fire rate. Slamming all the warheads, all the high pressure tubes, all the explosive charges. That's pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'm definitely having me one of these. Now, I'm still wanting to see if we can get a better railgun or artillery cannon, but I think we'll be hard pressed to beat those. Still worth a check though, right? I mean, dream big. Looking for something that can somehow have even better DPS. Some of these numbers are ridiculous. I shouldn't be looking at this, but look at that bolter. Mm. No, spare yourself, Jake. Look away. You've already got the bolter. You don't need another bolter. You've got bolters at home. But look at that, though. Antimatter rockets. Was that ever on the cards? Antimatter seeking rockets. Hmm. Ah, look away, look away. It's cannons and railguns. Sadly, I can't filter it to only show me cannons and railguns. I could do one or the other, but not both.
The thing is, if I'd gotten the same railgun that, that I saw before, but it also had a boost to damage as well, it would have been phenomenal. Yeah, defense turrets, they're less of a big deal, because honestly, who needs amazing defense turrets? I'll just find whatever looks good. And I could be searching for them while I do this, and maybe I should, but my, my brain can only focus on a certain number of things at once. Sometimes it's even one. <laughs> coaxials get big damage boosts, so don't be led astray by the coaxial numbers, even when they are really nice. <laughs> it's finding all that antimatter stuff got me rather excited. Got to remember, some of the enemies are resistant to antimatter, 100% resistant, so hopefully those shield penetrating weapons can have their way with them. Otherwise, they're just going to keep saying immune, immune, immune to me. Yeah, even that amazing cannon there is, doesn't hold a candle to what we've just rolled already. Mm hmm. Stellar Ruiner. Something's going to get ruined when I have all these weapons. <laughs> Double Ruiner. That, uh, it is pretty ruining, though. It's got a big damage boost as well. What was the effect of DPS per slot of my uh, other rockets? This one's 2,600. Three thousand seven hundred got you there. I knew my stuff. All right, how many rolls are we going to do before we give it up? I'm going to give it 13 more rolls. One. Mm hmm. Two. Oh, I wish. I still wish. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> Look at those stats. <laughs> If only it weren't coaxial. Eight. Nine. Hello. Hello. Quadra Anti Destructor Cannon TX Base Raw DPS. Already really high. Fires four shots. A little less accurate, very fast, good range. Long dissipation, but we could have that not be... Oh, fire rate extremely low. That, I suppose, is one of the problems with you. Can only fire three times before it needs to dissipate for 13 seconds or so, but the damage it does... If we lowered its fire rate considerably, the thing could fire for 42 seconds. Although it's only firing once every five, uh, six seconds. Big weapon, big damage. Huge damage. 3,000 DPS antimatter. 3,000 on the cannon. What's our existing cannon? 2,000. But this one fires a whole lot more often. Still has a long dissipation time. But I think the other one is better. Hard to argue with 50% uh, more DPS. Plus a cannon is a device that you shouldn't have to fire all that often. I will take it. And I lost count. How many times did I uh, did I do my count? Running out of money for this. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take it. 
<laughs> All right, might have to dip into the bank of Ming here. Give me another 200, one, two, three, one, two, three, 200 million to fuel my gambling habits, please. To think some entire factories have been drained just to pay for my gacha. That poor factory for accelerators, that's okay, I have a way of making that money back. And then some. Also, those poor explorers have been uh, ignored during this time. Get yourselves over here, all three of you. And all three of you. Don't know why you're so slow. We're doing pretty much the same jump. Is this a neutral zone or something? Nobody's ever attacking. Okay. Maybe it knows that well, maybe it knows what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I lost count. Let's say there were five more then. One. And I needed to go and check on you. Okay, all three of you are still working together. The uh, Avorion zone is just that dangerous. That was one. Yeah, just reflecting on how incredibly powerful that other cannon was. Two. There's a thousand for the Enduring Impaler. Not quite what we had before, though. That's coaxial, despite that ink. Oh my god, look at that thing! Effective DPS. 4500. Mm, but it's coaxial. Oh my lord! Si slot 1, 33... I'm, I'm having this. Plasma is going to rip through shields like they're not even there. I could give Baron these. Baron would be the shield remover. Range isn't amazing, but we can improve the range. Oh man, of course we don't have all the goods we need for it. Look at that thing. Range boost, damage boost, shields boost. One slot. I gotta have this. It's even very cheap. I just don't have these things. Energy inverters, conductors, power units. Maybe I do, right? The obvious thing is for you to give me all these things, right? Anyone remember what they were? Conductors, I think, were one of them. Just, just hand over every conductor there is. Uh, what else was there? Holy moly, those numbers. Um, Tesla coils, inverters, and power units. Tesla coils, inverters, and power units. I don't think it was industrial, I think it was military. Give me the industrial ones anyway. Ah, there are the military ones. Alright, energy inverters and power units. Surely I found those. Surely. Uh oh. Energy inverters, power units. No energy inverters. But there are power units. Somehow I missed those. There are the power units. We scrolled past inverters, really? Energy containers, energy tubes. I don't see energy inverters.
<coughs> Excuse me, I'm uh, clearly allergic to having great guns. Okay, well I certainly want to get my hands on that. Doesn't change the fact that I also need my defense stuff here. Defense cannon, defense cannon, defense cannon, defense cannon, defense laser. I don't know what you look for in these things though. I guess range is really good. I have no real idea what I'm looking at in terms of numbers here. Do you want pure DPS? They're all size one anyway. I really have no idea what anybody wants on these. This does extra damage and has extra range. It's just that the DPS is really low. Also, the tracking speed is nowhere near as good as this. And that needs lead. And of course, I don't think I have lead. Maybe I can reroll for point defense. It's also no big deal. Hmm. Takes in-game decades to get a few turrets built, but the greatest threat to the galaxy was wiped out in hours. <laughs> yeah, we took that thing out. Nice and lickety-spit. Okay, okay. I need those energy inverters, evidently. Well, I want them. Maybe I don't need them. Where can I find an inverter factory? Also, I think I can remove my targets here. We already ripped through them. A hostile energy inverter factory, preferably. Oh wow, energy inverters, very few in the world. Okay, but there is another way to get energy inverters, and that's to get what energy inverters are used on. Inverters. Wait, are energy inverters used in anything? Other than what I'm using it for here. I don't think anyone consumes energy inverters, huh? Kind of a shame. Well, I could just go and buy them, that's no big deal, but I'd prefer to steal them. It's more in brand for what we get up to. Okay, this is rather nice. You can do that. And you two can do this. And malcontent, you need to go to the inverter factory. This one's the closest. You'll be there in four minutes. Don't tell me there's a magical one that you're actually going to reach faster than that. Oh man, I'm so saddened that there's no, uh, no energy inverter to steal. We've stolen just about everything else we've had. Alright, four minutes. Go and get it. Pew. Meanwhile, I want to get myself away from this relatively danger zone. It'll remember the initialized values there. Gatching away his fortune! Ah, now nah, I know what I'm doing. Might just look like I'm not at times. And it's one minute until uh, Feed Me Your Sector is done procuring its goods. And that's kind of good. I have another plan for you. I'm going to help my factory along. You know, the one that's lost me 122 million credits with its 1.5 billion expenses. Oh wait, no, it's actually cost me half a billion in expenses. However, it is pretty much running fine. Not enough space for products. Oh, that's actually not fine. But that's okay, feed me your sector is going to help me out. Feed me your sector has procured yet more rift research data, which I do need. And now is going to... Where did I set up the, um, the accelerator factory? It's over there, right? Can you zippity zip over there in five minutes? I don't have five minutes. What in the world takes you so long? Definitely that 45 second cooldown thing. 
Is there a, an equipment dock here? Yeah, in fact, you are equipment docked. Uh, turns out you have way more cargo space than needed. So let's go and get you a couple of hyperspace cooldowners. And then you can get over there in one minute. Pew! Yeah, the itch was too strong, Devil. I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Too much of a burden to bear. All this to get amazing guns that, come to think of it, do I really need? Well, it's not about needing, it's about wanting. Manufacturing costs, though, are going to be through the roof. Well, that's all the more reason for this um, accelerator factory to be working hard for me. Is it actually got a full cargo, though? Ah, it doesn't look full at all to me, and it is working. It's just it's sitting on loads of accelerators that are not currently selling, possibly because of the high prices I charge for them. So I'm actually going to dip myself down to plus 5%. That should encourage more people to come along and buy my beautiful inverters. And this guy will have bought all the ones that he can, right? Yeah, we have... Well, no, not entirely stuffed and full of accelerators. He could buy more. That said, his uh, the price he wants to buy them for has shifted way down. So perhaps I don't want to keep selling them to him anymore and just sell them to others. Now, feed me your sector. I want you over here. You'll be able to help out with this. I assume. A flying USB stick. I listen to your videos while I commute and from work. These long plays are super nice. I'm also one of the people who watch the original hands of... <laughs> The blessed, brain-damaged few. There's a mad Frenchman who claims he's watched it four times and was contemplating a fifth. Alright, what I could actually do is grab all of these accelerators. Proton accelerators, neutron accelerators. Hey, you don't have one of the things that checks for prices, do you? And I didn't give you market expert. Oh, no, no, you do have the Tradesman's uh, uh, subsystem. Um, e for Electron Accelerators. Yeah, there we go, we've chilled out on the, uh, the prices for them. So if you were to try and sell them... You could grab all these and sell them for $722 million dues. Wouldn't be automated, but it would certainly give me a nice boost in the coffers, which are needed. You could also do this somewhere where the demand is much better. Can't remember where that was, though, but... Bound to be somewhere that had better demand for these things. Um, I think it was over where there was another rift area. I think down here. If I could just find somewhere that had high demand for these things, that would be amazing. Come to think of it, accelerators are used in what? Nothing, they're an end product. Okay, so of course there's not going to be high demand for them anywhere. But get over there, I'm pretty sure you could sell them for some decent dough. It'll offset some of the hundreds of millions that I've lost on that uh, investment. But like I said, it always turns around. It's just the initial cost for it loading up on those goods are very high. I'm not concerned in the slightest, is what I'm saying. What did I come here for? 
energy inverter factory. One of the few in the galaxy, that we know of at least. I'm in dire need of your energy inverters. Please don't uh, rip me off for these. I'll buy every one that you can, I think. Five watches of the perfect hands that might be actually damaging to one psyche, and I watched it and I liked it, says Orlov. Content for everyone is content for nobody. I've got no problem making extremely niche content like that. After all, I wanted to do it. Wouldn't have done it if I didn't. Okay, uh, I can buy these. That's no big deal. Okay, you want to keep making me more? That's fine, but i got to bring these back. Malcontent. Bring it home. You two, Sobek, you better join in. Sobek is definitely from Cetus. I'm also going to add a little note so I know that my turret factory is right there. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to make those. Wasn't there something else that I needed for my point defense, though? Wasn't it lead? I feel like I needed lead for some reason. I could be wrong, though. Right, feed me your stuff. If you were to go on a selling spree... Look at that. Much better returns on these. D do not sell my Rift Research data. That's very important. Uh, any better prices if you look around a bit? You say 15 there. You say 14 here. 15 here. But 7... 19 here. Get your, get your scrawny butt over here. I'll be able to sniff out even better. It's unfortunate. I have these merchants that were meant to be doing this for me, but um, actually I think I've got a better captain for you that could get me even better rates. I'll switch over to you once we have you moved. I want my billions with a B. That said, I'd rather my uh, accelerator factory could simply sell their accelerators at a fine rate. Okay, so if I wanted to sell my goods here, 25% boost, and I thought there wasn't uh, much demand for it. This is huge money. Hundreds of millions of delicious profit. And yet, for some reason, if I open... Oh, yeah, it looks the same to me, though. Anyway, something else about you is that your daredevil merchant... Well, I think the Daredevil Merchant is the best one. Negotiates better prices. Negotiates better prices. Reduce strength. Get educated. I think I'd rather have you. You've got some nice reduction powers there. All right, then. Get selling. Plus 25. Plus 25. Plus 25. Plus 25. All right, well, make it so in the safest area that you can. Hmm, not bad. One hour to make a billion. I will want my billions a bit more automated, but I'm still happy with that money. And Malcontent has made it back. Finella is saying I wasn't expecting the stream still to be going. Are you unfamiliar with the previous streams that we had running with uh, Avorion? This game's been eating into all my time. Almost definitely going to be late with tomorrow's stream, the way this is going. It's already just about midnight. All right, turret factory. What ship is that? Oh, that's Sobek. Sobek warped quite a bit ahead of us. To think I'm bringing over goods that aren't even stolen. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't think you even know what you're looking for. All right, keep going in your trio. There's almost nothing left to do in Avorion, which is ideal. Transfer over the energy inverters that I just got. And of course, I have no idea which of these are, in, are energy inverters. It's kind of in alphabetical order, so maybe down to E. Energy containers, energy turbines. Energy uh, electron accelerator? No. 
Why would it be in order? It's at the bottom, next to zinc. Right, so I was very interested <clears throat> in this suspiciously amazing plasmatic over Tesla. Tesla. I want to boost the industrial Tesla coils. I want to boost the electromagnetic char charges for as much range as I can, even if it's not a ton. That one slot is what makes me go, mmm. Power units. Power units. Mm, actually make it build up less, but take longer to dissipate. That's 28 seconds of just bzzzing away those shields. I'm absolutely building that. And then immediately making a blueprint out of it so that I can make as many as I want. Because now when I go to my inventory blueprints, I can make any of these. I still have to pay all these resource costs, and I'll certainly have to grab a lot more goods for it. But that's exactly why we privateer, isn't it? So probably next time I'm going to have to go and get a huge amount of these goods and bring them over so that I can make all of these. The costs are enormous. Truly mind-bogglingly enormous. 26 uh, million each for the bolters. I won't be making these other bolters. You have fallen out of favor as my favorites. No. Oh, there we go. I think I'll favorite the ones that were the top dogs, right? You, you, you. Not you. Which can will uh, one out here? You for sure. You and of course the railgun. Like that. Twenty-five million per railgun. Thirty-four million per pulsar. 52 million for the cannon. 5 million for the over Tesla. If Baron gets those, Baron's going to be one of our cheapest. I love the fact that it's only one slot. 5 slaughter rapid dual ruiners. 3 slaughter um, bolters. It's kind of where the old bolters are better, being only one slot and having faster tracking, but you just cannot argue with that DPS per slot. Average effective DPS going from 4,000 to 7, 8,000 really. And we don't care about that, we care about the damage done to the hull. 6,000 to 12,000. Oh my god, the difference is night and day. Anyway, it costs a lot of money. So obviously I need you, the chat, to forward me, well, depends how many bolters you want, but I'll need 26 million galactic credits for each boulder. Uh, bolter. Hmm. So essentially, they're not being built right now, but that's okay, because the next session is tomorrow, which gives all my factories time to generate profit. Hopefully this accelerator factory ends up turning a profit, and isn't just a constant uh, sink where I go, you know, it, it'll make us money, you just need to, you know, one more lane, brah, just one more lane, and the, the roads will be fine. Let's grab all of our goodies here, including the... Oh, he's selling the cargo. I thought he'd made me the money already. That's just left over from what he had. Yes, uh, the time will be needed to generate the cash, which will fall into the Alliance Vault, which I've raided horrifically. Um, but we'll get our billions. We'll go and privateer all the goods we need. And it could be that we actually need to do some more... Um, uh, some more exploration to find more places to raid to get these goods. It's not impossible, but I don't want to buy these goods. You know, why buy when you can just take from these uh, nasty... It's not even iron people now, it's now night and trinium people. We've even got some Xenion people that we hate, the Buccaneers. Which actually does make it a very good reason to explore this area. Hmm... Anyway, plenty of options and plenty of things that I want to do. This needs to be explored, and you can do that no problem. Good. Is this done? No, almost certainly not. Explore 5 and 6. Get over to here. What I'm getting at, though, is that this is stuff for the next session. I'm just going to get Malcontent and Co. somewhere safe so that I don't end up 
destroying my turret factory with some uh, alien intervention. I'm back and you're not recycling the modules any. <laughs> Don't worry. We liquidated our modules down something fierce. And our inventory got liquidated down something fierce as well from two and a half thousand down to what you see here. Mm, and now we've got some incredibly good blueprints. Uh, we'll probably never... Hang on, did I do my point defense? I don't think I got my point defense, did I? Did I have the goods to point defense? Factory blueprints. Defense. I think I was considering lead for you, and I never got the bleeding lead, did I? But I wanted to have some laser ones. I have no idea what you look for in point defense. I might actually look that up between streams, trying to figure out what makes for a good point defense. Because I have truly no idea. I mean, look at this thing. It can boost its DPS quite a lot. Need to consider what missiles need for that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's get out of that sector so it's not at risk. Let's make sure that we have... Uh, we don't need a smuggler in command right now, do we? Well, maybe if we have guns and war robots on board, but we can surely deal with those in due time. But until I come back and sort out the rest of these things... We no longer need to upgrade to a squadron. We have a squadron. We are producing accelerators. We have charted a Boreon space. We have created blueprints for everything. Although I suppose I should actually still keep in... Point defense is something to do. We defeated the big bad. Hey, we won the game, but that's not enough for perfection. We cleaned out our trash. There's just some... Uh, bosses to kill here and I'm a little tired to update my checklist this UI is broken steam please fix damn you Gabe quick count on the milestones why not we'll certainly have gotten a few more so is it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 31 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 57, 58, 59, there we go, 59 out of 92, but that's not perfection. Uh, I think we checked our legendary subsystems to be 26, still need these, still need a ton of money. Hey, we reached the center. But I still need to design the statue and build the statue. That'll be very expensive in materials and money. Produce all the goods. I guess we produce three more of them now, don't we? So we're actually 10 out of 130. The three accelerators are being produced. Um, build the full accelerator factory production line. That's a huge undertaking. Not quite at 14 out of these tiles, but almost. And God knows about the factions. Until I am back... Um, in probably about 12 or more hours to continue this on yet more. It is a cheers from me and a cheerio.